speechless hata kabla nianze <laughs> what yani we are so excited to be back here but beyond excitement we are actually in awe in awe there is a lot that has happened over the last couple of days but first and foremost as promised when we make a promise here we try our very best to keep it our word is our bond and therefore we have back with us none other than Judy Nyawera but even before i get there i'm going to do a special intro for her but i want to start off by first and foremost my um i've got something called a double m judy a double m stands for merchandise manager and he told me there's some things i have to talk about kwanza is one who handles my behind the scenes mm-hmm. so first and foremost i want to say a big thank you to every single person who has given to CTA I'm always going to start our shows like this going forward because it is costly to do this and because of your giving you have enabled us to keep doing what we love to keep doing what is impactful on city we say amount doesn't matter it is the heart that you have done that you have gone into your pocket and taken your hard earned money and decided to bless city with it it is not in vain it is not in vain and it is because of you that we are here so I want to say a big thank you to you You CTA community. By the way, we need a name. They can be calling themselves our Kurugenzis and all those. I was say our CTA to Najina. So, go to the comments and get our name. So, first and foremost, a big thank you to all of you who enable us. Some of you your giving is through liking, sharing, uh, taking this video and pl- plastering it all over the place so that other people can watch it. I say a big thank you to you. So, I'm going to take a moment right now for you to like the button. Yeah, hit the like button. Then My double M, my merchandise manager, also showed me the back end. Guy, wase wa CTA, nyinyi wase ni wa noma. 85% of the people who watch CTA are not subscribed. Yo ni madhara ubana. Imagine, 85%. <laughs> With this past week, we had 1.3 million views. 85% of those people were not subscribed. Imagine, angalau this content is never going to end. So, take the time. In fact, I'll give you 5 seconds. Hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. All these things help the backend. So a big thank you to you. Eh, 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 the Mukurugenzi family who've just decided to join us. A big thank you to you. Your impact has been felt, but we're going to we're going to get into that shortly. Last but definitely not least, the last time I did the interview, uh, there are a couple of people who've been jumping always into the comment section and telling me, "Koni ni una merchandise, koni ni lava ngoza wase wengine. Where your own thing that unataka ku support?" So My merchandise manager, my double M, Omse, and one day I'll bring him in front of the camera. Uh, is there somebody who is in charge of all this merchandise? I mean, Yambia Kukombia, we have hoodies without this, which are just white and black, and we've also got this in white and black. So just go into the comment section, uta on a pinned thing, and hit him up on WhatsApp, and atafanya, atafanya, atacheza kiviyake. So... Without further ado, it is time for us to get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are super excited for the continuation of this CTA. Let me not lie to you, never before have we ever felt the impact like we have felt with this CTA. It is insane. A lot of you mwingia DM zangu, many blasts, umeniambia hii season inaenda when we drop 10 videos in one day. 10 videos in one day because of all of you guys just wanting to continue the conversation. A lot of you have also talked about the impact of the story that Judy has shared and the impact that it had on your life and it's made you even reflect internally reflect. And let me not like to you I just say we have never had a CTA like this and we take, we take it most most and that's the reason why we are now back. So, na bonga mob, I want the, uh, after the clubs to bonga na the right person. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and with my crew of mine Aizo, do the necessary. Put your hands together for none other than Judy Nyawera Mutua. <laughs> Judy, we are back round two. Round two. Yes. As promised. Yes, promised. Yani, yes. you are powerful. Let me first start by telling you that. Oh. You are a serious brand. Oh. I am in awe and in shock of your impact, your following, your heart and your just the people who you come with. Let me give you an example. Mm. 
the first day you posted so what we're going to do tutanza hii episode ya kwanza na ka recap kidogo yes na ka recap <coughs> kidogo because it's been impa- I want to hear how it's been for her but I also tell you how it's been for me mm. so the first day when i put up that video the trailer my phone got notifications mm. for two days straight z- 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 three seconds six seconds nine seconds 15 seconds 12 seconds just i did my wife told me see weka simu uko i had to remove notifications what? that's the kind of impact that you come with mm. my numbers grew our subscribers have grown by over 7000 oh wow yani judi you are a in force in a week yes in a week in less than a week actually man well, like it was last week wednesday when we yes when was it i launched it on friday i yes. launched it last the, the, the first episode i put it on friday and then started dropping yeah. it so in about a week let's just mm. say like it has from that perspective alone social just the tangible social media influence that i felt even my the youtube backend iko mm. so thank you so much for the new bees that you've introduced it for but oh, forget you, me Richie. me i want to hear from you <laughs> Richi, where do I start? Banza. <laughs> Cuz whatever has happened in the one week has been a lot. Mm-hmm. A lot. But a lot in a good way. Okay. It's been crazy but crazy in a good way. Mm-hmm. Uh first things first is uh, our video, the teaser, the trailer. Is mm. it that teaser trailer that we put up? Enye na cheka, alafu nalia. That was very good edit. <laughs> <laughs> that was very good editing. That video as of right now it has almost 300,000 Whoa. views. Is that good for on you? Instagram that is crazy. Okay. Gigi. That is crazy. And yeah. then you can see the number of people who have shared because mm. it has so many shares. Mm. So you can imagine. I had my uncle just so you understand what that means. My uncle who lives in Nakuru He called my mom on Thursday last week and he was like hey 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 see I told you they call me Julie back yeah. up yeah and he was like hey 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 Julie <laughs> amewasha moto <laughs> so my mom kind of said Julie amewasha moto abi hey Julie amewasha moto ati kaloko mahali muenda eh na wazee wangu na nini because they know that's my niece yes. yeah right they know that's my niece yes can you imagine my uncle who's in his 50s right now in his local pub yeah. talking about city what i kid you not richard i kid you not like he called my mom to tell me to tell my mom uh. that the discussion kwa ka local waki enjoy kila mtu chupa yake ilikuwa city that is crazy that, richie that is crazy do you know shago tunaongelea like in you shago 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 so i mean richie the i mean the that trailer and whatever i did that was just crazy that's just you know get to your social media uh-huh. like you mentioned you have you've gained over 7000 yes. subscribers on youtube it's the same thing on this other side that i was your looking at my way. instagram way, you know, <laughs> <laughs> i was like hey yeah between the juice party and cta i have almost 9000 new followers Whoa. on my platform you know, i'm like what and remember this these are human beings yes. so one follower is aizo mm. another follower is Wamai. Yes. So here we are four followers. Mm. These are human beings and human beings lives that are being Imagine. Now imagine 9000 of them. Wow. It's crazy. It has been crazy, Richard. Mm. Wacha nikwambie. <coughs> My inbox, eh? You know I had to put a disclaimer because mm. people were first and foremost, <laughs> let me say this, eh? Kenya is amazing. Mm. You have to understand I put within a weekend 5 mm. hours and 46 minutes worth of content. Mm from friday drop into and this is unplanned yeah. you know people watched and finished with me so they're like hey, next what and that video had over 100,000 views between your whole city mm. we've gotten 1.2 million views but these are human guys who are who are, they've been watching randomly imagine you your weekend ulikuwa na plans alafu msia na 5 and a half hours you just, just watching. Been watching i found that crazy yeah i have uh, received a few not a few many dms like um, guys they were many DMs. and you read your dms yes i do what do you mean richie it's the least i can do can you imagine somebody has taken their time kukachini and yandiki a message I love from there ignoring why mm. I go through and I this is another thing because I realize people assume for content creators 
or influencers or celebrities people don't run their own pages mm, there are managers eh, there are people who have uh, social media managers who run their platforms but for sisi na nikisema sisi ni sisi what including kurugenzi nini we run our own platforms including ct so when you send a message ni mimi when i'm responding e, ni mimi nimekati ni na respond to that message and let me tell you Richie, friday saturday we released on friday friday night on friday, friday night. yes yeah between friday i remember on saturday morning no around but around midday cuz i think that was the first time sana nilingia kuangalia what is happening and this is only on instagram mm. guy Richie, i had almost 200 messages what? dms ivi <laughs> And that was when episodes were still kidogo. Imagine, ndio zilikuwa zinaanza hata sijalia. <laughs> so most of the messages were uh, like of course the introduction of the story yes. up until when, when whatever episode they had watched. But sasa also most of the messages were tunangoja hapo kwa kulia judi. Kwani hatufiki? No man it's coming. You just keep watching. Yeah. It's coming. That episode is coming. So the DMs and i am going to quote one specific dm cuz they've been oh my god they've been so many mm. um there was one lady who sent a message and said <clears throat> and akaniambia in the message this is what the message said yep. it said gd today morning i woke up and i told my husband i needed to have a conversation with him oh man and the conversation i needed to have with him was to tell him the truth about my parents I was like okay and the truth about my parents is they died of hiv aids and for as long as we've been married they were married for over seven years i have lied to my husband about the cause of death for my parents wow she actually said the only there were only two people in her life who knew why her parents died mm. as in how her parents died as in the cause of their death and tangu wane na bwanake ajie za kupata guts za kumwambia the reason as to why but after watching my city by the she woke up akakalisha bwanake chini akamwambia the truth wow and that is which is that is just one of you know, the hundreds and hundreds of messages i love we've 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 talked about numbers mm-hmm. because and the reason why we started with numbers mm. and what i said is these are not numbers these are humans these the are human people beings, yes. i want to i want to read you one mm. cuz now now we're entering impact yes we are entering and this is why i'm telling you thank you mm. we're entering the power of you sharing your story yeah. the bible says they were come by the word of the testimony and the blood of the lamb mm. word of the testimony means just basically you naongea ju yeah maisha mm. yako you get listen to this mm. this thing blew me of course i won't say the names yeah. but i said my bro judy's episode asante sana kaka mm. episode 135345 have helped me sana kwanza start understanding my daughter man mm. so of course i write the right mm. so i'm like ah me i'm telling again i'm happy to hear this yeah. hey, good. so he, listen to this mm. she's been throwing up mbaya every morning and she can't take breakfast now for years wife and i separated it's going through a year man and i have been praying to god that something gives especially for the kids today if i had not seen that episode i was going to make a serious emotional decision that would have damaged my toys oh my god this guy is talking about your elder story pale ulikuwa natapika yeah. who would have thought that that story imagine would have meant something to somebody yeah that now prevents something mm. now this are just two messages we've shared and we have received hundreds i mean between rich and i because we've been sharing mm-hmm. <laughs> a few like you we would share a yep. bit of his feedback i would share a bit of my dms with him yep. just so that he understands what he's done by having me on CTA. Ini Mungu, mm. si mimi. Me all I've done is brought you yeah, here. That's true. It's good. Ni Mungu tu anacheza kama yeye. <laughs> Another thing that that I really want to talk about. Don't worry guys, tunaingia story. Yeah. But I just want you to understand this is not we just when we are content creators, this is content. This is it's bigger. It's and even bigger for content creators, I want them to understand the power of, of this content that we call value based content. Mm. Value being education, inspiration, uh, uh, positive entertainment. Yeah and aspiration mm. the amount of people who've called me and told me do you, do you only influence do you only interview 
eh, celebrities and famous people cuz mimi nataka tu kukana wewe kubonga sijawahi bonga like it's insane oh, wow. including our guy here wa mai <laughs> <laughs> can you just talk yeah but also for real mm. people the amount of healing of trauma that people got from your video yeah. it's like even they were going through a therapy session mm. that's true yeah that's true yeah so that's social media other than social media richie you started a fund a soft life and it's so interesting that it has caught up as in like people are actually calling it that so, so even when mama, people mama dm judy. me yeah. when they text me they say that's for soft life for mama judy what yes it's very interesting so on that front richard yes i went to see my mom on friday uh, this past week and uh, we were meant to do some errands with her <coughs> but then richard on friday usiku aka is in after the episode started going out we you talked and, and yes. then you started sending something for mm. my mom richard on friday after our errands i cuz we were it, it was the entire family i was with all my brothers uh, all my sisters mm, my one ko, brother ko, yes to kwa shamba yes to kwa tumeenda to errands za mom richard as of friday 5 pm there was 600,000 kenya shillings that guys had sent as a gift for my mom and they handed over that 600,000 Kenya shillings to her that is insane and let me tell you CTA Richard and everybody who has who by then had contributed something my mother e what's an ongeleshe kama my mother prayed for you my mother prayed for you she prayed for almost one hour so please receive your blessings richie receive your blessings because they are coming cuz ziko already na zinakuja mingi zaidi cuz she was grateful and she cried though you were very happy because it was happy tears what <laughs> she cried richard cuz what you don't know is that the story that you saw on instagram tulikuwa kwa shamba that particular shamba ni shamba mama alikuwa na buy and the balance as of that friday morning because we had a, we had paid a, a bit of money there was a balance that we needed to clear mm. as of friday morning richard the balance was 600,000 no way. exactly no way 600,000 no kenya no shillings way. i am not kidding no way i am not kidding richard exactly the amount of money that guys had contributed is exactly how much my money my, my mom needed to clear the balance for that land Let me tell you. First and foremost glory to God. Amen. Let's not mistake this at all. Mm-hmm. Number two, if there's something that I want people to understand mm-hmm. is the power of faith. Yes. You do when you're talking. Mm-hmm. Your person will go na kutumia ilikuwa ya lunch ya wase. Ya set. Ilikuwa ya lunch ya wase kwa set. But God convicted me mm-hmm. to why wait? Mm-hmm. So you just answer I've got your lunch do mm-hmm. I have to worry about thing mm-hmm. I read a comment of somebody who told me wewe unasema una una tetemesha soft life ya mama Julie mm-hmm. na una unapata 2000 but what they don't see is that me I see things like Jesus yes. Jesus sees two fish and five loaves mm-hmm. and he sees 10000 people fed yeah me what I had was 4000 or 3000 or whatever mm-hmm. it was and God multiplied it through people yes. giving How on earth would I have known that that was the amount that was needed for the balance? Mm. But I have something to shock you now with. That's not the aim. We're aiming for 2 million. Oh my god. We're aiming to return your mom what was stolen from her. In oh fact, twendele, acha nianze hapa. We are not no tunarudisha 2M. I promise you until 2M comes into into that account, I'm I'm not going to have a peace about it. 2M is what I know has to be given back to your mom. Oh so again, in the meantime, mind your tanza. Richard to Lee, to Lee round 2, to no, no, no. Lee. Yeah, this is whatever. <laughs> and it's not a lie. It it is something that it's a conviction that I got mm-hmm. and it's something that I I've already seen fruits to be to understand that I'm not crazy. The mm-hmm. same voice that told me to start 
that that thing has done mm. is the same voice that told me 2M. And she'll get it. Me, I just want to be a part of the 2M. Give you get. Oh so my God, God bless you, Richie. I will do this. I will will do this, and then I'll I'll have to to engage the interview. Story, but what I want to just tell guys is to each and every single one of you mm. who bothered to interfere to be part of what God was already doing. Yeah. As we just interfered to what God was doing for your mom. Yeah. Judy's mom has already play, prayed for you. She has. In fact, can oh we put the video God. clip? She has. Yes. Nda kutumia. Niko hapa kwa simu tutaeka. Ndio hiyo. Video clip in three. In fact, do the countdown. In three, two, one. Ndio hiyo. The host, eta kwa Richard. Tu eta kwa Richie. The host today. What is the one thing the one thing I have I have long life. Nigeza go have the life that you deserve. Support ya mama Judy ya soft life. na 600,000 for you. Shia kodi kure ha. Kanda. So we continue. Yes. Send money again. Soft life, your mom. No, no. This is this is, those who want to join can join. Those mm. who want to who don't want to join, it's okay. It's fine. But me, I it, it's what I feel. So zero seven. Nine eight. Nine eight. Six five nine. Six five nine. Seven nine two. Seven nine two. Continue. And remember what I said, guys. Have they have they been coming as a hundred thousand, two hundred fifty thousand? Richie, it's from twenty shillings to five thousand shillings to ten thousand shillings. Wow. And especially from our guys in diaspora, wana chesa kama. Yes, yes, but we have our 20 shillings, 50 shillings, 100 shillings, 500, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. I mean, I love it. And let me tell you, it's like you, like you put it, it's not the money, it's, yep. it's the human being, it's that person sitting and deciding. Imagine if 50 people are not going to share with Mama Judy. Mm. I mean, God bless you. And, some, bless and sometimes guys think I have an unlimited bank account because I'm always doing this. Mm. No. Some of these tunes that I'm giving you with, it's guys who've donated to CTA. Yeah. Me, I'm just trusted hands. Mm. So guys, tunes comes in, either goes elsewhere, but mm. it goes. So like, you get what I mean? It's not yeah. that it's just chilling with yeah. me. So anyway, the number again? 0798-659-792. Okay. Say to Tanzania, to stop at 1,300. So now we start at 1,500. Don't delay. Two M, Mama Judy soft oh life. Two M. I promise you, we are going to get there. Mm. I am so sure about it. Eh? If God can multiply that one before, mm. we can do this again. Thank you. Thank Nimetuma, you. just so that you know, it's it's going to keep coming. Thank and you. after two M, you're gonna be like, okay, say <laughs> I'm joking. Thank you, man. Okay, Judy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this story has been amazing. This story has been impactful. Thank you. You know the drill here? Yes. Whatever. Hey, by that, the merchandise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> merchandise manager. Okay. Where we left this story, and I stopped here intentionally yeah. because I didn't want to rush over this place. Yeah. And it's where you found out you are pregnant. pregnant. Yes. Yes. This is in the year 2009, right? in April over the holidays to Mifunga Shule. I've gone done my test and I'm pregnant. Because you see in my head I'm already guy yani this is it was I felt like it's the worst thing I could have ever done in my entire life. Mm. At that particular point it felt oh my god this is the worst. Yani like this is the worst thing nimefanya kwa hii maisha yangu.
man okay judy mm-hmm. hey, hey 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 this story has been amazing this story has been impactful thank you you know the drill here yes whatever na leo niko mpaka na kikombe ngi hey by the way the merchandise so the double m huko down merchandise manager na kugoja okay where we left this story and i stopped here intentionally yeah. because i didn't want to rush over this place yeah. and it's where you found out you are pregnant, pregnant. yes yes this is in the year 2009 right in april over the holidays to mefunga shule i've gone done my test and i'm pregnant mm-hmm. and this is happening in a one bedroom apartment in pangani ukondio so that was actually now fields in abel's uh, house mm. after um, uh, uh, college So after college see, they moved in together so they rented a one bedroom apartment moja alikuwa ni la sitting room na mwingine analala kwa bedroom hivyo ndio walikuwa naishi because at that point a one bedroom apartment is what they could afford together yes with the money they were making from Tahiti High so it is happening in that one bedroom apartment in Pangani nimeingia washroom nikafanya mambo yangu nikakuja but of course by the time I'm opening that door you know ya washroom ni ingie juu sasa of course i waited in the nini i see kufanya ati nikakuja kumuonyesha ati tungoje na yeye no i did it in the washroom and i waited until it was very clear so by the time i was coming out of the washroom i already knew i was pregnant now acha nikwambie wacha machozi anze kumwagika richi i cried mm. the whole of that afternoon judy mm. This is a sensitive topic. Yes. Um if I cross any boundaries, ibu yes. niambie where by the way imagine eh mm. rude yuko. Get out of here. Yeah. Um I'm asking and every question that I ask, mm. I am aware of the audience. Mm. You get? Mm. What I mean is I think of people in that situation. Yeah. So now you found out you're pregnant. Mm. Those are not tears of joy. No, they were not. They were not tears of joy. They were tears of disappointment. and especially for my mom because mm. richie i think honestly the reason why i was crying was not even for myself mm. was for the fact that i knew i had let down my mother mm. like she has sacrificed her entire life to see me go through go to good schools go to a good college and then this is how i pay her back mm. for all the her sacrifice those tears were for that specific reason I don't think I was crying for for yourself for myself. Mm. I was crying because I understood at that particular moment how much I was about to disappoint my mother. Mm. Yeah. When I was in university mm. I went to university in South Africa. That time South Africa had a lot of AIDS. Yeah. There was a lot of there's there it had a high AIDS rate and there was a lot of fear. Mm. My fear was not even one of the reason one of the things I never used to do was sleep around mm. this before I know Jesus mm. but my fear was not even uh um contracting the HIV mm. uh it was getting a child mm. my question to you and this why I say it's a sensitive one mm. because it it it, it then springs up the the issue of abortion. Mm. Does that begin to check into your head? Of course. What do you mean, Richard? It was the first thing that came to my mind. It, it was the first it was the first thing I actually thought about. I would be lying if I said that, that was not the mm. case. It was the first thing that came to my mind. Cuz was like there's no way. Like there's no way. Like mm. ini nini nimefanya shughuli juu. Mm. Like what is this? Is this how you pay back? Is this the payback for your mother for all her sacrifices it was the first thing that came to my mind wow. so this is how this now uh, whole conversation happened so of course i i've already started crying so machozi natoka hata there are no words coming out so i hand over the thing it is that cast strip that skinny yes. cast strip that is showing two red lines <laughs> so i hand it over to abel and he's looking at it and he's like You know money. What does <laughs> eh, like what does it mean? But of course cuz he can see the yes. tears and what he knows it's, it's definitely positive. So it only makes for he says that we are pregnant. We oui, not me. Yes, oui. I know I said we are, yeah, I actually said it says we are pregnant. 
And he's like, okay, okay, okay. But then he said, okay, like 10 times. <laughs> I remember that one very well. <laughs> and then of course, because I'm crying, Akanishika, we sat on the couch and he was like, what do you want us to do? Mm. Me, I am game with whatever it is that you want us to do. But then that is exactly what he said. Like I am, whatever you want us to do is what we are going to do. Wow. Yes. Did that help you? Or well, right now you're like, listen, me, I don't even know what I want to do. Uh, I, Maybe at that point, it was in India, but ah, because <laughs> you see, in my head, I'm already guy. Yani, this is it was. I felt like it's the worst thing I could have ever done in my entire life. Mm. At that particular point, it felt, oh my God, this is the worst. Yani, like this is the worst thing ni mm. And your and your head is just thinking about confronting your mom exactly. and telling her this thing. Yes, let me tell you. Even that the Abel, father of the child, honestly. <laughs> Ah, money, financial, my, my, none, of none of that was in my head. The only thing that was in my mind was my mother, like mm. my mom. So, of course, he let me cry, he let me cry, he let me cry because I cried for almost the whole day. Richie, we didn't talk until later in the evening, like around 6, I'm a 7 June. Because I was like, Richie, I would cry, snooze for a little <laughs> bit, wake up, and I would cry for a little bit. I I cried the entire day. But then after the crying, now we had a sober conversation later on in the evening. And of course the conversation, the number one thing was, Anili Mule, is that, do you think it would be a good idea for How us to get you? rid of it? I'm 21 at that point. Wow. Yes. And I am 21, yeah. So, uh, and he's like, imagine, like, whatever you want us to do is what we are going to do. Mm. If you want us to have an abortion, to tender, to set after the right doctors and the right hospital, and we'll go do it. If you want us to keep the baby, you know I am here. Just know that I'm here, and I'm here for good. Like, I am not going anywhere. Mm. Yeah. Had you, did you feel that before this, did you feel like you were in a solid relationship with him? Yes. And did, oh, you feel, did, is... did you see a future in that relationship? Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I did, for sure. And he was, hey, Abel was a solid, like he, he had been a solid for a good, maybe one and a half years before oh, nice. now the pregnancy. Mm. Yeah, so I had no doubt about our future and mm. him being the father of this child and you know okay. a future husband yes <laughs> yeah i had no doubt about that you you that's a that's a big one mm -hmm. so ah uh, thank you that's a big one because you never at any moment felt like a single mother no 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 so you None you all. didn't mm -hmm. make this decision even though you're not married but sub because of how he had acted before mm -hmm. there's no point that you felt inim zigoyangu peke apana Panarichi. Okay. Yeah. Like he's he was that one I had no doubt about him and as let me tell you, actually if if there was if there was no that thing in my head about my mom and disappointing my mom, mm. I those tears would have been happy tears. Oh. That one I know for sure. They would have been happy tears. Because he was a good guy. Yes. Like he was a solid guy, like I had absolutely no doubts about him. Mm. The only thing that now made this situation feel like it is the worst <laughs> decision I ever had, had ever made in my entire life was the fact that I knew this was me disappointing my mom. Yeah. Even, by the way, it's so funny, even when you, because I now know the, your history, yes. I, that's even what I'm feeling. I'm mm. like, Yani, your mom. Imagine your mom has been a little bit resorted. And then this is. Una mit kajama apa, ana, 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 ikitu, ikitu. Imagine. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, we, by the end of our conversation that uh, night, we knew for sure we were not going to have an abortion. That was not anywhere. <laughs> it was mm. not an option. And we had decided that we were going to keep it. What made you not have an abortion? Uh, the assurance from Abel. The assurance that he, he, was, he was here and he meant it. And he was like, I am here for good. I'm not just here now. Mm. You just know I am here for good. Like I am not going anywhere. Wow. 
Wow. And I'm going to support you and the baby. And he understood very well what I meant when I told him about disappointing my mom. Mm. And the assurance from that conversation as well. Because he was like, it has happened. And from the conversations we've had, we've, have, we've had with, um, he had had with my mom, mm. he was like, I don't think your mom is that kind of a person. Oh. Just so you know, they had not met. Oh, they had not met. They had spoken on the phone mm -hmm. severally, <laughs> but they had not met. Okay. Yeah. So mom knew there was somebody. Abel hadn't been to your house? No. Okay. No. Yeah. So, um... Kibirigui. Abel hange. Ah, kwa mefika kibirigui. Okay. Yeah, so... So by that night, it's decided it's decided we're keeping. keeping it, yes. Okay. Now, the next biggest thing was how we're going to tell my mom. You're still in school? I'm still in school. Fine, third year? Final year? Yes, final year. Okay. Yes. But sasa ni second, ni second year, ikienda kuingia the third year, which oh. was the final year. Okay. Yeah. So, we decided we are gonna, it's, it's, we are keeping it, na ni hivo, ni hivo, so, now we need to plan how we're gonna tell my mother that I am pregnant. Because, mm. In the previous episode, Uli Tombia, it's not that you were in school, you were just pulled up yes. alive. Yes! Ndiyo kuja uku. Kuja. Na sasa, this test. exactly, to come and do this test. And by the time, so I had done like two weeks at home, right? So by the time nakuja, we have like another two weeks mm. to go before to fungo shule. Richie still lied to my mother. Because the truth is, I never went back home. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> I was not going to go back home because I knew. Mimi, my poker face is terrible. <laughs> it is terrible. I knew the minute my mom saw me. She would know. Or I saw my mother. I was going to either <laughs> cry. <laughs> yes. I was going to. And we both felt maybe we need to give her a bit of time. Like it's too soon. Watch her. Also the way they say oh, when, it's too, when it's still very early yes. on. Maybe don't. Wait until you get to like three months because anything can happen in between. Yeah. Anyway, all those things. Richard, so the two weeks, uh, they lapse and Narudi uh, Shule. But now this is when something very interesting happened. So I, I did know, I did not know, I came to find out later. So just before schools, uh, the school opened, uh, appara apparently Abel called my mom. Yes, but when he called my mother, he called my mom to tell her Nikamwambia mom, why you kwa nini kwa nini uniulize ile swali unataka kuniuliza? So my mom is like, what do you mean? What question? I'm like, mom, there's a question I know that is in your iko hapa, but unashindwa kuniuliza. Niulize tu. So, I, I did know, I did not know, I came to find out later. So, just before schools, uh, the school opened, uh, appara apparently Abel called my mom. Yes, but when he called my mother, he called my mom to tell her that moving forward, I was going to be his responsibility in terms of school fees. What? And everything I needed for school. He did not mention. The reason he was doing Do this it, yes. was because I was pregnant. He did not mention that bit. But he just told my mom, like he feels, uyu mstana amekua wangu mom. Si umekubali ya kuwa wangu. So I want to take care of her school fees and everything that she needs for school going forward. Hey, so my mom waka, eee. My mom waka shtuka kwanza. But you see at this point he's earning. Yes. He's in Tahiti High. Mm. Na he's doing okay. Na mianza mpaka behind the scenes, like script writing, mm. he's doing camera, he's doing all those things. So he's he's making some good money. So for him, uh, he felt, he, as in, this is this is now my responsibility. Mm. I mean, she can't be pregnant. Na bado mama kendi anamlipia school fees uko. Yeah, lakini basari. 
Yeah, exactly. There was bursary yes. in the years of it was okay. But you but see, see sometimes you send you even, pocket money. Exactly, yes. yes. But even my mom now from Apo waka feel, oh, okay. Kama kuna mtu wana fanya hii kazi na na msaidia. Okay. Okay. So this this conversation I came to find out a bit later. Mimi sikuwa najua hivyo. Wow. Cuz sasa si mi na call mom nini kumwambia tunarudi shule nini hizo vitu zote zote. Matabe mm. ananiambia hapana eh ah usi call mom kila kitu iko poa. Tulishaongea na mom kila kitu iko sawa. Iko sawa. So it's actually my mom who told me kile amefanya. Amesema he's gonna take care of <laughs> This me. is after. After. Yeah. And Richie let me tell you. For the one and a half years I had in that school Abel ni alishughulika. What? Abel ali alilipa kila kitu yangu ya shule. Man. Like my mom never hakuwa ito. Your upkeep your, your hey, girl things, thing. your like bus fare. Took, yes. He took over from my mom. Wow. So, uh, I go back to school. The good thing about uh, KMC was waendelea tuna shule even if you're pregnant, you just continue. But there was an option to defer which I refused to do. <laughs> So me I continue with school but uh, so we find out I'm pregnant in April. So by the time we are closing for the end of the year in this in November in November already sasa ball ni kubwa. Oh no the, I need to watch any correction yeah, kuna mahali ni meruka. Yeah at even even <laughs> I'm thinking about the stigma that comes with pregnancy at a young age and in school Exactly. Mm. So uh, going back to school pregnant mm. at nataka your story. So <laughs> because do you tell anybody do you whatever? Yes. So um I had to tell my the um, management and especially my dean dean of um academia. I, yes. In charge of the film and TV uh film and uh TV department because now our ndio walikuwa my direct wakubwa so I had to go and tell madam judy and uh, mr manyara our ndio walikuwa nga <laughs> wakubwa wa department yetu ya, ya film and they were okay they were like are you sure you're going to be able to uh, continue continue with school like in an interrupted nini 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 I was like yeah because they actually gave me the uh, option to of def- deferring mm-hmm. for one year and then I come back after I had given birth. But mimi na kichwa ngumu yangu was like no. Kwani <laughs> is it it is you gonjo? Yes. You gonjo? Is you gonjo? So and I said if you get pregnant and they go to work yeah. and they work until the very last minute. So me I'm going to stick to in school and I'm going to do everything I'm supposed to do until the kikaya mwisho. So the good thing okay not the good thing the th- so of course by the time I was going back to school the cabal ni kadogo so yes. actually nobody knows yes. by the time it starts showing for really? me it took around six months but they oh, okay. didn't show for a long mm. time actually pe- people didn't know of course there are a few classmates here and there who who knew yes did was, you tell any of them like the cuz that time or were you you're no longer in the in the dorm with all those girls no now i'm mm. in my own see now oh yes you're in second year unaenda yeah. third year so uh, now you have your own ka hostel you have your own ka room mm. that you share with one more person but you're not sharing at the bed it's one door to, but to, the to room is sides. split yes so kona ka room ka kona mwingine ya kona room yake this side yeah of course i had told a few of uh, the, my classmates especially the ones i was close with and of course my dorm mate the hostel mate ni kwansha mwambia so a few people knew did you get rejection of that I, I I don't think so. I didn't feel it. No, you didn't feel it. Yeah, huh? I didn't okay. feel any sort of rejection from my fellow classmates. Okay. Yeah. But of course there was you remember this guy now the father of this child. Is <laughs> 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 the same guy when you kill him stand alikuwa anataka hiyo shule and he was you know like he was a big time guy in that yeah. school. So I think there was that kanini that oh my god she's pregnant with this mm. yeah <laughs> So kulikuwa pia na hiyo so yeah. I honestly I didn't feel any okay. sort of rejection or stigma or anything like that And your pregnancy doesn't sound like it was difficult It wasn't a difficult pregnancy oh. at all You're ah. not throwing up you're not uko I was throwing up in the first trimester uh, Yes like but just in the first maybe Four, five, six weeks, and then Kaisha. And after that, it was smooth all the okay. way. Like I never, actually, I didn't have any any 
problems with my pregnancy. But as a Richard, the reason I said what I could is because I said we were working on a plan on how to tell who? Ooh. My mother. <laughs> <laughs> Richie, believe it or not, I went home to tell my mom I was pregnant when I was six months Whoa. along. Six months along. May, June, July, August, September, October. Yes. <laughs> that is where I want to tell. I went to tell my mom. And I called her uh, uh, like a few days uh, earlier. I said, Mom, I want to ask you to ask you. She was like, oh, OK. I said, I want to ask you 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 to ask you. So uh, she was like, oh, okay, no, 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 and we planned. She's probably thinking Abel. <laughs> yes, she's probably thinking Abel. But actually, in this case, I meant him. Oh, you meant it, him. It wasn't even oh, the it was baby. Z, Z, no, it, it was him. Because now this is what we agreed. We agreed. Because by this time, I was going to mamake. I was babake. So they knew. And the conversation was, you have to go and... Uh, yes. So we planned and I was gonna go home first, at least be home for like two days, tell my mom what has happened. Mm. Mm. So I went home and took up to my mom. Now imagine, do you know, it time yote naongia na mamangu, juu simu, sija muambia nini, nisimi ya, um, I, I assumed, ata niona ajue, hey, kuna kikiru hapa. Kuna kitu. <laughs> Aki Richie, let me tell you, I was at home for almost three hours, and mom, hakuwa meona. Wow. Hakuwa, ana, fikiria kuna anything. So even by the time mina muambia, because nili muambia tu tukiwa tu mashugli ya po jikoni. Oh, siju tunafanya nini, tunongia ma story, nini, nini, nini. Nika muambia, mom, why, kwanini, kwanini unyulizi ile swali unataka kuniuliza? So my mom is like, what do you mean? What question? I'm like, mom, there's a question I know that is in your, iko hapa, but unashindwa kuniuliza. Niulize tu. So mama nashanga, swali gani? Mama naniambia, mi sina swali. I'm like, mom, hakuna swali. And I am no, missing a swally. And I could tell by the she too, yeah. yeah, like no, Kamisa by the hack. Hey, like what asking? do you mean? Hmm. And by the Nilich Watum Konoyaki. Nikai Kilab. Oh god. Ali Stuka. Like Ali Stuka Richi. She was like, What? You pregnant? Nikambia yes. Nikambia mum, it ain't not any mikwa pauja. Shikanisha kitu. Waka niambia, no. Mina unge, no, no, meongeza wait. Mina, kila <laughs> maisha shule ni mzuri. <laughs> Let me tell you, hakuwa me. What? Hakuwa me, yona. Like, hakuwa. But you see sometimes when it's the last thing on yes. your mind. Mm, mm. You're not looking for yeah, it. Yeah, you're not looking for it. So, ineza kupita. Ineza kuwata unona, but because it's not mm. hapa. Uh, Unafikiria tu ni. Ni vile ulienda elder tu kama umenona. Yes. <laughs> 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 I mean, what actually has been good, so you've added a bit of weight. But Richie, let me tell you, my mom's reaction was, it was weird. <laughs> uh-huh. But no, it isn't. It was a good reaction. Let me not say it was weird, because she was like. And after that, and she was, you're pregnant, and so to Kaunga comes, oh, me suspect it. The next thing I did was to ask for her forgiveness. Because I told her, wow. Mom, I know this is such a disappointment. And before you tell me anything, I just want to say, I am very <laughs> And I was like, the, the, before you say anything, before you say anything, I just want to tell you that I know I have disappointed you. Mm. Like I have greatly disappointed you. And I just want to say I'm sorry. Mm. Like I am sorry, I am sorry. I know you've sacrificed a lot for me and this can't be how I pay you back for all the sacrifices. Richie, do you know she hugged me mm. and she told me, Iyo jina nisiwa isike imetoka kwa mdomo yako tena. Iyo jina umeshindo ukisema staki kusikia imetoka kwa mdomo yako tena. So, she said, 
you are not a disappointment you have never wow. been a disappointment and you will never be a disappointment wow. a child is a blessing from wow. god now see same by the alini actually sasa kunizushia alikuwa ananizushia because mm. of the words i was using to describe the situation she was like a child is a blessing from god a child is a blessing from god you should not you should not say that it is a disappointment imagine your mom is god sent she is richie let me tell you she is cuz i i ex- i think ex- i knew my mom yes so even by the time i was coming home i was the honest truth is i wasn't worried yes. about at what she was going to say you were disappointed was, in yourself yes, for disappointing your mom i knew my mother the mother mm. i have known for all these years Haizi ni kashifu. Mm. Cuz I'm pregnant. For some reason I knew that at the back of my mind. I knew even if thing she's just gonna be happy for me. Even if I feel uh something totally different. Mm. And Rich, let me tell you, of course the relief that comes with that. Ah yeah, yeah, can imagine. And then now it actually even helps with this the conversation that is coming to happen between him and Abel. between her and Abel so cuz i knew i felt relief cuz nilijua ata Abel by the time anakuja kujishtaki na nini na nini yes it's not yes no hostility nothing as in he was going to find a very good environment <laughs> for e conversation yake so the day comes uh, the day that Abel is supposed to now to cuz of course of course i tell my mom now you mgeni you mgen ni abel na amekuja kuji stack so I, of course i had prepped my mom she knew what was about to happen richi hiyo siku abel alikuwa anafaa kukuja nyumbani he was in kiferegwe at 7 am 7 am richi the day that Abel is supposed to now to cuz of course of course I tell my mom now you mgeni you mgeni ni Abel na amekuja kuji stack so I, of course I had prepped my mom she knew what was about to happen Richi hiyo siku Abel alikuwa anafaa kukuja nyumbani he was in Kiferegwe at 7 am 7 am Richi cuz me I'm calling him to find out kama umeamka eh umeanza safari umeoga mm-hmm. Utok ananiambia hapana niko hapa Kiferego kwa petrol station there was a petrol station yeah. akati ni one Ap, na muza sai <laughs> na muza ati ananiambia eh by the way you know but he let us he couldn't sleep yes he was unable to sleep like like he was unable yeah, to sleep but he was able to well. nini eh hey, like he knew this was going to be an e hey, a difficult conversation imagine at 7 am he's at the petrol station in Kiferego <laughs> Mbaka namwambia and then imeta ni usiku anataka mjue nimefika ni kwa nataka ni kill time a bit so by the time i'm coming home it's around 10 am yeah. unajua time yeah. imesonga songa but imagine after that me told my mom imagine a chef cuz is in it's a very yes. unf- unfamiliar place mm. una kill time ukidu so <laughs> me just talk to, to uh, but then niambia tu mom imagine ali chef my mom alimwambia mwambia kuje mwambia kuje saa hizi kwanza tukule breakfast for real yes so we gave him the directions he came home who is at home now just you and your mom or your eh, sisters eh you? no we are of course yes okay. my big sister jesh my uh, sister uh, monyana nifuata then my bro you are all of us at home ebu pause kidogo watch ni fanya kaabe ebu pause kidogo ebu tell me how your family has taken it your sisters imagine the, yeah i think because we've always been a very solid family i, I mean the four siblings plus my mom like the bond has always been there yeah. it has always been very strong they were actually very happy for me mm. like there was no at bad talk from any of my sisters nini at to but they they were very excited they were all very excited okay. that now sasa kuna katoto kanakuja it was weird but they were all very happy like very happy what i was even asking mm. was mm. You know this story that you've been sharing. That's why I said a bunch of pause like like the way you guys do. First of all, Julie, you're such a good storyteller. 
It's amazing. That is some of the feedback I've received. I was like, I, and then I tell stories. I'm like, is anybody good understanding what I'm trying to you say? You are so <laughs> good. You know how to lead the stories to a cast suspense here yeah. and also deliver the message. But what I, what I was asking is, that's mm-hmm. what I've said, chapa pause. Your CTA, mm. this part one that we've malizard, when your own siblings have watched it, yes. when your own family has watched it, mm. when your cousins have watched it, because I called Abel, I asked him, Abel, even when Abel has watched it, yes. how has that response been? Direct family. I will start with my big sister, Nimo, <laughs> right? So Nimo calls me. Nimo calls me on... When when was it? I can't remember the exact day, but use it too. So she calls me and she's like, guy, Nimo works at... Um, should I say where she works? Mm-hmm. No, well, she uh, works uh, yeah. somewhere. Yes, <laughs> she works mahali. Mm. Richard, do you know it turns out that everybody, every like her fellow colleagues, had watched CTA. Si sangundio haja watch. So everybody has watched CTA apart from her. Apart from her. So one uh, afternoon. I think at work. What wana kuja wana mwambu. Shona mwambia oh my. So they are telling her like kumbe that is what you've been through. Yo ndio life yako si tunaona tunakuonanga tunaona tu watu wamekuwa na soft life na nini na nini. So my sister is like okay maybe I need to watch this city. <laughs> maybe I need to watch this city to find out kwa nini ni story gani nimesema hapo exactly. Yeah. And that is anyway she watches and uh, she it's crazy and she tells me the entire her colleagues where she works there are maybe like 15 people mm. yes she told me for the entire week that was the only conversation in her workplace what it was just about cta it was literally about cta Okay. So that's my big sister. And but then how when when she's watching your story mm. is she remembering? Did she talk talk to you about the story? Forget yes. even the colleagues. And actually for her she's surprised that I remembered I was remembering some of these things. Uh-huh. Yes. And what happened? You know that bit of the story where oh my god you had made these things up. Yes. She's seen that happening as well for you. Yeah. What, what did she did she talk about that? Yeah, as in it was a conversation now that on Friday we were all together. Uh, so we actually had a moment to sit down and catch up. Okay. And kila mtu aseme what part of the story do you live hit sana. So you are sitting down and your mom is there and your mom must be like guy. Yes. Cuz <laughs> you see she had not watched. Yes. yes. So she's like hey Atu kasema hivyo. Eh no kasema hivyo. Na ukasema hivyo. Aya, now my mom is the one adding stories for us. No ni wambia by the hapa. No na kumbuka hapa. Unisema hiyo kwa story. <laughs> anyway, that was my um Your big sister. sister. Then my brother and uh, the wife because I have I have been mentioned. Bobo your bro got anyway. married. Yeah. Bro <laughs> is married with a You know very me, your bro is like a 6 year old. No, I know. No, no he's a 31 year old. <laughs> Pole, pole, pole. <laughs> He's a big man. Actually on the stories uh, IG mm. kama uli watch vizuri kuna mahali alikuwa na katoto kake kama amekashika. I don't know if you saw it. Yes, Ooh. yes, but well, he was featured on the story as well. Anyway, yes, I saw, I so, saw. It. Yeah, so mm. them they watched uh, together with the wife. And now Bobo oh. is very surprised. Actually Bobo says actually now I feel like it's the first time nimesikia story yenu. Ni kama siku anawajua. Wow. That was her feedback. She was like, "What? I feel like sasa ndio nimewajua. Like I didn't know you guys had gone through all these things." And you see, the um the fact that my bro was very little, mm. he doesn't remember yes. most of these mm. things. Mm. So, hata angekuwa amejua wapi? Like my brother hata hizo mwambizi stories because he was very little when everything was happening. He can't remember. So for her she felt hey anyway now I feel like I know you guys. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then my sister so my sister started watching she, she had gone to the coast in Jesh now. Mm. Uh, for a holiday with her friends and she started watching on her way there because walikuwa naenda na train ya usiku. And she told me at some point she actually paused to cry. <laughs> It's very yeah. And she said she wasn't crying because of pain or anything like that uh, she was relief. yeah she was crying to just see like how far god has brought oh. all of us like to tumetoka mbali sana 
So they were not sad tears or she was just crying because of oh my god. Like God has been so good to us. Like to make wow. mbali sana. Hey, this yeah. this is this is you know I'm asking this because mm. even me I want to tell my story. Yeah. <laughs> like it's I, I look at the impact that a story yeah. is having. Mm. Nguru. Hey. Actually Mkuru had the same reaction. Like when I Babe, I feel like like I knew I knew about like I knew some stuff about you, but I feel like this is the very first time ni meskia story yako kabisa. Like in in depth. Like I feel we've had some conversations here and there, but I feel like this is the first time I've actually had you truly tell your story imagine this like, is somebody who been with you from story. all these years 15 years later richie una joni limpigia i cuz so when i should sit here i i like calling people mm. daily as often as i can yeah. just cuz how is the impact going mm. for you what's happening this that, yeah. that, that, that. i learn but mm. also i i want you to 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 understand the impact that this is having on you yeah. i remember you telling me at abel alikwambia You got the story wrong. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But then at some point he paused and he's like, "Babe, is it it zako mezi get wrong?" And I come and be, "Don't you worry. You keep watching." Keep watching. <laughs> <laughs> I told him, "Just keep watching." So when he got to that part, he was like, "Oh, oh my. my god." Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah, so and of course my cousins were me kwa kipiga simu nini nini and Richie the only people who knew that my dad passed away not because he had the stroke okay there was the stroke yes. but there was something else the hiv uh, so my aunties knew but my cousins now their children Ooh. didn't know so wengi wananipigia juu hiyo guy yani alikuwa mgonjo alikuwa na this is this is yeah. the power and and i remember even when i when i talked to you on the phone don't worry to narudi yo it was not necessary yeah. uh, when we talked to you you told me how The cousins almost blew it for your mom. Yes. <laughs> yes. So on top of the 600,000, yes. there's more that has been raised. Yes. There are actually some of the family members who sent money directly to my mom cuz they of course they have her number. But alikuwa alikuwa anashanga what is happening? But of course we would come up with stories the four of us za kumdanganya. So tulikuwa tunamdanganya tu. So now she got to know the full story when now we handed over the 600k. Shuzli, ndio man nani alikuwa anatumia pesa? Ndio man nani alikuwa anatumia pesa? Alikuwa anashanga kwa nini anamtumia pesa? I love it. Yeah. Okay, where we've left off this story mm. is Kuru Abel Mtua has come for breakfast. Yes. So name. Yes. What we take a break. We are coming back to continue from there. Oh, I love it. Me sweet. Hapo <laughs> kwanza kuna cast And after that Richie Honestly I felt like anyway now I no longer belong to my mother. <laughs> I I I honestly feel like that was the first time I realized. Hey. Yo. Ani kama sasa ni kona mtu cha kweli cha kweli. Like it's like I no longer belong to my mom. And we are so excited to be back doing this CTA. Already at easy conversations are on the side. They are fiery, they are nice. The CTA <laughs> within the CTA. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we took a pause. She explained a few things. Let's get back into the story. Na pali tumewacha hii story. Kuna mse ameenda hapo 7 a.m. Mhm. Say I'm in the breakfast. I'm a fika. And this is the <clears> first <throat> time he is seeing your mom face to face. The first time they are meeting. Okay. Yes. So he gets uh, he gets to the house. And of course si mom already now mom knows anaingia alikuwa amehaya kagari ka hmm hiyo gari ilikuwa inaitwa nini si premium there was another one mm. i can't remember anyway he had hired a car for the day akukuja na kumrudisha Nairobi <laughs> so anafika kwa gate tunamfungulia gate anaingia na park anashuka let me tell you <laughs> You could tell like ulikuwa na mwangalia unaona just how nervous <laughs> like you could see the nerves ungiona the tension ni kwa na mwangalia na shindwa huyu na likam solo he came alone man he came al- alisema ilikuwa shida yake e, lazima akuje ajishtaki akiwa peke yake actually he thought he was going to show up with Philip mm. but he came alone 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 mwenyewe ibwa mama but 
of course, the first person to receive him, mainly Mfungulia Gate, but the first, first person to receive him was actually my mom, with a big hug, like with a big hug. Mm -hmm. And he says, actually, he didn't even need to now have the conversation. I feel like your hug, he communicated kila kitu. That hug communicated. He says he felt like your hug and ilimwambia ilimwambia kila kitu iko sawa. And my mom, oh my son, karibu nini 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 and we have breakfast. But by the time sasa na ongea na mom kumwambia mom nimekaa kujishtaki nini. My mom already knows. Mm. So the conversation was very brief. But let me tell you after that chat. Unajua aliuliza nini? Alisema anataka maji ya kwenda kuoga kwa bafu. <laughs> <laughs> because Richie, because of the sweat. tension and nini, alikuwa ame sweat. T-shirt ilikuwa inashikana na mgongo. Wa, 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 wa. Because ya, your tension, ya, sijui, sijui what's gonna happen. Ali, liza kuoga. Let me tell you, <laughs> alisema anataka kuoga. Anataka <laughs> tuende kwa bafu, au ngetu na majibaridi, yu nini imtoke. And my sweet mother did exactly that. By there, alimwekea maji vizuri kwa bafu, and he went and showered and was given a clean T-shirt to wear. You are joking? Yes. You guys live different. Imagine, and that was it. And that was now it. Like, ata kukuwa na. Even the conversation about mom, nini, the conversation was actually mom. Vile tu nini kwambia, uyu msichana ni wangu sasa, ni achie tu. Ni achie tu ni msichana wangu sasa. Today, what does this do for you? That day, like you've seen, you first of all, maybe two days before you've communicated to your mom, that relief has been there. Now you're seeing your mom and your future husband. Current, just future husband by law. Yes. Not the already <laughs> like a, a good. Yes. What does that do for you? Oh my God. Richie, the relief. The relief. And I think, I can't say it was for the first time because of course they had been, mm. the first relief was him when he said he's here for good. The second one was me coming home to tell my mom and my mom was okay with everything. And now Abel is here and I think, Ilini ambia tu, ilini patia the assurance that everything is gonna work out. Like mm. everything is just gonna be okay. As long as I have these two people by my side, mm. everything is just gonna be okay. And let me say, Abel is a good man. He is. Like he's a genuinely good human being. He is. Also, you are a, the reason why a lot of people love this city here. Mm. I'm, I'm very aware. It's not a tea magic that I'm doing. Mm. I am just exposing to the world who you are. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. And what the world is seeing mm. is that in your home, you get, this is a good yeah. person. Mm. Like your heart is genuine. You know, there's some things that you can't fake. Mm. There's some, there's some communicate. You see the way that hug yeah. communicated to Abel a lot of things. Mm. There's a way that you speak and that you talk mm. and that you communicate that you are that communicates you're a good person. Yeah. Probably even hence why the two of you should be together. But <laughs> I'm saying, I'm, I'm, I'm stressing on that because I'm just like, whoa, I'm a bit impressed. I'm doing some clubs. Despite making a mistake, mm -hmm. nani even in a quotes, mm -hmm. he's a, that was a good man to know that my future is... Yeah. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> so of course now we chill because now I'm a mapema and we had the rest of the day to chill. It was one of my best days. Honestly, what? I can't say that it's because I recall everything that happened on the day. But you see that morning session, that was it. Because after that, by the way, it was too It was too complex. It was too complex. It was too It was just literally Introducing just us now world. chilling. Yes, because mm. he had to go back to Nairobi same day. Mm. Yeah. What? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. And I stayed home for I think another one week or so with mom, and then I went to Nairobi. Back and to school. Richie, yes. And after that, Richie, honestly, I felt like anyway now I no longer belong to my mother. <laughs> I, I I honestly feel like that was the first time I realized. Him. Yo. Like it's like I no longer belong to my mom. Like my I am my mother's child, yes, but I am no longer her responsibility. And nimeenda kwa mtu mwingine. Yo. That is yeah, that is what I felt. 
Because <laughs> after that, uh -huh. it was sort of official, in quotes, like yes. official. Mm. Ni sasa ni kuko. Mm. And also in that space, the people who matter the most to you from this story. Exactly. Have, have known. Yes. And they are okay with everything. They have approved everything. So I was like, ah, good. Were you, were you the first one of your family to... Get pregnant. To uh, have a kid. Get, get, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. But uh, no, married? No, no, no. My big sister. Okay. Nimo. Alikuwa me... Namtu. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Because okay. the difference between Willie, who's um, our, our first uh, nephew, our mm -hmm. family, yet mtoto to wetu akwanza. Yes, uh-huh. Uh, it's two years. A difference of two years between Willie and Mombos. Who's older? Uh, Willie is older. Oh, so she already had... had yes. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Willie is older. Yeah. So, <coughs> so you go back to Nairobi and now Nairobi Shule? Eh, yeah. Nairobi, Nairobi, Nairobi Shule. But just uh, all this time, I was in a hostel. But, mm. but then I would do the hostel sometimes, and then sometimes I would go to Pangani, and okay. then come back to school the following morning. But most of the times, I was on weekends. Like on Fridays, I would mm. go to Pangani, chill with uh, him and Philip. Mm -hmm. Over the weekend and then on Sunday journey or on Monday morning, I would come back to school. And, and then I would be in school until Friday again. Because now even the commuting, yes. when you're pregnant, it's a hassle. So I would stay in the hostel until over the weekend when I would go to see them. So now you know, I'm on the way. Yes. Because I'm on the way. So the past six months, I'm on seven months. The last months. Last semester. Yeah. And... I, there was nothing happening, uh, there was nothing much happening hapo, because I, I know, I remember I was in school until November, so by November niko eight months, right? Yes, because Mumbusa lizaliwa January, so by in November, um, eight months, ime songa songa uko, mm. by the time we are closing school. Mm. But now this time when I close school, I am no longer my mother's child. <laughs> I'm not closing school to go back home. You've got a new home. Yes. I am now closing school to go to where? To Pangani. To stay with, uh, with, with, with the father of the child. Yes. <laughs> na ka, ka, ka mse, huku, kuna, kuna kaskota mwini hapo. Kuna kaskota kengini hapo, <laughs> Philip. Yes. So, um, nika funga shule, nika enda, and of course now from the eighth month, everything you do is very, you have to be very careful with mm. Like even your movements are limited, Nini, because you're getting to the final, to the final stages. Yeah. So there's, hakuna vitu mingi unezafanya. Ah, but, at this point, uh -huh. sorry, sorry, mm -hmm. just this, at this point has your emotion turned to joy? Yes. Oh, let me tell you, my emotions turned to joy uh, when, after the big hug from my mom. What? to Abel because I knew of course okay the first time to joy after my mom told me you yeah. were a disappointment of course that relief was the one person I was most worried about is okay mm. with everything and then now the big hug from my mom to Abel uh, after Apple by the way let me tell you me I enjoyed my pregnancy Wow. After that, I enjoyed it. Like I, like I was happy. And now even the excitement for, oh, now I'm pregnant. I'm waiting for the baby. Oh, ka shopping up and up. All those things now came full on. Do you know why I asked that question? Mm. My wife is a psychologist now. She teaches me a lot of things without knowing she's teaching me a lot of things. Yeah. And rejection is a very powerful thing mm. that can be felt even yeah. in pregnancy. Yeah. That's true. Do you get? Mm. So that switch to joy and acceptance and already make the child already feels the love yes. before you meet the child. Mm. So that's what I was asking you if Kamali switch. Mm? It, it switched completely. Wow. Completely, completely to now just happiness. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, December, November? So November, to Mefunga Shule, I remember going for shopping, Ya Kwanza, Ya Mtoto, to Lienda. What is that street in town that is very famous for? Eh, 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 with Biashara I, Street. Yeah, Biashara Street. Yes. <laughs> Biashara Street Baby buying Central. a few. <laughs> yes, buying a few things for Mtoi. Then I had my big sister, Saidia Abel. Her name is Miriam. Mm. Miriam was actually the one who would go to Gikomba and buy for me 
to nini tuingine to cause biashara it's very expensive mm. it depends but back then we look on a feel hey you can buy everything from there yep. na ni kwenda gikomba uokote to ngo to 20 bob 50 mm. bob 100 bob evo so she went one of the days akanifanya cash to shopping 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 za mtu yake analetea cause at 8 months who is ingia gikomba utatembea aje uko ndani na nini imefika huko yeah and then so have you met his parents Richie, you see why you let's go back. <laughs> you see sijakwambia by the oh oh my god that is a big part in any mess how so um but Richie, shortly actually it was less than three weeks after nimwambie i'm pregnant and we twend home kumuona she passed away what yeah Yeah and then so have you met his parents? Ah, you see why you let's go back. <laughs> you see sijakwambia by the oh oh my god that is a big part in any mess how. So um actually just no it was after i had gone home and told my mom mm. so abel had already told his mom mm, mm. you that, told us that yes that uh, i was pregnant when so, dad told him lazima and i just exactly ya kamboni nini but you see also I, we needed to go home and see mom as well mm. like sasa niende i had nilikuwa najua mom because before i had already met her before okay yoyote eh but then abel introduced me to his mom immediately after we started dating Chap chap. Eh yeah, so fast. one of so you remember I, I told you mimi school shule kifungwa ni 2nd case straight. Yes. Unaenda nyumbani. Hakuna unaka Nairobi kwa nani. Mm. So on one of the days when Abel was after we had closed school and Abel was actually now uh, taking me to the stage to take a mat 2nd case in town to take a mat to apale to tea room. Yes. To take a mat to go home. Yes. Akaniambia ah let's go say hi to mom. Oh. I remember that day very well because the mom used to work at um, the Ministry of Education. Mm. One Education of the ministries, yes. Eh, one of the buildings to Apotao. So, akaniambia let's go meet mom. You say hi to mom and then nikupeleke stage uende home. Oh my god, I remember nilina kapata mama Abel alikuwa amenipakia mpaka to apples. <laughs> to kubeba. Oh, she was so oh. Any I see my mom, I see um Abel's mom. Oh nice. I feel they they were like they were quite alike mm. in so many ways. Mm. She was very loving and homely and that that's how I remember her. Mm. So nikaenda kasalimia mom nini aka introduce back kwa legs wake uko nini nini and then uh, she gave me my apples and anyway, nikaenda. So I had met Abel's mom before. Uh so after tumeenda kuambia mom when i came back to nairobi we actually now went to see mom mm na sasa ndio analikuwa ananiona vizuri sasa na ball kubwa nini nini all those things and she was very happy oh she was so happy she was so happy and immediately after that she started knitting sweaters wow. actually mumbuse's first two or three sweaters zile knitted yes. to yes. yes. yeah zilikuwa za mama ya abel wow the first sweater she wore when she was born zilikuwa za mama ya abel but she shortly actually it was less than three weeks after nimwambie i'm pregnant and we twend home kumuona she passed away what yeah so even at home vile tulienda tulipata kwa uh, bedroom yake sweater za mumbuzi nyalikuwa bado anashona ziko ziko kwa hizo ah, macrochet yeah 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 zenye bado alikuwa anaendelea kushona because it was very sudden Mm. It was a sudden death that it was she had high blood pressure. Yep. So it was very sudden. So she got never got to meet Mumbus. Uh, yeah, her granddaughter. But when you see Mumbus, actually nitakutafutia hiyo picha tu yake hapa. When you see Mumbus and then you see her grandma, it's copy paste. Watu wanasema ngati Mumbus anafanya anafanya na babake wait until you see her grandma. They look so much as in by the unaona ngamo mbus unaona mama ya abel mm. unaona by the same same like same same person nice. yeah 
she would oh they would be best friends shina nikiambia abel wangi ah wange kwa best friends a good one eh? a good one a good one wow yeah Okay. Yeah, so there was that bit the mazishi and everything else. And I remember guys were so careful with me because I remember actually this is the day she passed away. Mm. Nilikuwa si bado niko KMC. But uh na pigiwa simu na one Lydia. Tulikuwa tunamuita Lydia. Lydia alikuwa tahidi hai na na Abel mm. at that time. Uh, Lydia and Sarah Hassan. Mm. Sarah Hassan the one Sarah Hassan. Yep. So they call me and they tell me they are waiting for me in town kuna mahali wanataka kunipeleka. So I shinga. Mm. Oh, we used to hang out every once in a while. Yo squad ya tahidi hai kuna OJ nini. So they say I meet them in town kuna mahali wanataka kunipeleka. So I shinga. Mm, okay. Naambia Abel anajua, ananiambia Abel anajua, <laughs> "Welcome to Tao, kuna mahali nataka, tunataka kukupeleka." Tumia so, natoka KMC na come Tao kuwa meet. So na wa meet unaweza tell kuna kitu, eh, yeah, yeah. there's some awkwardness. Kuna kitu hawaniambi ni nini. As in, unaweza tell tu kuna kitu hawasemi. So nafika naambia, "Eh, tunaenda." apale galitos no we like galitos ya tao pale that's where we met yes <laughs> so um they are like now tunaenda mahali tunaenda to meet na Abel Kibira kwa wazazi wake so I'm like eh? Kibira tunaenda ni Kibira ah tumesema tu kama mabishti zake twende tu salimia wazazi twende tu waone Kibira so of course tunaingia kwa matatu tunaenda Kibira but just before we got there now they told me the reason why we were going ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so vile uh, cuz abel was already there mm, abel mm, alikuwa mm. home already so of course wakaniambia but it was a good thing cuz i had people around mm, mm. which was was kuna yeah. wako na mimi nini 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 yeah but hey that is the first it was actually the only the first and the last time oh no or oh, and the mona kilia tena though the second one was happening mm. E, niliona nishaiona Abel akitoa machozi. Mm. Yeah, cuz that was a hard. Hey, he was very close with, with his yeah. mom. He was very very close with his mom. Anyway, so we buried her and then si life sasa lazima iendelee from mm. there. So now we are getting into so she passed uh, she passed away in October. So by the time nafunga shule ndio tunaenda kufanya shopping hapa na pale and then December comes there are festivities people are traveling we can't go anywhere wengi pale kuna mahali tulikuwa tunaenda pregnant things ah jesus say hiyo ni ile ay hiyo ni ile dakika ya mwisho kabisa like you your work is just to sleep and eat <laughs> and nothing else <laughs> is nothing else you're doing yeah but i remember that particular christmas philip abel had no option lazima akae na bibi yake hapa moja kwa nyumba kubwa but philip hata philip hakuenda festivities na family yake na nini Philip alikaa hapo na sisi the entire Christmas. Wow. So tulikuwa tu sisi watatu. Tukitafuta kwa come from far. Eh? Oh, from far. From you know, far. I, I say that because you know sometimes people see your click mm. you working in Jugush mm. working in Philip eh uh, Diputita and people don't know the behind story. They don't. They don't they see the good highlights. Yeah. But they don't know just the amount of blood sweat and tears moment yes, pamoja yes. you get that you've been through together eh hey, cuz philip has been there through it philip has been there from day one ile literal day one nyo anasemanga yes philip has been there wow he's been there all along nice so december comes eh kazi tu ni clinic cuz towards the, the actually the last month you do a clinic every week mm you have to see the doctor at least once every week once every week once every week so kazi yetu ilikuwa hiyo ni clinic tunarudi home tuna chill sometimes they would zuresha me uko tulikuwa tunaomba gari ya eh, miss morgan angel mm. of tahidi hai mm. she had a, a blue car a plaid so tulikuwa tunaenda tunaomba gari yake because we were all neighbors yes tunazurura nayo huko siku za clinic nini nini and then we come back home so that was us until january just let me ask this question. Mm-hmm. You know one thing that that is 
that's, that is shocking me. Mm -hmm. Abel has always been famous. Yeah. And you have been with him in the different stages. Famous like any Bilagari. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> famous like hustler. Any, yes. <laughs> yeah, so true. even this it? time when you're catching matatus, mm. he's famous. Tidy yes, eye. he's still famous. So you, I say that because this is your norm. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. This life, yeah. <laughs> this, 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 this life, yeah, celeb. Mm. It is... Maybe now it's a lot coming to you. Yes. You get what I mean? Like yeah. you're, you're standing on your own right. Like the people are not watching this. Yeah, because of I was Abel. used to it, uh -huh. but I was always the person behind the scenes. Yes. So the, them, they were always Zuko in the limelight. Yes. But I was in the picture, but always... Behind the scenes. Yes. Okay. But mm -hmm. you are used to this. You're used to strangers coming up and saying hi to you. Yes, yes, yes. yes. From the moment Mulianza. Yes. <laughs> Even when you first joined school. Yes. But you see, actually there's a Kanini Apo. So I like I've put it, I was I was always there, but as I was always behind the scenes. Mm. So unless you are very like in our um, uh, close circle, like you would mm. ulukuna jua mimi ni nani. Mm. If we were walking in in town in a street on a street in town, what my fans? Wange kujia. Oh, Freddy, because that that time it was Freddy of Tidy High. Yeah. So we stand up, kujua mahagi ni 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 ni. Mimi niki wa apo kando. Do you know I used to walk away? Because <laughs> you see, they don't know who yes. they don't know me, mm. and it's to be a funny yawatu. They wanna sell me angayule mtu wana jua. Then, like that you so nobody's gonna say hi to you. So what I used to do, me, I would walk away. Like ninge, I could just walk ahead, and he would catch up with me. Yeah. So we in after some time he realized even do na fanyanga. Zuli kwa nini? Kwa nini mafanzo wa kikujia kuni salimia una enda una tembeanga? Nambia cause ni wewe wana kujua. Me they never say hi to me because they don't know. They don't know me. Hmm. Wewe tayari makuna stories of social media yes. tukita post bibi hmm. watu wajui bibi. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing like that. Yeah. So they will say hi to him, but they would never say hi to me. Hmm. So I would just, and for me, I was not walking away because I'm feeling bad. Yes. Me, I was walking away to give him space for him and his fans to actually, you know, say hi to each other and our furai. Miss Kwanat now walk away at Also, it, it, it never used to irritate you. No. For real. Because you see, I, I, as in, this is the life I have, have known chosen. him <laughs> okay, yes. in this life. Mm. So, this is the end of the jam. Okay. Yeah. I get it. Because from college, Nini is also in Kwanisha's way. That is how people were with him and he has a way of attracting people to him. I don't know. Yeah, he has. Yeah, like he's and like he's, he's just genuinely people himself. love himself. Yeah. It, that's, it's the same thing with you. I'm like that, uh, there's a light that you guys have mm. that comes from within. It is so rare. I've, I've where and it is genuine. Yeah. When when I meet you, I don't feel like unengia character. Mm. Like or I feel like this is who you are. And when we hear the rest of the story, so keep watching. Yeah. Actually, this even <laughs> this city, I don't have to tell people keep watching. <laughs> they are watching. <laughs> they are watching. <laughs> There's a genuineness about it. I just interfered there because it just hit me. Um, say mm. he has been famous. Yes. His whole life. Oh, this Mukurugenzi. Or that is on stage with 2,500 yeah. people at an event. He didn't just start here. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's been so, a journey. Yeah. So, um, we are in December now, mm. right? Na mtindo ni ile tu. Ya kukaa na kukula na kufanya na nini. So, come January. My due date was 16th of January. But the first week of, uh, I remember waking up uh, one morning. I was actually due for clinic the same day. But I wake up, it's around 6 a.m. and I'm feeling a bit funny. What? Yeah, but imagine, Richie, they, they, they were telling me that was around uh, maybe, by the time we were getting to the hospital, it was some minutes past 7, almost uh, going to like 8 p.m. Yeah. But uh, the baby came at 12.05 a.m. Wow, 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 yes. wow, 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 wow. <laughs> now. <laughs>
So come January, my due date was 16th of January. But the first week of, uh, I remember waking up uh, one morning, I was actually due for clinic the same day. But I wake up, it's around 6 a.m. and I'm feeling a bit funny. So I go to the loo and I'm peeing. But I come back and tell Abel, I don't know, that pee felt very weird. I feel like I was peeing, but the pee, haishi. So he's like, okay, because we are due for a clinic today, 22 clinic. We see the doctor, then at Wambie, kuna indaji. So this is on the 4th of January, 2010. 4th of January, 2010. So we go for clinic. We our clinic was at um, Nairobi Women's in Halingam. Mukundi doctor we tuali kuwa. So to Nigeria to Namaliziwa clinic because we were there very early. So after the six after Nini, I just went straight to the shower and we went to. So we were there very early. We were actually the first patients. Mm. So we do our clinic thing. The doki says, of course, you are gonna feel these things now because ni dakika ya lala salama. So you're gonna feel some weird, weird things. But, Bado, see Did you the after. Lala salama. That's, what, that's what you call it. Salama, yes. That's when the baby's coming. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the doctor was, you, um, see you after two weeks. Actually, he told me two weeks. He didn't even tell me after one week. He told me, see you after two weeks. Uh, but in case of anything, you just give me a call, right? Ah, so you are like, okay, so we are done. Mashubdi is Oh, tulikuwa pia na Philip. Philip mm. was our handbag. We used yeah. to carry him. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Kila mali tukua tunenda na ye. So, we were like, okay, so tumemaleza ex after ni mapema. Let's go have some breakfast. So, this story, the way I tell it, and the way they tell it, like Abel and Philip, is very different. Because <laughs> <laughs> in my head... Me, I know we went for breakfast at um, uh, Diamond Plaza. But they say we went for breakfast at Capital Center. Sasa ndo ujio maneno ilikuwa ishanza kuchemu. So by the time now we are having this breakfast, we are randa randa because now we have the whole day. And I remember it was on a holiday. I don't know what was happening on that day, mm. but ilikuwa ni some sort of a holiday or something. So the plan was to zunguka zunguka to the whole day to Zurure. Tukwa nile gari ya Miss Morgan. Yon dili kwanga gari ya kila mtu. Yes. When you need the a car, you would go and borrow it from her. So we Zurura, 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 Zurura. Uh, then at some point, Nanza kufil, ay! Ay! I'm feeling something. <laughs> like there's a campaign that's coming and then disappearing after some time. So I am a bit uncomfortable. I can feel a bit of discomfort. Mm. But see, the doctor said what? Two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> so every time they would say, I'm a turudi hosi, I would tell the I. The doctor said we see him after two weeks. And then because ah, najikaza, najikaza, and in my head it's two weeks. So me, um, everywhere they, they want us to go, me, I want us to go there. Like, staki turudi, tunde ni tutuka zururi. Wacha tutu zururi. Lichiwi zururad. Up until maybe around five, then you were like, okay, to Rudini Nyumbani. But by five p.m. to Kirudi home. Hey, yo chungu. Hey, ask your partner. Yo chungu ina zidi. Yo chungu ni kama ina ndeti kizidi, kizidi, kizidi. So we get uh, home. This is Pangani now. Tunaka, tuna chill, chill. Cause I went straight to bed. Mm. Like to lifika tu vika mani menda straight bed. And wani kwa na kama nani angalia. Now I'm being najikaza too, najikaza too, but I can feel, hey, these contractions are not. Hey. So now you know the contractions. Eh, hey, now I know for sure because they are coming. Nazinaenda. Yes. Zinakuja zikienda. But as a panani ya shape patam toto tena. You have to have experience. Akuna up. You know, I'm just contractions. Hey, akuna up. So Philip decides to call uh, his sister, uh, Flo. Flo is a uh, Phil's first sister, and Flo is a doctor. Mm. So Phil decides, hey, let me call Flo. So I'm going to Flo. Flo anasema, I need you to time those contractions. Yep. Hey, mko wapi? Tukawambia tuko kwa nyumba. I need you to time. So Abel and Philip came. Na Philip ni wana? Wana, wana time, wana time, wana time. Ay, wakatai marakama tatu wakona uwe. Inasema like they are five minutes apart. 
Hey, flow is like, of course, it's just easy when you want to be a bad guy because we hang up and dick and belly angu. We need to cope and dick now. Go. Hey, at the floor, I want to be. What are you guys doing in the house? Muna fanya nini kwa nyumba. Toki ni sa easy when the hospital. But since I remember, by June, June, we have no traffic to go in there, right? June, the what one, mashugliza or whatever. So, wanakuja, wananiambia, Flo, amesi matunde hosi, daktari ya kuangalie, because now the contractions are a bit, as in five minutes apart, siki dogo. So... Hold on, so now you know, baby anakuja leo. Yeah, but you see, Richie, let me tell you. I'm going to teach you about me two weeks. Eh, like, so, in my head, I can, I know, ni contractions na mtu ya neza kwa kikam, but you see, as in my, in my naivety, In my head, I don't know if it's two weeks. Doctor, I don't know if it's two weeks. But Doki, I don't know if it's two weeks. 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 So, I had already packed a hospital bag. At least, I had to go to the hospital. So, I had to go to the hospital. And we started our way to Nairobi Women's Hospital. So, I don't know if it's two weeks. Mizizi kambia between kutoka kwa nyumba na kufika hospital I can't tell you for sure what was happening but them they know the stories wao wanakuangana stories wao wananiambia nga we at some point they were telling me Philip was driving on the wrong side of the road kwa sasa huku nyuma yani nimeanza nimeanza kayamba Like, how uh, uko back see things are happening and they can't tell, hey, 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 hey. We're doing Abba, they're, they're, they're like, hey. Victoria, and Victoria, you can Victoria. imagine it's just them. Yeah. You can imagine the panic. Because you can imagine panic. Kenya you can imagine panic. Because 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 you can Anyway, we get to the hospital. And of course, uh, I get straight into the doctor's room Mapo for checkup. And they check and they say I am actually eight centimeters dilated. So what is what is normal? What is when baby is coming? Baby is it's ten centimeters. Baby is an already kutoka. Wow, 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 Yes, and you know it starts at two centimeters in a progress. So yangu ilikuwa imeenda. So i uchungu nasi ani kwa sababu yes, baby is coming. I am in labor for real, like labor, labor, labor. Like this baby is coming. What? Yeah, but imagine Richie, they 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 were telling me that was around uh, maybe by the time we were getting to the hospital, it was some minutes past seven, almost uh, going to like eight p.m. Yeah, but uh, the baby came at twelve o five a.m. Wow, 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 yes. wow, wow, wow. But that's an amendment. But it's already up and Now, so it's quick, 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 quick. She has to be admitted. I pay the labor ward because uh, she's in labor now, full on. So the baby is gonna come any any minute. The baby is coming now. So it's still Abel and uh, Phil Philip, but then Miss Morgan comes because now they. By the, the time you are yes. going to the hospital, because we were all living yes, together. Yes. So nika tulikuwa sisi watu watahidi yeye nika tukunishi wote in the same apartment. So they knew. So wali kwa wanafuata nyuma. Wakasema mm. ndeni tunawafuata. So Miss Morgan was there those a lady who alikuwa anaitwa Becky watahidi. So walikuwa walikuwa hapo. Eh, but now by the time unaingia ward na unakaa kwa kitanda sasa hapo. So it's a blast. Singing all the songs you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but at some point, no, these are stories I'm told. Because let me tell you, when they say you, you actually at that particular moment, you're mentally not okay. Na honga ni ukweli. Like kuna honga umechizi kimo. Your time. Because maybe they, these are stories they tell me. Me, I don't remember anything that was happening your time. So at at some point, apparently when it got too bad, like so bad, uh, Phil alienda kachukua abela kamtoa. Because you see he's there. And you see Abel there's nothing there. you can you can do. Yes. Hey, like when you're in labor before you're taken out to the delivery room when it's, now yes. the baby's coming. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Abel was there. But you know there's nothing he can do. Like <laughs> anangalia when you're in so much pain. but It's the most useless feeling a man pain. has. I know. I know, I uh, know. <laughs> a man, it's, it's because <laughs> like, we are seeing excessive pain. Hey, but you can't do nothing. 
nothing you can there's nothing you can do actually at that point mm. so anyway so philip alisema alikuwa anaona tu guy huyu atachizi huyu kijana atachizi akikapa anyway akamchukua wakaenda kutafuta nini so by the time they are coming back uh, already mtoto ameshakuja mm. yeah was it a natural birth natural birth okay very like no complication nothing nothing like the baby was healthy nothing nothing that everything was just perfect so immediately the baby came uh, no the philip says immediately i went to the delivery room the nurse called kuambia sasa mnaweza kuja Mm. So but by the time Abel alikuwa anaingia in the delivery room the, the, baby. the baby was already out so alipata nasaki enda kumwe so he was there he cut the umbilical cord, cord yeah. nini wakamwe pamoja all those things and he was so happy apparently he was apparently kulikuwa na machozi hapo but mimi unajua tena maya sikubuge kama kwa machozi yangi Yeah and it was a baby girl and he was so happy because now he Oh you didn't know the 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 gender before the sex No I knew oh, I already... knew like oh. at five months Oh I knew it was a, a baby girl mm. And I remember when I found out because nilikuwa nimeenda clinic and hiyo clinic nilikuwa peke yangu na mtu wa kaba kuna mtu mwingine but he passed away he was such a good guy mm. alikuwa gangabishia abel sana so if abel was not available to take me to for uh, to the hospital for my clinics he, would take he is the guy who used to take me and he would take yani alikuwa anakaa ni kama yeye ndio baba ya mtoto je hapo ananiacha like tuko tunaenda huko kwa madaktari anakaa na mimi until nimalize to rudi home imagine That's like nice. he would come sit with me so i remember that particular clinic nilikuwa na that cab guy mm. And when I found out he called Abel he was so happy because he said imagine mamangu aja kufa mamangu ame kufuka wow. cuz now Mombos is named after so what are her official names Stephanie Mumbwa okay and uh, mom was Rose Mumbwa mm, mm, yeah mm. so she's named after yeah, Abel's mom, mom. Yeah. yeah so it's a baby girl we are happy so let me tell you something else that's funny so apparently my parents uh, my mom and my big sister and my small sister and jesh apparently they came with a friend of ours from home his name is paul yeah. paul alikuwa na gari so apparently walikuja hiyo usiku me these are things i can't remember <laughs> so uh, by the time mtu yeye anafika eh, walipata mtu yeye ashafika na nisharudishwa ward sasa yeah. tuko na mtu yeye hapo apparently walikuwa richi i don't remember these things this kumbuki ni kwa babangu I understand. <laughs> hey, Leba. Hey, Leba is just crazy. Leba is for it, yeah. it's something else. Yeah. And how uh, did it feel to hold your now when your conscious comes back and you're holding your daughter and now you realize you're a mother. You are your mother. Imagine it felt so good. It felt so good. But so I they actually brought okay after I mean cut one bill the way they tie walimleta nikakaona nini 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 but they took the baby away and only brought back the baby the following morning at 6 a.m. Why? Cuz I was tired. They said I was too tired oh, to even sleep with the baby. I get it. Yeah, you know this is a 22 year old. Oh, so by the yes. time the baby is coming he had already turned 22. So this is a 22 year old. Wow. Who is very young, nikatana tu kadogo, yes. small boy, nikatani tu. So what an assis wanna feel? Eh. So after they said I was too exhausted, it was not a good idea for me to sleep with the baby yes. that night. And you needed for me four to hours rest. from yes. that yeah, I mean like from the moment you arrived at hospital. Exactly. But remember nini zangu zilianza mchana yes. so i had labor the entire day ni mimi tunajikaza nikisema yeah. and you know that process you need fluids you need as is happening okay. it, not like I, <laughs> i've been through it i'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> that's true yeah so uh apparently my mom was there but they went home at some point because mm. immediately i was taken back to the ward to kibirigui no no no, no. Uh, yeah they went back home mm. no They didn't go back home because she came the following day. Did you by the other side mama? Yeah, it's okay. This like are, these things I don't even remember. This one we know is it's, it's yeah, labor. Yeah, <laughs> it's labor. So at some point they actually but they say immediately I was taken back to the ward. Ni mimi ni kwa nawafukuza. Wende home. Because mm. I was so exhausted, I just needed to sleep. Nice. But you know the relief that comes. It's so I don't know any mungu tunawamjiza. Rich let me tell you. The minute that baby comes out the pain disappears. Gone. Completely like completely like it 
Yani mbaka unashindwa ni mimi nilikuwa nasikia uchungu. Like the pain just goes away. I think it's just God's way of. Ndio mm. next time ukisikia kurudi hapo. Eh usikumbuke uchungu. Yeah, so apparently I was the one telling them to go home. Like go home, I need to sleep. And until I remember the following morning at 6 a.m. when the nurse uh, brought now the baby. Mm. Mumbos. <laughs> How was that feeling? To, oh, it was the best feeling. Yani, ay, yeah, 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 yeah. Because I remember they actually, I'm sure you, to go shower first. Mm. And then they bring you some breakfast. And now they bring the baby. Yeah, na kumbuka hapo sasa ndio lessons za breastfeeding all mm. those things that is what now was the first few hours that is what you're doing with the nurse. Mm. And I had the best nurses. You know this this is it's my version of what I've always thought. Mm. I'm really glad for this CTA is that you had a traumatic experience mm. in childbirth and that traumatic experience made you be like watoi nimechoka. Si rudi hapo <laughs> That's that's what that's what in no. fact when you're telling the story yeah. that's what I've been waiting to hear. They, it, they, it is coming. Oh, it's it comes. Like in see childbirth. See childbirth. No. Cuz I is it in a feel I feel as in the fact that it was a very um, uh, success, successful birth like there were no complications and what not. Mm. In my head I feel like that's normal like every woman goes through yes. that. Yes. Yeah, the pain is uh, yeah. Exactly. So the pain is is there. It's part of the process. Yeah, for everybody. And as long as it's, it's a good birth like hakuna complications or anything like that then you're very lucky. Yes. You're actually among the very Yeah, in fact that's why I asked people. I asked about C-section I asked because mm -hmm. those things are natural birth. Natural yeah. birth. So we in the hospital for two days, two days only, because mm. you know normal birth. Maybe yeah. really after that, you just they just release you to go. And for me, everything was normal, flawless. Like everything was just flowing very nicely. Me si kuwa stories a pesa ni 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 mi ni kuatuno na we kila kitu ina ina tu vizuri. Anyway, since the stories later happen, ni anakuja kuniambia we acha ni kuambi. You're twenty eight thousand. Because the, the um, cost for my entire stay, the bath, everything mm. was coming to 28k. But 28k was a lot of money back in the day. That time, mm. but you look at hey, remember, I'm saying a hustle. Exactly. No, mm. you're doing a hustler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I remember her, her other sister, uh, Grace, came through. Like uh, his family members came through. Nini, nini, at least, Pesa Kapatikani Hospital. He had some money. Mm. But when I got to the bill, I was seeing the endanga. When I'm going to it, I got ten thousand. Yep. At the time, the final bill is coming three times the amount. Yeah, but I remember as now going home, and it was Kawida too. I want any Philip Abel. Oh, for real? Yeah. So we're Rudi Pangani. Yes. Not Philo Bado Akoko. Apana. So. Oh, it's going to be like a new dad. Yeah, a week, a week to no, two weeks before I gave birth, uh -huh. Philip had now moved. Okay. Yes. So he had now moved, but he moved. Hapo to next door. <laughs> <laughs> next door. So another apartment block. Hapo right. Like to go to the ten there. Kwa kete we view nengi ya. Yeah. But we continued living. We left to go to Naishi before. Like food. Nini? Kila kitu to go to Naishi. Uko kwa kile kwa to naenda kula. Kula la. Yeah. So. As long as I can remember, by the way, to me, she too, you won't have to leave. Nice. I come up on a new back. It's still the same. I come up on a new back. It's still the But everything else happens. Took up a moja. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Hey, but I remember the first two weeks. Because we, we get home and Abel's sister, Miriam, the same one who was going to Gikomba to buy Nini, came to stay with us. Before I tattoo and the Kufikiri house girl, Nini, 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 Miriam came to stay with us. From day one after Nime, Nime Rudi home. Hmm. Natukakane, I think we stayed with Miriam for almost a month. Oh. Yeah, her taking care of me, cooking, taking care of the baby when I need to sleep. Is of it zote. That's God sent. Imagine. That's that's a, a nice ease into, mm. into into motherhood. It was really and the fact that ni family. Mm. So you don't feel like ni ni stranger or yeah. feel too like I'm just surrounded by family. So that was really nice until now she had to go back to school. Alikuwa nafanya story za catering or something. Yeah. Then that is when now my uh, sister Monya Nanifuata, Njesh, came to live with us. Oh, for real? Yes. But Njesh alikuja, uh, ndio apply for college. 
So mm. she applied for college at Kenya Institute of Management in town. So tulikuwa tunakanea, likuwa nanisaidia na mtoto vitu kama hizo, na ile time ayuko shule. Mm. And we stayed with my sister for almost four years. Four? <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, Richie, by the time I'm, uh, nikipata mumbus in January. 2000? And 10. Uh, oh, yeah, so her, she's born January 5th because it was 12.05 a.m. It was the mm. following day. Five minutes past. <coughs> exactly. So by the time I was getting Mumbos, I was still in college, remember? But now this was my final term. Yeah, Shule. To before finish. Before I graduate. Mm. Yes, to finish Kabisa. Before I graduate. And this term is usually very crucial. Because this is the term that you do your projects. Mm, 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 you mm. Nafanya school projects, you nafanya kila kitu. And then, is, um, uh, because of the course I was taking film and TV, uh, our projects are not unaka kwa computer unafanya. Yeah, you you, shoot. You're going for shoots. Yes. You're shooting documentaries, you're shooting short movies, you're doing all these things. Nani set, nani hectic. And if you want to graduate by the end of that year, you needed to have completed your full course. Mm. Richie? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Two weeks after kupata mtoto, nilikuwa nimerudi shule. No way. Yes. And if you want to graduate by the end of that year, you needed to have completed your full course. Hmm. Richie, uh -huh. mm -hmm. two weeks after kupata mtoto, nilikuwa nimerudi shule. No way. Yes. Wow, 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 Two weeks. Wow, wow, you remember, wow, wow. I refused to defer, right? Yes. Nikasema na ngana mbaka dakika ya musho. Two weeks after kupata mumbus, I was back in school. Doing my projects. Okay. First of all, mm -hmm. I want to understand the skill set that, that that thing gave you. Mm. So, are you learn, are you now the one who's camera person? Are you editing? Yes. Are you project managing? What 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 skills did school give you? Mm. Because I'm sure you'll apply them later on in life. Oh yes, oh 100%. Mm. So, in film and TV production, there were three main courses. There there were three main not courses because the course is the film and TV mm. modules. Yes. Uh, there was um, sound, there was editing, and there was camera, right? Mm -hmm. There were those three. So you needed to pick at least one to specialize in. Mm. I picked editing, not because I liked it. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's because it was the only other course I felt was close to the things that I loved doing. Because I was not, I was not a very technical person. Mm. Technical in the aspect of ati nataka ku shoot na kamera. Aizona wamai apa. Eee, yeah, aizona wamai no, mm. ati nataka kushika boom, wamai mm. mixer, ni, ni fanya ima neno ya sound. Mm. No. Then one thing that I was actually very good at, which is actually what I, I ended up doing for the group, was logistics. Like I've always been very good at logistics. You see like taking care of... Do you know? <laughs> how creatives need that yeah logistics let me give an example <laughs> is for example for this shoot mm -hmm. ensuring the guest yes. uh, the, the venue is yes. set yes. kuna chakula in case we took a break everything hey that's that's a lot yeah creatives need a logistical person exactly so i was very good at production like production management oh. i was very good at handling uh, the pre and post of any production. Yeah. But so, you said you picked editing though. Yes, because there was no production. Oh, there was none yeah, of you, these. Yeah, you only uh, specialize in the three. Either sound camera or editing. I get. Yeah. So I picked editing, which I did. But overall, when we started doing our projects and whatnot, we needed a producer. So yes. I took up the role of a producer. Of producer. So I was very good at handling productions and whatnot. And because in any set you need a producer, I was excused from editing and sound yes. and whatnot. So I'll go and sit when they were editing. So you created really, your own role, more I or less. I created my own role, yes. So we do. We were shooting a documentary, so we did that. And there was also another small project that we were doing. And we did that. Ricky, we can Billy, we can una maziwa zinafika uku. But lazima kazi fanyike. But now the school was gracious enough. 
to allow me to come in late and leave early. Yeah. yeah. So you'd leave your daughter with Miriam, my sister in law. That's why I knew oh, she was God sent. Because you see, family, I'm not leaving my child your with sister a stranger. In law. Yeah. But when you're leaving, you went back to school how many weeks? Two weeks after <gasps> I met my toy. Oh and my you remember? God, because she... Miriam was only with you for a month. Yes. So two weeks if you may share with school. And you wow. see, I can't carry my child. Wow, wow. Like wow, Susan wow, Tambeba wow, wow. na naenda kushinda nikizunguka na tazunguka na yeye aji. Mm. And you remember Abel is also working. He's he's back on set shooting Tahidi and all those other things. So he's also busy. So I remember I would uh, go to school at 11, nikuwa nenge 11. Alafu by 3 naanza kurudi home. So that is how I used to survive. And I would pump maziwa. Yes. Ndiyo mtoto wako na maziwa. Ya kukunyua mchana when I'm not around. And that is how I survived until nikamaliza shule. But then I was, by March we are done. Mm. So I was in, I did that for like a month and maybe a week or two weeks. And then school was over and over and So over. You, your mind was like, lazima nimalize shule. Lazima nimalize shule. Because you see, Richie, in my head I was like, because I was okay doing school up until mtuya kam. Mm. So was I, in my head, I did far for a whole year because of like, one and a half months. Uh -uh. In my mind, that was not going to happen. I was like, I'm going to do it and I'm going to do it all. But something I did not say. When mom came to the hospital to see us, Alisema anataka achukwe uyo mtoto. So she goes with the baby home until ni malize shule. Mm. Then neza Ah! I was like, no. Mamu lisha nilea. This is my problem. <laughs> okay, it's not a problem. Responsibility. This is my responsibility. I need to be able to take care of it. Like, siyezi anza kukupatia mtu hii wende na ye. And she was, eh, hali kuwa meeka mkuguchi ni ya kisema. Huyu mtoto wanaenda na ye. When you finish school, that's when you? Mkujie. Mkujie uchukue mtoto. So that's when now Miriam offered. So vila lisikia ni Miriam na ni family member. Because you see, if I want to go back to school two weeks after the baby is born, you can't leave that baby with, with a stranger. You yep. can't. You can't. You can't. It has to mm. be somebody who is... Even for more, you have to still exactly. be picky yes. on who it will be. Yes. So when Miriam came through, that was such a relief. And my mom was, okay, ni sawa. But let me tell you, my mom would come. Like every two, three days. Halikuwa hapanda matatu anakuja. Anashinda na mtoto, anarudi. Wow. Two, three days. Na mwona atena amekuja. Anashinda na mtoto, alafu anarudi kivirimgui. That is how we survived. But now after Miriam left, because now after after um, I was done with school, by March, nilikuwa nisha maliza. And guess what? Immediately after, nimemaliza tu hivi, I think a week after school was over, I actually got a call from K KBC with a job offer. Ah, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, for a show they were producing uh, then, and it was meant to be a transcriber. Yeah, yes, kuandika. Exactly. Kuandika, transcribing means kuandika yes. vile. Nini inasema. Yes. Yes. And I was meant to be a transcriber. Subtitles. Yes. CC. Yes. Hebu gonga CC <laughs> kwa YouTube sayo one. Yeah. But Richie niliende yo kazi for two weeks. And then, then I was like, you know what? I think this is, this time I need to be home. Okay. If Mumbus. Wacha tu niende home ni lem toto. Like, and Abel was very, at least my babe, because I was struggling, you mm. know. Mom guilt. You were away from the guilt. guilt. And then the fact that, badu ni kadogo tuna breastfeed, na badu na nikuenda job, nifanya job, siku mzima, like it was, it was too much of a hassle. So, by the way, Abel, Alisa, imagine you don't need to do this job. If you feel you don't need to, nini, but you see the pressure in your nikonaya one, I actually thought I was very lucky to get a job immediately after mm. school, let us graduate, to get a certificate. Uh, two, I wanted to ease this burden. Mm, the financial burden. Yeah, the financial burden. Is equal to niye tu wana fanya kila kitu kwa inyumba. So I felt I needed to get some work and at least do something to also earn a bit of money to help with whatever is needed in the farm. Be kwa nyumba. But Habel was like, no. Richie, after that, I actually went back home. Nilienda tu nika quit two weeks into the job. Mm, 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 and mm. went back home. And from April until November of that year, 
nilika home nikalea mumbus <laughs> okay yes <laughs> coffee but let me say this mm -hmm. you know i'm i'm thinking about um the guilt that comes mm -hmm. with 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 a, a first time parent mm -hmm. you know maybe second minute gonna gonna two girls mm -hmm. Uh, my first, for my first born daughter, my wife did the same thing. She took time off. Yeah. The second one, like, ah, by the imagine is ah. Mm. <laughs> but I can imagine the guilt that comes yeah. with the leaving. Mm. You get? Yeah. Like, if you were to say, if you were to talk to a woman in that situation, like, what, what would you say? Mm. Leaving. Uh... Having no choice. Lazima wawache. You see, you at least. Oh you yes, know, there was an ini. Yes, the, thank God for Abel mm. in that situation. Yeah. But I can understand why even you wanted to support him. Mm. But what what would you say mm. for somebody who has the guilt, the mom guilt? Yeah, I honestly believe it's part of motherhood. I don't think there is any mom out there who's never experienced a bit of mom guilt mm. but at the end of the day we need to do what we need to do for the uh, betterment of these children because mm. everything that i am doing i i don't think i would as a, as a mom any mom would choose to just go do other things mm. in place of kulea uh, mtoto i don't think any good mother or mm. any mom and as i kufanya evo so at the end of the day, by the way, you got to do what you got to do, do <laughs> for your child. Mom guilt or, or not. I love it. Yeah. Because at the end, I, I, see, Danny, I don't think there's a mother who can say they've never experienced a bit mm. of mom guilt at some point. Man, Judy, thank you so much for sharing that. <laughs> okay. To not change buses. <laughs> <laughs> the story continues. Where we, so we're going to take it from the beginning of? From uh, now November. Because now, now from November. Because up to Tunalea. There's nothing else yes, yes, happening yes. there. But Nimesema from April to November. Because from November something happens. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We'll be back in November. Yeah. Wanted to change cards, change batteries. <laughs> we'll be back. We'll be back. I credit that movie, like I credit me being on the set of Nairobi Half-Life for everything that I've achieved in what? my life uh, up until today. If there's one thing I've loved about this season is Kufanya Easy CTA. I'm enjoying them. <laughs> Hey, 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 I wish I could do this for the rest of my life. Every day. Kuongea, kuongea na watu na kulipwa. Kulipwa sana sana. How good it is. Talking about kulipwa. <laughs> yeah. Part of the goal that we are trying to do. Mm. And by we, I'm talking about CTA. Yeah. We are grateful to God for the 600 plus thousand shillings that has been raised for your mom mm. by the community of CTA guys. Yeah. And of course the Mukuru community that are now intertwined themselves. Say lazima ukwe tu member wa one community. Unaweza kuwa kwa CTA na hata kwa Mukuru. You're welcome here. So, we are also aiming for 2 million shillings. The money that was taken from your mom. Mm -hmm. I'm trusting God to to mm. bring it back for mm -hmm. her to enjoy the soft life. Yeah. And as I said, I never ask people to do stuff that are not doing. Mm. So, nimetoa simu. Hii simu ilikuwa kwa silent kwa sababu kuna msia anajaribu kunipigia. But then, <laughs> let me go to the thingy. Let me hit pin code. So, uh, tell me, Judy, what's the number? 075, 0798. 0798. 0798-659. 0798-659. 0798 Then you hit enter. Then you put the figure. Stem taweka 2000. Oh. And the most, most. Haba na haba hujiazo kibaba. Thank you. Why is it taking time to load? Oh, hii wifi ya hapa si. Let me move to data. Give me a second. Okay, Judy. I've fixed my wifi. Buni pati ya number? 07? 98. 98. 659. 659-792. 792. Yeah. Do you have the phone that is there? Yes. In fact, just to call that phone. You know, sometimes 
Guys, <laughs> guys think it is a lie. Oh my god. Ah, sent from Judy Murevi. Dio hiyo, unasikia ki vibrate? Unasikia ki vibrate? Richard Njau. Yes. How much has come in? 2000. Sawa, as you said. So guys don't think that that hii ni camera tricks tu anafanyanga. See tricks baby. See tricks. I truly believe in giving. Giving Thanks. that's how more comes. Thank uh, you. But also whether more comes or more doesn't come, mm. me I'm still going to give because so, yani yeah, soft keep. life. Soft life ya Mama Judy lazima ifanyike. Thank and you. I'll do my little bit. God okay. Bless you. Hii story na bamba. By the way, uh, the double M <laughs> merchandise manager ko huko ananipigia simu, ananiuliza umefanya me, 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 mention. If you'd like our CTA merchandise we've got this in black and white uh, just go into the comments uh, WhatsApp your number and somebody is going to get a hold of you all sizes but in the colors that we are doing right now only black and white with this and with the hoodie and also the CTA mugs ziko hapo pale Ndio eh Okay sir <laughs> Judy this story is yours yes. uh, and I want to go back to it hiyo ni commercial break mm. So where we've left this story yes you quit KBC your first job mm. Uh, your first job in coach because obviously yes. your job ya karatina yeah. uh, then now hey, i know your life you know <laughs> my life <laughs> <laughs> i know your life so yeah. now you are you are you've been home for 10 months mm. kila mtoto mm. now november you said november is when things change yes so november on uh, one of the days i'm just chilling in the house na lea mtoto kama kawaida i get a call and this call is actually from philip mm. yes And Philip is is um uh like I got a call for some job for a movie that's meant to be short. Uh-huh. But mimi sipatikani so nataka kukurushia hiyo job. Like I'm not available to do the 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 job because you remember him he's in Tahiti High he's they are doing all these other things. So I want to uh, send your contact to the person who had called me for the job and sasa muonge one kama utapata hiyo job so i was very excited you can imagine after so many months at yeah. home <laughs> and nimesoma nimeenda shule na hitaji kuwa nafanya kazi so i was actually very excited for that call so the person called and they were like uh, we are about to start shooting a movie and um, we have a, a vacancy in the art department so in it the was art actually, department art, art, art department, department. Uh-huh. yes And uh, are you do you think uh, are you interested in the job eh unaona ni kama unaweza nini nini I was like yes 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 and actually what they what she said was in the art department there are many roles in the art department on a movie set mm. right because the art department is in in charge of sets okay eh, okay so there's a living room kama yeah, house uh-huh, uh-huh. yes lazima ikae a living yeah. room there's a kitchen ama there's a um, police station ni, ni exactly too. exactly okay. there's a police station there's all those things so the art department is in charge of the sets mm. so if it's a police station there's somebody a location manager who has sourced for the location but then it needs to look like a police station a police station so yes. the art department is in charge of of that for any any but now Uh, in the set department there's many many roles so one of the roles is actually something that we call it is not very common <laughs> in in here in for the kind of productions we do but out there ni kitu kubwa it's called the action vehicle coordinator uh-huh. so an action vehicle coordinator what they do is you are in charge of making sure like sourcing for any car any kind of vehicle mm. that is seen on picture like e camera ya izo mahali ime point kuna fa kwa na gari inaonekana mahali your work as an action vehicle coordinator is to source for that particular car Whoa. it could be a lorry it could be a, yes, a pickup pick it could be a mercedes it could be an old car that is very and sometimes they are very specific uh, when it comes to colors utambo we want a red car we want an orange car we want like the director wow. can be very specific in terms of uh, the vehicle that they want on set and remember this movie that i am now a part of na nisha pata kazi junile in the interview na nikapata kazi is none other than nairobi half life to bring kazi 
Wow, yes. Wow, wow, so wow. this particular movie yenye inaitwa Kazi ni the Nairobi Half Life. And if you remember Nairobi Half Life, the whole story revolved around cars, around vehicles. So hii role oh, yangu yes. Kwa sababu ilikuwa anaenda kuiba magari. Yes, walikuwa anaenda kuiba magari na maspare parts na vitu kama hizo. So my role was actually a major role like uh, kazi yangu ilikuwa kazi kidogo cuz the story in a revolve around this resort is yes. tuna, tunaona kwa hii cinema. Richi. <laughs> so when I went for the interview <laughs> I remember our head of department um, the art department was uh, was a lady a Spanish lady called Naya. She was from Spain but very like very skilled like one of the top uh art guys in this country. Mm. I remember having a conversation with her and she's asking me all these questions because if this is the role that you're getting they need to know that you know about vehicles. So mm. uh, uh, if the uh, director asks for uh Nissan Sunny something like unajua hiyo ni gari gani because you need to know about vehicles for yep. you to get this role. Let me tell you. Ulijua hmm. uji. <laughs> ah! Ungenipata kwa hiyo interview nikisema yes. Yes, but let me tell you for some funny reason because now because uh, of Abel and Phil na ni watu wa magari mm-hmm. hata kama yote hawakuwa na magari. Because <laughs> yes. of hanging out with them hata kwa barabara ungesikia kusema ile ni nini ile ni so over time ni kwa nimeanza kujua magari not because tuko nazo or anything yeah, because... but just because of hanging out with them and they used to talk a lot about vehicles and what not so i knew models za magari mm. ungeniambia Toyota Premium ningekwambia ni gani ungeniambia Mercedes Z class 180 ningekwambia you see like nilikuwa nishaanza kukuwa tuna hiyo interest ya magari i get but kumbe ni Mungu alikuwa ananini prepare for this I... <laughs> job position <laughs> Because let me tell you by the end of that interview I walikuwa shanipatia kazi walikuwa anambia yeah you 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 qualified wewe una hizi stories za magari unazijua and that was actually my if i was to be very odd because ya KBC yes, was a yes. certification mm-hmm. that was actually my first gig in now the film industry what it was my first job and let me tell you Richie si kazi nilifanya me i want to hear about this kazi for the robots <laughs> like oh! Oh, yes. Like, oh. Like, like, first hey. and foremost, explain to people. So I've interviewed Mugambi, mm. who was one of the actors yes. in Nairobi yeah. Half Life. Yeah. So and of course Nairobi after I even know Tosh Gitonga. Yes, he was the director. But explain to people. Mm. You know now there are movies muko na hii click click bang which is on Netflix by the way. Yes. Go and watch click click bang on Netflix. Tunatupa hiyo advertising yeah. done to you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so but then explain to people Nairobi half life there are no movies at that time. Yes. and then budget wise mm. this key the movie na budget kuna kwa na budget so uh, Nairobi half life was um, a movie done by a production company in the um, no Agwen Scott Kuko is sides the production company in itwa Ginger Inc mm. G- Ginger Inc films the owner of Ginger Inc the wife and has Ginger actually mm-hmm. <laughs> and their husband uh, they are Germans but when you are from Kenya na wanafanyanga cinema in mm. Kenya so uh, they had partnered with some organization in Germany to start producing films for Kenyans by Kenyans but by the way the, the way they were doing they were doing it is uh, they would say it's training mm. for Kenyans but practical yes but mm. it's practical so actually what used to happen is they would do um uh, like a master class sort of uh, thing for two weeks workshop a, a workshop with um uh, film people who were already in the film industry or actually people who were already in the film industry industry because mm. it was very competitive that workshop was very competitive like what we anyone in EVVVV so prior to me now coming for this conversation and uh, the interview and what not the workshop had already happened mm. and they had already hired people to do this particular movie because then you would do the workshop after the workshop you do the movie the same people in the workshop they do the movie will then come and do the movie as crew right but sasa for um, the workshop they would only do deal with the head of departments right mm. so they would do they would take a head of camera head of so it would be the head of departments in the workshop 
but for now the assistants and everybody else they would hire okay. when the time was uh, when they were shooting the movie mm. so that is how i got, you got that him. particular uh, role in that movie so nairobi half life was funded very heavily funded by the german corporation i can't remember the name of that uh, corporation so it was actually i feel like it was the first movie in our country kukua na budget kama hiyo na kufika um uh, to hit the what is it called they like, kujulikana vile lijulikana cuz yep. Nairobi Half Life was big was massive it is still on Netflix so if if you Nairobi Half Life is on Netflix yeah it is on Netflix oh, yeah check it out yeah i think it's still there ni miona juzi so you can go and watch it okay Uh, so it was on a, it actually I feel like it was one of the biggest movies we've ever yeah, done in this country. A doubt. Yeah. Yeah. So um, there was a budget. I remember. Eh, hey, you mimi ndena nikambozi ile pesa nalipo Richie was like, "What?" <laughs> Can I ask like what it was? Yes, it was 60 Gs <laughs> for for um, for six weeks of shoot. Oh. But you see for somebody who's been in the house. Yep just chilling mm-hmm. and now you get your first gig and you're getting 60,000 Kenya shillings yeah. and for this gig there's a driver who's picking you up from yeah. your house what? from the gate hapo alikuwa anakuja hapo kwa gate na nani drop kwa gate and there is food and everything is offered on set so basically the money you're getting ni yako tu ni net ni net mm. pure kabisa like hakuna mm. tio transport or nothing but i remember hey you didn't need foundation discipline that is the first time i experienced way and you had to work on another level because then the call time was 5 a.m. so the driver would be outside the gate at 5 a.m. in the morning pangani hapo 5 a.m. in the morning and sometimes we'd come back home sometimes it would be early 6 p.m. sometimes it would be 10 p.m. sometimes it would be the following day <laughs> yes because you're shooting <laughs> yes because you're shooting and we had a lot of night sh- night, night scenes we had a lot of like it was it was quite something but let me tell you I credit that movie like I credit me being on the set of Nairobi Half Life for everything that I've achieved in What? my life uh, up until today in terms of my career mm. uh, Nairobi Half Life was the thing that just that's so powerful to hear it was the project that just put me on the map when it comes to like everything else that I've done up until today in terms of career was because of that opportunity wow. on that set so you i had you was it your job to source the cars yes so give me what then does a typical day look like because you know it sounds oh. right now that ah niko kwa set tu na na chill nikiangalia filming can happen well let me tell you so a typical day on set would look like this it would start from the previous day because then there's something we call a call sheet that uh, you would need to get the day before. So if you are, there's a particular um, scene we're shooting tomorrow you'd need to get the call sheet to today. Mm. So a call sheet is basically a paper showing a uh, kesho tuna shoot wapi location uh, the scenes the actors the props nini na sasa mimi mine used to fall under the props because mm. props is, is in the art department. Yes. So in this scene unaambua uh, for example Karis uh, is seen driving into the compound he parks the car da, 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 da. Ivo. Sasa hii scene ina describe Karis akiingia into the compound. Si amesema hii scene driving in. He, what is what car which car is this that is driving? Ndio kazi yako. Hiyo ndio kazi yangu. So first order of business before any before even we started shooting and everything we had like two weeks of pre-production. Pre-production is where you sit down and go through the scripts. Picking out Is that and is that every <laughs> yes <laughs> now it's it, it, so you start with your department and the head of department and then there is now with the director cuz hapo inaweza kuimeandikwa uh inaweza tukua kuimeandikwa vw uh like a volkswagen, uh, volkswagen golf, golf. Yeah. but when the kwa director akwambie that volkswagen golf ina need kukua blue in color wow so akwe aku very specific with even the color And yani <laughs> so even if I'm going to source I'm not just sourcing for, for any yeah. golf yenye naona ikipita I'm sourcing for a specific car yani. a specific color that is the, that was my work and let me tell you with Nairobi Half Life we had from um, 
what are the qualities gari za kubeba magari zingine zikiharibika flatbed yes tulia tulikuwa na flatbed we had lorries we had police vehicles the land rovers are they the, are they, are they the land rovers mm. land cruisers land cruiser ya karoni land cruiser mm. we had the land cruisers nini nini and i remember for the land cruiser tulitafuta ya karao tukakosa cuz ya karao lazima iko in the colors painted yes. nini it has mm. to be a proper proper police land cruiser tukatafuta 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 tukakosa tunapata land cruiser but to party in a specific color let me tell you we hired a land cruiser is is a that to uh, uh, tourists yes but one that had been like looked exactly like uh, the land cruiser for makara ngetuno mm. uko na ma spray paint painting it hizo kala za karao tuki paint na watu at department mpaka inatolewa hizo papers ndio exactly how a police land cruiser needs to look like so that is what i was doing so today. in your job so, are you told this is your budget for cars yes there is a budget that you can't exceed so you now go negotiating with people yes so we okay, ukiona let's say you are told you want a volvo 850 yes. green yeah. ukiona okay, you just Wanyewe. go negotiate negotiate yes negotiate. let me tell you i used to in at that time kwa chukua tunaishi pangani it was a whole apartment block by then nilikuwa naambiwa neighbor nilikuwa naambiwa kuna gari nataka na kumka mm, kuna neighbor huyo mwana kuanga nayo naenda kwake I want be now there's this movie we're shooting and we need a car that looks exactly like yours so the selling point was it was two things because you're paying them mm-hmm. to hire their car and then they would come back with a full tank of fuel ah yeah 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 chukua nataka fit yangu yes yeah so now alipia na unaenda una jaza una wajazia by the time it's coming back home full tank. Na full tank of fuel so most people would not yeah, we'll try that yeah. now you will get, you'll get a line of I know. <laughs> Yeah so let me tell you Richie I spoke to everybody and everyone and nilikuwa mabishti hivi na watu wa makahaya cuz hao walikuwa wana come through sana nilikuwa naambia need this car right now na kaivi wana ni sort so that is what I did for Nairobi half life and let me tell you and like how many cars did you get to pick I think in total in Nairobi half life I think I sourced for more than 15 cars. God, 15. Yes. Zilikuwa. Unajua 15 cars si mchezo kidogo kitafuta kitafuta kitafuta. Yeah, like even more with that movie. Yeah. That I movie. think ni mob. Cuz you see um in a scene where it's probably a garage mm-hmm. na kuna gari ziko juu ya mawe. Unajua like yep. a typical garage. Yep. You know those cars are not there by accident. Yep. Yeah like they've been sourced ndio zikae hapo si ati zime tumekuja tu tukazipata zikae hapo yeah but let me tell you Nairobi half life taught me discipline it taught me hard work it taught me resilience because where those hours were crazy and you see okay. mumbo is t- 10 months old mm. so she's still breastfeeding mm. na kila kitu so nitatoka job usiku nimpate hapo anyonye usiku mzima but the time i'm waking up i'm so hungry i feel so weak <laughs> because she's been breastfeeding the entire night na lazima anyonye ndio yeah. aniamke mimi niende kazi eh adia bianga by the way if i did it would be half like there's nothing i can do yeah but it's also the first proper introduction into the film industry what did it do for you mm-hmm. from a possibility perspective mm. what i mean by this is you know ulianza let me say it lied to you yes Mm-hmm. about about the the opportunities in the yes. in the film industry i'm just being real yeah that's uh, true You started with the best. Yes. So you're like, ah! Come on, Shane. Ah, you okay? You okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So but at the same time it makes you say, I don't care what people are telling me. Mm. Me I know this industry has money or yeah. can make money. Mm. So what did it do for you? So the one thing that it did for me There is kuna mtu aliniambia ngai hivyo. Ali mwanangu did you ever say no to an opportunity? No, you don't say no. You say yes and then you go learn as you do whatever it is that you need to do. Cuz I would have very easily said no to Nairobi Half Life. Yeah. Cuz it was it was an at the art department. Cuz the stories are props kujenga vitu nini I was like hey. But I was like no. Mimi nataka tu kuingiza mguu wapi? Done. The film industry.
what did it do for you mm-hmm. from a possibility perspective mm. what i mean by this is you know ulianza let me say it lied to you yes <laughs> about about the the opportunities in the yes. in the film industry i'm just being real yeah that's uh, true you started with the best yes so you're like ah come <laughs> imagine if <laughs> ah you <okay>? kill <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So but at the same time it makes you say I don't care what people are telling me, mm. me I know this industry has money or yeah. can make money. Mm. So what did it do for you? So the one thing that it did for me was the fact that nilianzia huko juu. It um I actually realized that I can do anything. Mm. That I am I am very equipped. Like I am very capable of doing whatever it is that life especially job that life throws at me because remember kwa interview nilikuwa na jichocha na juizi magari <laughs> but ni jichocha hivyo ndio nipate kazi yes so getting the job and actually doing it was something different. Hmm? completely different it was completely different because you see even if as much as uh, Phil and Abel watani said you can advise na kuniambia talk to this guy talk to this guy wako na maisha zao wako na kazi zao So what I niambia tu hivyo but they leave everything yep. else where we jipa 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 Yeah so I I I I feel like that is the one thing that it uh did for me as in just showing me how capable I am mm. like I can neza hakuna kitu inaweza mm. neza paint gari kwa yes. kaka Yes, okay, a minute you can do this thing, you can actually do it. Mm. So that was the one thing. The second thing of course it was the fact that the payment na vile unalipwa na wanalipa very promptly nini like it was like by the time we were done in the movie payment nini nini like things were actually it was like Cash me I money. enjoyed myself. <laughs> yes. Yeah, until sasa tukaingia the film industry. <laughs> <laughs> the real film industry. Yeah. yeah, but honestly, if anything me the lessons in that I took from Nairobi Half Life were very good. Like I feel zili ni enable to survive kwa industry vizuri. Okay. Hizo make me kazi nyingine zote. I get it. Yeah. Okay, so that's a that's an amazing foundation in terms of entering. Very good. But even yeah. they let you I mean you're on set. So yes. you're seeing yes. proper film, you're seeing yes. people doing oh come what's the one to wanna find a yeah. fake rain. This fake rain I'm sure has not been done before at KFC. Ah, yeah, we have like was something else. I feel I, I feel like it's the f- I don't want to say it's the only professional. <laughs> film <laughs> set I've been on because there are some people who are going to kill me. <laughs> But from that, that budget perspective exactly from that exactly i think that's the word yeah as in it, it just showed me the possibilities that are there in our industry if only we could we had the kind Get of the support yeah yeah it was quite something it yeah it was quite something i mean philo uh, i was watching abel abel's abel's uh, live mm. the juice party i was mm. watching one of the clips and you you so when phil is asking abel for his car Mm. so that they're giving giving yes. his dima to hey. thingy it's because alikuwa yeye ndio anafanya hiyo role ya at director kwa hiyo kwa film no 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 so phil phil is the director director no but i'm saying he he, he yeah. played the role yes so that's why <laughs> alikuwa na source gun yes. and, and for the shoot he yes. needed yes he needed yes exactly okay. yeah, no, that's no. true that's true <laughs> <laughs> and I watch your episode yeah <laughs> okay so this is only six weeks Mm, it's only six weeks of work uh-huh. after hapo sasa inaisha but when i tell you it was my stepping stone to everything else that i've done in this industry it really was okay richie do you know how you do something but we won't have to me i'm just mimi nafanya tu kazi nimepewa kazi so mimi naifanya do you know richie i did such a good job that by the end of the film the naya our head of art department actually wanted a meeting with me tukae tu chini aniambie going forward kazi zake zote ananitaka kwa department yake what yes and even the owner of um, the production company ginger and every, they were convinced that either i own a kayad somewhere <laughs> either i own a kaya business somewhere cuz they were like Cuz I was so tired. Remember, I'm uh, 20 no, by this time I had turned 23 in that November actually. Yes. I just turned 23. So they're like she's so tiny, she's so 
small. Yes. She doesn't look like she even knows to a lot. Like she even understands the industry. But then they give me this job and they do it so well. They were like, what? Do you know after that they would... I remember actually one time uh, Naya called me and she wanted to buy a particular pickup and she was calling me for advice. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> should you go this car? Do you think I should pick those, this one or this one? Because she had an, uh, a Spanish accent. Yes. It was so interesting. And let me tell you, Richie, when I tell you I have never, ever, ever looked for work since Nairobi half leg. Which you didn't even really look for. Yes, like... Oh, Kazi zina nitaftanga. Richi mi sijiri. Sijiri enda mahali. Either kupeleka papers ama kukoli mtu ni kitafta kazi. After Nairobi Half-Life. Simuzo. Every project I have been a part of. Mina kuanga tu home na pigiwa simu. What? Yes. Okay, first of all, I believe that. Because very funnily, that's my life as well. Yeah. <laughs> but for me, what it shows mm. is the level of excellence, yeah. of discipline, mm. of hard work, of make it or make it mentality yes. that you had. Oh. Oh, yes. Like Judy, and here here is the thing mm. that I have to say about this. This is your first job. So it's not that, oh, experience is my excuse, oh, I've lack ah. whatever. This is not your field. Mm -mm. This is not editing. Mm -mm. It's not even production. It's not even production. I know a bit of production. This is not something that you could have caught a feeling and said, ah, clacking at us, you, you, see, you see the thing I went to study. Mm. Like for real, I I I, I understand it because I've done it yeah. in my own way. Mm. But it is so, so encouraging for to hear that from a twenty what three year old who has a first child. Yes, a ten year old, a ten month old baby at that point. Wow, wow, wow! <laughs> if if CTA was to end here, mm. may all the young people take that lesson. Yes. You, you took the opportunity that was presented mm. to you. You had very many excuses not to do it. Yeah. You took that opportunity, mm. and that opportunity honestly became not your stairs, your elevator. Mm. That's true. That's true. Very true. So what's the first job that comes next? So the first job that comes right after Nairobi Half-Life was a production that was for NTV at the time. Uh, it was being done by another production. I can't remember the name of that production. Mm. <laughs> but there was a show on NTV uh called news of gold mm. i don't know if you can remember i don't remember it but yes. i'll find the cut yes away. yes <laughs> news of gold and i was actually they called me as um to be a production assistant so apo nikaanza kurudi sasa line yangu ya logistics nini 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 so after Yani. yeah and let me tell you it's not people that i knew or it see I took what na Juana to say we were probably in Nairobi Half Life together, yes. but just but my the word got around, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they just called me and they didn't call me for to be in the art department. They called me to be uh, a production assistant. You know you're talking about, you know I I sometimes say this and people when I need to comment. Yeah, na so manga comments zako. When I say the world is a dot. It is a dot. Film, the industry at that time was even smaller than a dot. Yes. Everybody knew everybody. Everybody knew So people knew are calling everybody. and saying, hey, you see when you've talked Nairobi yes. half life, I've yes. named three people. Yeah. You get already yeah. just like this. Mm. So this time they're not calling you to do a Tissot's cars. Mm -mm. You have stepped up to production assistance. Yes. They actually called specifically for that. And I remember them saying, uh, we have a producer and the producer needs an assistant. So do you think this is something you can do? I was like, yes. You do you know the answer? Yes. No. Yes. No. <laughs> Actually, it's funny because there is kuna mtu aliniambia ngaevo. Alimwambia, "Judy, do you ever say no to an opportunity?" No, you don't say no. You say yes and then you go learn as you do whatever it is that you need to do. Cuz I would have very easily said no to Nairobi Half Life. Yeah. Cuz it was it was an at the art department. Kwanza studies are props kujenga vitu nini? I was like, "Hey." But I was like, "No." Mimi nataka tu kuingiza mguu wapi? Done. The film industry. So for me, I knew that was my way of doing that. I knew I just need to get my feet into the film industry. Yes. From there, I'll figure my way out. So Nairobi Half-Life was that for me. Wow. Ningie tu kwa industry. I don't care ni nini wananitia nifani. Hata wange nitia ni kue gaffer assistant. Ningeenda tu. Yes. Nijue kushika machumba huko nikiekelea light. Yeah. So for me I saw an opportunity 
that would enable me to get into this industry that I wanted. It was not exactly the, yes. the, uh, the job I had in mind, but it was a start. So Nilingiabo, and that was, really when I tell you everything else I've done is because of Nairobi Half-Life. It is true. Can I ask a question? Mm. So, one of the things that I, ah, man, <laughs> when I talk about value, mm. and I say CTA, what you get is value, educational value. Yeah. You are really beginning. Now we are in gear in this thing. Mm. Yeah, Uta, would see my chores, the sun as it talk. But then but then the information, if you take it, I promise you it will change your life. That's true. So there's two things about our work environment. Mm. And I want to figure out how did you navigate it. Mm. First and foremost, this whole life of yours, Jawai Skia, Unaungena Walami. You get? Mm. So how you act on set, yeah. first and foremost from the perspective of kufanya job, mm. do the job, yeah. you've touched a, a, a lot about it, mm. uh, or a bit about it, which is fine, yeah. but I want to hear about talking to people, communication, mm. because mm. people don't just take you because you do a job. That's true. Kunata iki to your communication, mm. kuna, yeah. There's a lot, there's a lot that goes into it. But I would, um, for me, I would say, you see, in the days of waking up early to go clean the soko with my mom, yeah, 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 yeah. help her for gear the soko. I think I was I learned hard work when I was very young. Wow! Like I learned putting in the work, and nothing comes to you easy. Like you have to put in the work. Where's the kachini? Kazi kupate kama umekachini. Lazima ikupate yo actively, mm. maybe in that space. So by the time ina kupata, unaenda. So for me, I think from those days of uh, going to the market and helping my mom clean the market and all those things. And you remember I said you used to wake up very early. Mm. Like my mom would wake up at five. Na juzi alikuwa ananiambia when we met juzi, she was like, aki na kumka. Ni kwa tu na, na amka hivi na kusikia pia wewe umeamka. Wow. So I think I was taught the value of hard work and that you honestly have to put in work. I think for me that's why it was, I, I, I think it came naturally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the fact that whatever job you're given, you have it to do, you have to do it to your very best. Like you have to give it your a hundred percent. Hakuna kufanya kazi hivi hivi. Yeah, because eventually when you do it like that, the reward comes. This next job, did they pay you as much as the other? No. So, so, I tell you, why? <laughs> so, hey. so your position increased, your hey. abilities increased. Like, yes. you don't know, don't you know, my inability for don't do. Actually, when you say I was, that, that is when I was actually now introduced into the film industry. But it was different. <laughs> I remember um, working on the set and we would shoot for like three months. But Richie, I remember Mushare Nge Kuja, like after, even sometimes after six months. Yes. So you do a project and then you wait for the salo to come, like four, five, six months, you're still waiting. Unaona kwa TV? Yes. Ay, pro, ata inaenda kuisha vipi mizliisha na bado Mushara hijaifika. But now, that is now where I started learning the art of is it multitasking? This is not multitasking. Kushikanisha projects. Mm. Like, e project kisha, hakikisha there's another project coming your way, Evo. And for some reason, like I put it, I never I never called anyone to look for a job. But every time, by the time to nenda kumaliza projectivity, mm. I would get another phone call for another project. Were you talking to people, asking people, what's, what's, what, is there, is there anything happening? No, I think what worked for me is because of the work. As in the, like, the crew, walikuwa anonele kazi uyu mstana anafanya. So the crew became my... Pals. Yes, na waundi walikuwa anasema kunihusu. Kuna mtu, kuna mtu najua. So, yeah, like you put it, the film industry was so small back then. It's still very small now, but it was even smaller. So, you do one gig here, the same crew, mutapatana nao kwa production ingini. The same crew, mutapatana nao kwa production ingini. So, these guys that you're working with, Aonde wana peana stories zako konji. 
ukisikia sasa wanatafuta producer anasema eh hey, kuna kasi nyanga inaitwa Judi eh hey, ni Kanoma uh -huh. au anapeana namba so that is how I used to that is how I got all my gigs not even me calling ni kwa afu nikiuliza ah nani amekupatia namba oh mlikuwa kwa seti ya nani na nani huyo ndiye alitupatia namba yako yep that is how I it's it's like the way i say if you're looking for video guys mm. Look no father. Mm. Kuna mse hapa anaitwa Aizo <laughs> na mse hapa anaitwa <laughs> Wamai. Yeah. Like I, pro, I I want them I want to be stingy with myself for CTA. Yes. But not only are they hard workers mm. but there's this other thing. Mm. So you, you found a setup here. Yeah. Diligence, mm. timekeeping. Yeah. Decorum. Mm. Like those kind of things. Yeah. That are beyond just the skill set. Yeah. I think for you mm beyond just the hard work yeah. if this is a judy who's been there for all this time mm. i'm sure there was other uni mtu mzuri too also mm. that you want because there are the people who can do the job but lakini eh uh, people skills and what not are missing that's true so how does it feel to see uh, your work now on tv hey, it feels so good and then you wait unga na ngoja mpaka credit sasa hapo ndio kuna call mom everybody naambia watch na ikiisha tu hivi usizime ungoje mpaka uone credit because then you see your name the production assistant Judy Nyawera oh you feel so good that is actually huge people within the film industry mm. them they are looking for people so yes. them the credits were kwibi too mm, when they want to know who was the producer who was the cameraman who's the yeah So that used to feel so good. So what what was next after NTV? Actually another production by the same production house. They got another um, uh, show drama show for NTV. You know when it was Demigods. Mm, mm, yeah, mm. so there were two productions, News of Gold and Demigods. Okay. And then you see because there are two productions, by the time me and my Inaisha ku ku air as in ku shoot and then air. Mm. Then hii ngine ndio tunaanza ku shoot ndio yende on air. So for our good for maybe two years I was actually part of that production team. Just that's all you do. That's all I was and doing. You're, and production in assistant. terms of production assistance, mm. what are your roles? So my roles are As, as the title says i'm an assistant to the producer mm. so the producer is the overall boss in mm. a production set right do you and you ana ana run everything to do with that set okay. so from who is the to don don director no 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 on a set actually producer so the director is only in charge of the set mm. right but the producer is in charge of the entire production wow because the producer and you ana And uh, like producer and Yanaza Fire. I don't know Yanaza Fire director. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because the producer is now who's in charge the producer is in charge of the entire productions, the logistics of the entire wow, productions. Wow, 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 from wow. the casting department, from the um, uh, yeah, yeah, art yeah. department, camera department. Producer is in charge of all those things. So I was an assistant to the producer. But so, but now as an assistant, what you do your main role is just the day to day activities of the set mm, right mm, mm. so we are shooting here tomorrow uh is there someone to clean the set yes mm. so those are my small small tools okay. right we need toilet paper for the washrooms mm. you get those oh the director needs uh, some juice or mm. some water you mm. get those anataka na anataka two red bull exactly mm. yeah, director anataka red bull ama anataka flavored water yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my work was is uh, like the small small the day to day running of the set just mm -hmm. to make sure that nothing is missing and everybody is comfortable. The wardrobe department wanataka sijui kuna nguo imeraruka mahali wana need ipeleke mahali kwa fundi kashoni. Need them to and do You see like the day to day running That's still a lot of work and you need to be agile. Is all, eh, like this. Solving like this eh. exactly, yeah. Actually by the time I'm, ta I'm going to the producer with a problem it's because it's nimeshindwa ku solve but fai kwenda kwa producer kwanza kumwambia ngoe ya, ya cast imeraruka tuna need kupeleka kwa ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, eh, fa, yeah. eh. So that is where now So this thing is always stretching you eh? He and it was the same like uh, the hours on a set are just crazy Yep Yep it, they're just crazy cuz you have very early mornings And at that particular time I remember I used to Oh by this time now we had moved to um, Kiambu Road Thindigwa because we moved when uh, Umbus was almost turning two years so we had moved to Thindigwa No when she turned one year that's when we moved 
we had moved to Kiambu Road now. Juju tukua tumesema, hey, sasa tunataka kutoke hii misha ya town. Tunataka kuenda kuishu shagu, shagu, mahali tumeza lelea mtoto. Thindigua, when we moved there, it was proper shagu. Yeah. It was just coffee plantations and coffee plantations everywhere. Coffee plantations, coffee plantations and then it's too much. Exactly. Yeah, so um, I leave the house at 5 a.m. I have to walk like a kilometer to the stage. Because it's hatuna gari, sinima tatu. Wow. Yeah. Like in Thindigua where we used to live. Yeah. It was almost a kilometer from my house Whoa. to get to the, bus, the, the stage, the, yeah. the um, Matatu stage. And I would leave the house exactly at 5 a.m. Nitembe, nifike kwa stage. In like 15 minutes, nimefika kwa stage. Nipande Matatu niende tao. Because our pick-up point was in town up on Bata Hilton. Mm, 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 so hapo mm. ndiyo Matatu, um, Matatu za jobs ikuwa zinatungojia. So they pick you from there, then you go to the location. You know, mm. okay, I'll talk husband talk hapa. Mm. Your husband is, is he on a constant salary? You know the thing about production and film? Yes. It's not every month at 25th. There's money coming in, yes. It is project based. Yes. But now, for them, because of citizen, they oh, were on a salary. He's still on citizen. Okay, okay he's at citizen. Yeah, understand. he was still at citizen. Still doing Tahidi, but now we're making um, uh, part of the crew, so they are doing script writing, they're doing camera. At this point, I think... Philips TV is not born yet. No, Philips TV is okay, not okay, born okay, yet. Okay, it does okay, not okay. exist. Okay. Yeah. So you now you're in the production world? I'm now in the production world. With a one world. year old? Full on, with a one, one year so old. So it's okay now, now 2011? 2011, no, Sasa. Sasa took a full on production. Actually, 2011 going to 2012, Sasa. So, Kazini production, production, production. And then, uh, still uh, news of gold and demigods because I was there for quite a while. And then on a random morning after we had actually wrapped. So I was just at home chilling. Because then every time after a production I had wrapped, like you have a one month, two months, be like it when you nafanya until the next production comes along, right? So I remember on one morning, actually I was on a phone call. This is uh, this is in the um, which year is this? This is in the year twenty twelve. At some mm. point, okay. I think towards end of twenty twelve, I get a call, and this call is from a guy called Michael. Now Michael to look one Nairobi Half Life. Na Michael alikuwa ana train continuity. Mm. On Nairobi Half Life, he was a, no, he was a third AD. He was a third AD on Nairobi Half Life, but alikuwa ameanza kukuwa na interest ya ku train for No, he was a continuity person. He was training for continuity. Mm. Uh, continuity people understand the yeah. kama hiki tulikuwa huko na tuna cartridge and kukula lunch. Exactly, lazima irudi. Lazima iko hapo. The same same, mm. yes. So, because life doesn't pause, exactly, it doesn't pause. So, uh, it's from X Michael, and he's calling about uh, some job I missed here uh, in a certain company. That company was uh, called Media Company. Uh, continuity, people understand. They yeah. Kama hiki tuliko huku na tunakatu na kukula lunch. Exactly. Lazima irudi. Lazima ikuwe hapo hapo. The same, hapo. same, yes. So. Because life doesn't pause. Exactly, it doesn't pause. So, uh, it's from Michael and he's calling about uh, some job I missed here uh, in a certain company. That company was uh, called Media Company. Media? Media. So, it's okay. Media. I. Then... A E no. A E with an E. At oh, the end. okay, okay. So okay. Yeah. Media, yeah. media. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people would call it media E, but it was media. <laughs> so he calls and he says, "Hey, nilikuwa hapa nikasikiza ma producer wakiongea there's an opportunity at media E for he was working at media E at the time for a third AD, a third assistant director mm. on set." So, uh, would you be interested? I throw in your name somewhere there. I was like, yes. 
I was like, me, I, me, whatever opportunity, I would just say yes. But it's not production. <laughs> no, it is it's production. Okay. It is still production. Okay. It's coming. I'll explain what, yeah. So, uh, and they're like, uh, so he was like, okay, sawa, sawa, sawa. So I'll, I'll talk to the producer about you and then she'll probably call you back. So when she calls you back, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Yeah. So um, I think it was the following day, the producer calls. And she's like, hey, uh, we have an opening for a third assistant director on this show that you're producing um, at the moment. And uh, we've been told you're actually very good at what you do. So would, would you mind, do, you, do you mind coming in for a conversation? I was like, yeah, why not? So Nika Jipanga na Nika Enda actually. Same, same day. Because hmm. she said if I can come in the afternoon. So I went, same, same day. So Richie, this production uh, that they are about to start producing, uh, working on this particular show, was Nozone. Do you know Nozone Kids on Citizen TV? It was mm. a, 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 a show for kids. Yes. Yes, it was Nozone Kids. So as we, a, weekly. Yes, weekly, every mm. Saturday. Every in the Saturday. Morning. Okay. Yes. So for Nozone, a third assistant director, my role was actually taking care of the kids because mm. it was literally a kids show yes. so we would have kids from different schools come on set to produce the said show right yes so my work as a third assistant director was to take care of these kids okay. when they come on set mm. and by taking care of them is actually even going through scripts with them Whoa. now i said ya rehearse nini nini because we have we had presenters they would uh, do like a math question like a math um, quiz they will do an english quiz all those things but you know they have um you need to, you you needed to give the kids their cues yes Do at even the introduction of the show when the presenter says welcome to hey. and kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my work was to take care of the children and at the same time prep them mm. but not so much taking care of them because there was there were some two ladies when you were And how one. old are these kids who we are talking? Yeah, they're young. Ni watu wa class 3. Mm. So they are young, young, young kids, like eight years and below. Mm. Yeah, eight years and eight to ten years up. Ni watu wa dogo. And you see now, that is a big responsibility. Mm. He was as one kubali na watu wa na shule me kubali when they come around, there. Around, I mean, he would have like ten kids at a time, okay. sometimes twenty kids. <laughs> Yeah, depending on what the show is about, because mm. we would have like spelling bees, nini, all those things. Anyway, so my work was to prep the kids. Like you make sure every time they are prepped and making sure they are comfortable. Because remember, you are total. Mm. And we are shooting in a studio. No matter how easy. Yeah. Then you shoot for one hour. The studio is so hot. We are going to sweat. Yeah. Just making sure the kids are very comfortable. How are choking, nini, is yep. all it And uh, that is how I got into media. Because now this is the one company that I worked for for almost eight years. Eight? Yes. Judy? Yes. Eight? <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Yes, I was at media for a long so, and, time. And now this is where you also you become an employee. This is now. I started as a third assistant director. It was uh, on a consultant uh, basis, right? So, ni unengia per project, na yes. after the project, then you wait until you see if they will call you for Again. another project. That is how they used to operate with all the crew members. Midi ilikuwa tuna very few actually Empl employees that employees kwa kampuni they were maybe three mm -hmm. at most or four. Ilikuwa, every crew member was a freelancer, mm. right? So there's a project, you come, we do three months, we shoot then, kila mtu anenda, unangoja the next project. But Richie, Where by the good. end <laughs> of that no zone, because we shot for like three no months. No way. By the end of the nini, the, now the owner of the company actually, he was a mzungu, David Campbell. Yes. The best boss ever. The best boss ever. Yani he's, I was, was one of my best, best, uh, best bosses ever. By the end of that, Nini, him and Patricia, Patricia was the producer. She's the one who called me to come have a conversation about the job. Yes. By the end of... Patricia who? Not Amira. Patricia, no, no, no. no. Okay. Uh, she's uh, Patricia Gishinga. Okay. So by the time, by the end of the three months shooting Nozun, they called me. They were like... We can't let you go. We want to offer you 
permanent like a permanent job no okay judy let's take a, <laughs> let's take a break here when we come back i want to find out what it is you see this story yeah it could have some consistencies when people are working with you yeah there's something that when people are working with you mm. it it's making them like the attraction to you is so high yeah. they're willing to make some serious sacrifices to keep working mm. with you so when we rudy hata mimi nataka kujua kujua hiyo secret so let's take a quick card break unaona behind the stage assistant director gafa i go am i camera 2 ad cut <laughs> There's something I live by. When it comes to work or anything that I have been entrusted with, I say I do it like I am doing it for God. Value for days. If you're wondering what value is, value is inspiration, value is education, value is positive entertainment. And positive, I don't put that by mistake. And value is mm. aspiration. Aspiration is where you want to be like somebody else. You get what I mean? I aspire to have a following kama mkuru. <laughs> <laughs> so my CTA people, by the way, I'm very serious. I'm looking for a name to call guys who who check Your out CTA. CTA guys, yes. Yeah, man, you can't just be called. You can't be saying our oh, CTA guys. <laughs> A CTM guys. Mm. <laughs> anyway, why I've said that sort of thing like this is because I really feel that if you listen to what Judy is about to talk about, especially if you are career, if you are starting in your career, mm. you're about to leapfrog. You're about to get the secrets or the or, or the or the things that maybe you're not truly taught, mm. um, or that you have to learn through experience. Unfortunately, so um, about from the career perspective how to excel. Yeah. There's something Judy that you said. You said and I relate to it because I've also done the same. You yeah. said you've never taken your CV mm. and gone to apply for a job. Yeah. You said it over. You're saying niliitwa, 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 nikaenda hapa nikapata phone call, nikapata phone call, nikapata phone call. Yeah. Those things when me, even today nimepata phone call. Mm. When we leave those things, we sometimes think they're normal. Yeah. But if we look at the back end, we'll see kuna vitu that you did mm. that then the the byproduct the fruit yeah. is the phone call mm. coming so i want us to talk about that mm. but i want us to talk about it in context also of this place in fact before you're talking about entering this media 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 you are really complex yeah. media okay so let's start it like this mm. what is it about your professional career mm. What is it about your character? What is it about this working thing that is making people aha that is making you the magnet that attracts people to you rather than you go out you know to tamak ku hustle mm. ku look for jobs there's a place for that and I'm not telling people don't go in tamak yeah. but I'm saying while tamaking and maybe getting opportunities mm. what are those untold spoken secrets that you think is making people call you I would say it's um uh putting in work mm. like being a hard worker. Um mention you come four times. So that one I could not skip. You could do eh the second one I would well, say no, is being very no, no. hard work. Let's yeah. let's speak about it because mm. sometimes when I say my hard work and I realize people don't know what hard yeah. work means. Mm. What does hard work mean? Hard work to me means is um is going I'm trying to look for the right ones. Is doing you see um uh, Richie is my boss for instance, right? And Na kuna time nilikuwa your boss. Yes, kuna time tutafika hapa tuambie umekuwa mpaka mdosi wangu. Um and there is I have my job description, right? Which is very common for any workplace. See everybody has their GD. You have your job description. For me hard work is going beyond the the description Aha. of this particular job. That is a nugget. Yeah. Cuz you work hard, you're putting in work, 
but most of us tend to kusema ah but hii tu ndio kazi yangu mm. hali kazi yako inaishia unamalizia kazi yako mm. hapo i think for me what has brought me this far is going beyond so kazi yako ilikuwa kutafuta gari yes yes so first of all you do that yes but then mm. you are like lakini um, um, that person needs water. Exactly. Sikuza mayo si job yangu. Eh, hey, naenda tunasaidia. There's a camera department. Kuna mtu ana okota makebul sapa zi move to that particular corner. If I'm standing there and tashukwe hizo kebul zimsaidie ku move huko kwa hiyo corner. Unajua see at cuz me I'm in the art department whatever the, whatever any other department is doing is none of my responsibility actually. That Mtu wa wardrobe ame it was said afanye touch up ya artist ya ya an actor. Mm. Amesahau kichana. But assistant wake yako mbali. Sinta kimbia nimchukulie hiyo kichana nimlete. I, I can't it. say that it's not it's not my responsibility. So it's not even complex things. It's not it's the tiniest of things. Ah, yeah, it's yeah. the it's the smallest of things the richi. So I would say I think for me that is one of so okay. as a production assistant if my producer is uh, expecting me to do a particular job na nimalize hiyo kazi and mm. i feel there's something else i can do mm. to help out i will do that thing yeah I get so it. i would say is for me hard work is going beyond whatever your job description is okay if you have the capacity to do extra do it and which means you actually have the capacity because some of the tasks you've been asked to do are not big they are not big need to be to dogo to dogo sana okay. sometimes it's they are very small small things number 2 mm-hmm. i mean i'm picking two from your story mm-hmm. so you say me atina make up yeah <laughs> i heard you talk about walking at i don't know 12 kilometers and being on time yeah 1 kilometer from my house to every 5am in the morning 5am yes people sometimes don't understand how that's important. Yeah. They don't. I'll give an example. Mm. Part of the reason why you will always hear me talk about Wamai and mm. Aizo. We're supposed to be here by 8, 7:45 to 8. Mm. They've never been late. Mm. And once I tell them, me I don't even panic. Yeah. Because I know what be on Meaning time. I am calm, I'm just thinking about the shoot. Yeah. So from your perspective, What do you think about that? Hmm. Does that fall under being diligent? Okay. Yes, I would say diligence. Man. <laughs> hey, diligence is delivering beyond. Like if we have a grid, that is why sometimes I'm very bothered by what mtu mwenye like you unafanya kazi yako alafu kuna mahali tu unaachilia it really bo- like if i have trusted you to do this thing then i expect you to do it to you know to level 100 mm. yeah so i would say for me diligence like if you expected to be here at this time show up at that time which i did not do today i'm sorry mm. so did you say? But you called <laughs> but i called and you communicated yes. no you see even before the time mm. uli communicate yes, yes. yeah so marichi tunafanya makeup ungekuwa na kamse anafanya nga makeup zingi ningefika hapo 6 am the problem of working with men to come and tell you about it hata manyuele today looks like she was delicious yeah yeah so diligence like doing if you if been, you've been trusted to do something do it like do it to your level best there's something i usually say and i tell this to our crew and the guys we work with a lot there's something i live by when it comes to work or anything that i have been entrusted with i say i do it like i am doing it for god Mm-hmm. I don't I never do anything ni kama nafanyia binadamu because Richie let me tell you if you're my boss and I'm working to please you you're going to disappoint me for sure. at some point you will disappoint me because mm-hmm. you see there already these things I'm expecting from you and sometimes you're not even able to fulfill those mm-hmm. things mm-hmm. I'm here working so hard so that you notice me and then you, you end up not noticing me Do you know how disappointed disappointed I will be. Mm. But if nikifanya kazi inafanya kazi nafanyia Mungu. 
Richie is my boss, but I'm not working for Richie. Me, I'm working for God. Nafanya kazi yangu ni kama nafanya God, because it's only God who can reward me. And God never fails to reward hard workers. Should he, can I say something? He, Your spirituality has shocked me. You, I'll be honest with you, on your socials, in fact, there's a time I wondered, you God, I'm asking them God. You are not screaming, uh, John 316. No. <laughs> I'm, like, for real. Yeah. But your life oozes mm. God so much. Paka God and Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Your life oozes God so much. I have been, you've taught me so much from that. Mm. Like, at a Saiyo statement, Mesema, there are very many people who uh, you see plastering John 3.16 mm. and all sorts of Bible verses yeah. on the place. Yeah. You, 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 Matthew 5.16, let your light shine mm. so that people can see the good things you do with your life but yeah. not praise you. Mm. Like when I look at you and I'm just like, Ay. where yeah. has God been a part of your life? Oh, Actually, you see, I've not even had a convo. Yeah, God. Yeah, because you've. But just, just, I would like to hear from your version. Yes, he has been a part of my life. He is a very big part of my life, but maybe not in the kawaida way. Not in the, you know, like the church way, mm. or that kind of um, a thing. I, my mom used to take me to Sunday school, so we've grown up. Um, knowing God and going to church and being good Christians. And at some point, actually, when I was in high school, I was even a leadership, praise and worship mm. leader in church <laughs> at some point. So God has always been a very big part of me and my life. But Sisi Sematics in the, oh, going to church every day, being mm. in fellowship, so Bible study things and whatnot. Because I feel Mungu ni akondani, it's not so much vitu zenye una sema mm. out of your mouth or their actions. It's, I feel like God lives inside of, of us. Mm. It's not so much. Ati niende church kila siku ndio God ajue, oh, I'm a good Christian. Yeah. Because every, reach everything I've, everything I've done to get to where I am today. Mina samanga tu ni mungu. It's purely God. Because I have seen him do things that you can't explain. Like, I can't explain. Mm. Like, on a human level, you I can't explain is of it was in a I can't. Mm. So it's only it has to be it's only God by the way. It can't be anything else. You, you know it's so funny. My last and we're coming back to the story, mm. guys. Isn't it, it was, <laughs> the off, offline conversations <laughs> tonight tonight have in front of you? <laughs> you know, when I interviewed Abel, mm. the last video on our CTA. Mm was watch a mungu afanye mambo yake. Yeah. Because as he spoke of his journey, mm. exactly what you've said. Mm. There were just things added up. So I've looked at, from a Richie perspective to, to Judy, yeah. you're such a bright light eh, mm. that has shown me the power of, of, of speaking about God without speaking about God. Yeah. You're not sitting me down here. Hey, Bunajua Jesus, Alikuja, mm. Kashikatu fish. You're just, you're just, you're a light. Thank you, Richie. Okay, to <laughs> my story. Yeah, hey. So, I okay. need to recap. Tukienda, ni tukikula samosa pale na kahawa. Nime kumbuka, it's six years in media. I was there for six years, not eight years. Okay. Yes. Okay. Na tutafika uko kwa. Yo, katrama ina jaribu kufaya kiyo. Yo, kanini kana jaribu, but no. We were there for six years, not eight years. Okay. So, um, after the season, that season of No Zone, I am now uh, uh, officially, uh, I officially become an employee of the media company. Yes. Yes. Where the bo your boss was? Uh, David Campbell. Okay. Yeah, he's a, a man from Britain. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but he's, he's, yeah, yeah, in Kenya. Yeah. Because he's been, he came to, to Kenya when he was a very young man. And used to work for the Ministry of Agriculture back in the day. So he's very passionate about farming and all those things. 
yeah until sasa company yake nini nini no he's i think he's retired the company is still there but yeah. now there are other people running it he's... so this is your boss now yes this is your direct boss direct boss They're actually the owner of the company now. okay yes and this is a media house that deals in creation of shows yes for tv for tv for tv yes. okay yeah. okay so uh when i joined um of course now i was like a production assistant in the office because mm. we have uh some days when we are filming and then there are some days when there is no production going on so ni kazi tu za ofisi za kawaida so uh i do no zone now i'm a full time employee uh, i'm earning a good now i have a salary for the first time in your life for the first time <laughs> in my life 26 yes 26. 26. i have a salary <laughs> and it was not a bad salary it was actually a good it mm. was a good amount you were demand sharing yes uh, my uh, at media my first salary was i started actually at 60k per month mm, mm. at 60k mm. per month so um tsa tunaendelea so there was no zone then there was makutano junction that was the same. what yes media it was the same company producing makutano junction okay yes so after no zone then we had now makutano junction came along and we had um and my role for that one was i started actually i started out as a third assistant director still but i didn't even do it for more than a month I quickly moved to the second assistant director. Hmm. So second assist so on on a set a drama as in on a set for a drama show hmm. a third assistant director you are in charge of extras. Mm. You see all those people who yes. cross the camera. Hawaongei wafanyi kitu tuko kwa soko they are mama selling things uko by those are called extras. So you in charge of extras. Hmm. Sourcing for them and giving them directions when they are on set so is it it is a market scene the director wants mama wakuza cabbage anataka mzee anapita na jerry cans za maziwa mm. all those things so that is what I, i did for makutano junction so you source for them you source for them and then you give them directions on set so oh. you and that's why you called an assistant director yes <laughs> yes because the director will tell you i need someone there i need someone there i need someone there and then, then you have to give them activities and props and all those things Okay so for just the layman mm-hmm. so first and foremost you sit down as a production yes and you somebody writes in, in fact let's do this let's yeah. take people mm-hmm. what does it take to do a show oh so a show so that we can understand pali unaingia and yes. the roles involved yes so of course a show starts with the concept right so there's a whole script writing team why was that involved within internally for you guys uh no cuz of course the scripts uh, happen way before the production so let's say a typical day on a production set okay. so that people yes. understand okay. so there is a producer producer is in, in charge of the entire production mm. so if there is a problem in any department the person you go to talk to is the producer the producer mm. but there are some there are ranks there right yes. cuz every department has a head of department mm. there's a hod So before you escalate to the producer you first talk to your HOD if yes. your HOD is not able to sort whatever problem then you take it now to the producer aha so the producer is the overall boss of any production so Judy yes you see the importance of sharing this yeah. you as a person who was uh, at thingy yes You weren't running with every problem to the producer. No. You were fixing problems Actually, yes. here. Yes. And you... people were noticing yes. that she's a problem solver. Yes. Yes, in the art department and then now when we went to the two TV shows for NTV as a production assistant and now now coming now to media eh, as a third assistant director. So there's a producer, right? And the producer has the has the assistants which now would be like what I did for NTV because you see remember media is jakuja kama production assistant nimekuja mm, mm. like a third assistant director so there are production assistants and then after the production assistant now there is the director and the department of directing which now includes the director the first assistant director the second assistant director and the third right. assistant director where, which is the role that I was playing at that particular yes. time mtu wa extras exactly mtu wa extras because the second assistant director kazi yake ni call sheets like organizing the scripts and making sure every day tunajua nini watu wanajua nini wana shoot like mm. what scenes are we shooting which script is this what, what are the characters 
timings tuna expect mvua kuna kwanga mpaka na hizo vitu zote za set yo you know <laughs> You're going to go into the place where you're making movies. That right? yes. in your story. Yes. So this is already groundwork yes. unapatiwa. Yes. But it oh. takes a lot to do a movie. It takes a lot. It takes a lot. It takes a lot. Cuz imagine for Makutano Junction at any given time I think we will be like 60 people on set every day. 60. Yes. Wow. Yeah, cuz oh. you remember Makutano Junction was based the story was uh, based on a certain village, mm. Makutano. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so it needed to look like an actual market and village. Unajua mm. with soko na ma hospitali na nini so at any given time. But you didn't film it in No, it was a built set. <laughs> it was a set that was built in Karen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but in a jungle yani na kairi this one this feels like it is actually an actual market somewhere. Mm. No, it was a set. So and then now all these the camera department, sound department, lighting department. Uh, art department, like there are so many departments. I get it. So there's a, there's a way, there's a chart of how everything happens on a set. So I'm a third assistant director on Makutano Junction. And my role is to source for the extras. And let me tell you, there's a certain day on set we would have even 50 extras. And my work is to make sure those 50 extras are meta foot one hour set. Mm. And then when they're on set, now you start giving them directions on what to do when the director calls for action <laughs> mm. yeah so i do that but i didn't even do it for long for like a month and then they i was promoted to the second assistant director so second assistant director kaziako sana sana ni ofisi and now calling the actors because mm. my work is on a laptop uh, making the call sheets and whatnot mm. right so nalayas with the first assistant director to napanga is he script mzima shoot if you're shooting for three months my work is to, to plan for shoot every, every single day could you kesho tuna shoot nini yos kuingine tuna shoot nini ivo and then calling the actors making sure the actors have their um, scripts making sure uh, the actors know their call times if you're shooting tomorrow what time are you expected on set and that even sending my... people to pick them exactly. up exactly organizing for their transport nini is of it to zote wow yes so at this time <laughs> Una meet the industry. Yes. So for, uh, by no, industry, I meet. I mean not the just, actors. Yes, actors. Yes, and the actors we are talking about right now here, Richie, ni ma actors, because <laughs> Makutano Junction was a big show in the country. Mm. Here, I'm talking about Makbul. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like unajua akina lizinjaga, unajua the actors of cream back cream. then. Yes. yes. Akina Ojiambo, oh. Ainea. Yes, like big big actors so now that is actually that is the first time i i, I felt like sasa nimeanza ku interact na cuz you see nini yangu ilikuwa extra sasa sasa na ongea na superstar yes and they did second um, assistant director for hey, for a while on makutano that is that was actually my main role mm. for a while for quite a while like for a couple of seasons. Okay. So you see between, so for media, eh, when I became an employee, you, we used to alternate between Nozon and Makutano Junction. Junction. Nozon and Makutano Junction. But now over time, I started rising through the ranks. I so <laughs> rise. I, I don't want people to think that you just started for, but part of the reason why I asked you about your salary mm. in the beginning I don't want people to think that you just landed on you know on social media you know you know you by the way by the way you know where you started from yes yeah mm. yeah so um eh uh, uh, Nozon you remember was a third AD taking care of the kids yeah. but now come the next season of, of Nozon ni kanza kutrainiwa for floor management uh huh so as a floor manager, it's a studio setup, right? So as a floor manager, you're the person communicating the, the um, uh, whatever info the director wants to share with the people on the floor. Oh, yes. I get. So the, the director is in the gallery. Kwenye ako uko mm. mahali na ma mm. screens zake na nini. So anaona whatever is happening on the floor, but lazima a communicate. Ndizo okay. ndio tumeva zile ni yes. ndi anasema Judy tell uh, the presenter to say this 
do this mm. that kid on that nini mwambia tengeneze sweater you know like yeah. you're the one calling now yep. the action on the, the director floor. on ground exactly wow so now that is the coming season now i started training for a floor manager ni kwa trainee kulikuwa na floor manager but ni kwa tu na traineewa then the coming season of um makutano junction afi ni kama na fox ama even do one the coming season of makutano junction i was still a second ad right but something happens well i'm still the second cuz you see on set when we are filming i'm a second assistant director but then when we are not filming any show back in the office i am an assistant to the producer mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. yes so i'm helping the producer patricia who was also in charge of the office yes like she was our boss in mm. the office now before the big boss yes i get yeah so i am her assistant so bado namsaidia ku manage vitu kwa office so it happens that we get some uh, we have a new show what's coming now away from akutano and away from no zone we have a new show and this new show is about farming because remember my boss was very passionate about farming and all those things mm. so and uh imeanzishwa actually imeanzishwa in a uh, patricia and because uh, when it's a new show you need the top 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 <laughs> kwanza as in, especially for the first seasons so that what ones they could understand the format of the show and everything because mm. it's a new 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 show yep. So there was that conversation of uh, Nozo nakuja nini nini ni ah I mean Shamba Ship Up oh the show was called Shamba Ship Up the one on Citizen yes that, that was one. a big show it was a big show it was a very big show yes so what 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 happens Richi kwa ezin hey <laughs> in a month ninge kwa home maybe for just a few days sometimes even less than a week wow the rest of the time I'm on the road so you need the top 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 <laughs> kwanza as in especially for the first seasons so that what ones they could understand the format of the show and everything because mm. it's a new 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 show yep. So there was that conversation of uh, Nozo nakuja nini nini ni ah I mean Shamba Ship Up oh the show was called Shamba Ship Up the one on Citizen Yes that, that was one. a big show It was a big show That was a very big show Yes so what 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 happens uh it happens that now Patricia needs to go and produce Shamba Ship Up oh so and handle Shamba Ship Up cause it's a new show Yes But you see for Makutano Junction cuz Elisha it's a show that can yes. run by Beauty. itself cuz everybody knows what they are expected to do it happens that now for the uh, macdonald junction we need somebody not to take over the role of patricia but somebody who can stand in for patricia when she is handling Aye. this other show cuz for shamba ship up we are producing across kenya yes. like it was everywhere in this country so who is that person judy <laughs> <laughs> So Judy now becomes sort of the person producer now, the producer for, now for Makutano Junction. Yes, for Makutano Junction. So I still run everything by part. Like everything by part. She she still she's still the one running the she's game. She's still in communication. But she's not on ground. I get so it. on ground sasa inakuwa ni Judy. Yes. So that continues of course eh, mimi with my hard work and diligence and whatever we run the show na kwa poa sana So makutano in ah is in shamba shepa pina kama ina na pick na ina pick na ina pick but remember when we are not producing anything back in the office i am what an assistant to patricia yes. and i assist on every aspect of her life of 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 the of office the, yeah, oh yes say, the yeah, office yes, actually, right yes. anything that comes that has to do with the office So of course at some point na jipata pia shamba yes but sana sana not uh, in the field but ku handle uh, editing unajua like nini zimekamin footage imekuja nini tuko oversee 
editing na kuanza ku oversee uh, transmission schedules na vitu kama hizo kujua tips in the citizen yes. oh they know we are uh, nini yeah oh they need to start running the trailer because we start transmitting on this day. like yani it sounds like this sounds like such a god taking you through all departments of what it takes to yes. to make shows and yes. to put shows yes so you know if you, sometimes on ct i'm very cautious about jargon mm. so okay some transmission schedule what you're talking about is when you see a trailer yes kama your trailer yako ya kulia yes exactly <laughs> yeah so you have to know this trailer has to be a citizen at this particular this... time because it needs to start running here because yes. you see we have to advertise the show is coming yes. before the show actually starts to air yes, yes. editing yes. let me explain this one because <laughs> i'm passionate about it <laughs> to make shoot he yeah on monday mm. i cannot put this as is because editing has to be done lower thirds lazima ziwekwe mm. sound levels lazima ziwekwe right kala correction kama tunazitach hapo yeah. you get mm. that is the editing process that doesn't that takes days days it's a long process this fact of giving you this episode <laughs> in three days ni kumaanisha kuna mtu hajalala amekesha yeah you get yeah. so but now you entered after you shoot all that is footage which is taken yes. and now you take it to the editing suite yes. so ukanza post production post production yes because okay. you see once the uh, shows are done and we are no longer shooting then it means now we are in post editing da, 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 and getting the material ready for transmission so kidogo kidogo naanza kujipata story za shamba ship up ni koko tu kwa mix na shikanisha tu vitu when we are doing pre production i am also part of the pre production team helping cuz hey we would do let me tell you when we were doing pre production especially for shamba ship up mm. We would we would have a wall like this the entire wall imeja zinaitwa zile to note pads tule mm, to mm. yellow green sticky, pink sticky, sticky, sticky notes sticky notes zimeja cuz for shamba shape up you're planning a shoot across the country wow and cuz it's a farming show you mm. need to understand the regions and the crops that do well here and here a crop that can't do cuz then that's how you identify the sponsors Mm. and you make a whole time table now of on how now the entire series is going to look like so if you are going to kitale we are going to kitale for maize yes. maize on a large scale uh for on large scale farming but i can't go to where is this i can't go to and the season is not like there ma, to to makueni and say nimekuja kutafuta mahindi makueni on large scale <laughs> you see yes. so you have to understand the seasons eh uh, crops ni zina grow up na wapi na wapi so that you're taking you're giving people the right information and you're taking people to the right locations there was a lot of science involved in that show. i can imagine so yeah. but there's something i've heard you say that has that is now on another level mm. outside of production yeah you were getting sponsors Yeah like we were Shambashop was Shambashop was fully funded the only way you are able to do such a show on such a scale is because you have funding so i hold on judy mm. you are you are are you getting the sponsors advertisers on behalf of the tv station so i thought the tv station no, 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 is paying no, no. you for the show no 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 we are it, it's not advertisers for the tv station it is advertising as in sponsors oh, for the, to create the to show to create the show okay. to create the content and it. then you see cuz it's a farming show our Don't sponsors are kina coopers okay akujua tulete dawa za ngombe and they are experts on cows we have amiran akujua to fundishe juu ya ku grow tomatoes and yani let me tell you when you need show ni kwa lazima naweza kwa mkulima papa cuz i had learned so much anyway now ki to wait again <laughs> Judy you are giving value it's it's education mm. so people think mm. that the only way to make so that you can make because we're going to go this when we're yeah. talking about other shows yeah. when it becomes internal mm. so from a production perspective you can't survive on the revenue from just being paid by the tv station for the show Actually, let me go back kidogo. Aha. The thing that I did not mention was that media was an NGO. A non-governmental 
organization. Meaning, everything you are doing, you are not doing it for profit. So even citizen was not, if I have this information right, they were not paying us for the show. Like they would air the show for free. You get. Again. Yeah, because now the kind of shows uh, media I was producing was uh, for entertain, you know, for not entertain, for education. They were primarily like educational content. Even Makutono Junction, if you are a keen uh, viewer of Makutono Junction, you'd realize as much as it was entertainment, it was drama, yes. there was a lot of education, education in it. Because we would tackle like big, big um, themes. Like there would be a theme on uh, uh, events, uh, like topics like um, uh, motherhood and breastfeeding. And, mm. Like there was always like uh, some topics and themes that you were pushing inside the show. That's like powerful. Like I were too at access for entertainment purposes. I get it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm. That's powerful. Okay. Yeah. So the Shamba Shepa was exactly like, so it was a show primarily for farmers to learn, to educate mm. farmers. And actually sometimes in situations like that, you even have to pay the TV station to air the show. Exactly, yes. But I think if I have that information, there was a good right, partnership. Me, though, it was a good partnership. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, I've understood. Mm. So this is about what year now? This is about 2012, 2013, 2014 maybe. Okay, let's, 2014? 2014, yes. But talk our, talk our working year home, kidogo. Yes. So, oh, home. <laughs> <laughs> so, home. Mumbus uh, is growing. Mumbus is growing. So by 2014, she's four years old. She's a big girl. Actually, that is very right. Because I started working vizuri. Oh, because it's going to come there. Uh, home is good. Baba Mumbus, Akosawa, that's when they're doing like in, um, house helps. Uh, mm. The real house help of Kawa. Akoprotel. Mm. Then by 2014, so home things are just okay. okay. Things things are flowing. This is akuna akuna shida ba do go to sawa. Then uh, twenty fifteen, that's when I I was officially now given uh, shamba shape up to run. Ah huh? yes. So shamba shape up me fanya pata me fanya for like maybe a year. And at some point she even had uh, other people uh, handling shamba shape up. But as I kuwa, kila time maki achi amtu mungi ne ifanye, because you know you have to hire other, because we still have other shows that we are running mm. local. So we would hire new people. Kuna watu walikuwa na pewa, but inakata, so mm. she has to go back. But she did that until, uh, I think 2015, if I'm not wrong. That's when I I was uh, handed now over Shamba Shepa to produce. Like, wow. Now this is your show, you now produce it. But because I had been... You had been in. Yes, nimefanya yeah. fanya tu vitu, it was not so bad. But remember, this is the first time I am working on a show that I have to travel. Like, hizi zingine shamba shepa mnozo nsinendanga home na asubui na enda na rudi. So this is the first time that I'm actually now producing a show that has me on the road quite often. Like, quite often. Richie, as in, hey, <laughs> in a month, ninge kwa home maybe for just a few days, sometimes even less than a week. Whoa. The rest of the time I'm on the road producing Shamba Shepa. Okay. So by this time, Mukamba ako Mumbus. So I used to call it Mukamba. Mumbus ako anenda kutan five. Mm. So she's still very young. Nini, nini, na mama kia menza nini? She's used to seeing her mother. At least Gioni every day because I will I leave I would leave for work on the days that you're filming five five a.m. was constant for any production. Mm. Then I would be home maybe around eight p.m. So still catch her. Mm. Then on a normal uh, office day when we are not uh, shooting any show, I would get to the office at nine okay. and then leave at five. I would be home by six. So you see buyer. When end your diary by this time? By no. No, Bado. Bado, eh? Bado. Okay. <laughs> Bado. So, he time you tell me matatu too. Mm. And you see our office is in Karen. 
So natoka Yes, ni kwa natoka Kiamburo hadi Karen. Yes, I would leave the house at 5 a.m. on a day that we are shooting. Yeah. Ndio ni and the stage ni chukue stage ni ende tao. Ni shuke tao. Ni shuke mpaka bus station as in railways. Yeah. Ni chukue gari za Go Karen. Ni wa shuke Karen. Eh. Hey. Alafu sasa ni chukue kaboda kakunipeleka kwa ofisi. Do even from Karen the main stage hapo? ni still like a distance ya kwenda kwa ofisi. Was it like where Hardy side? Actually ni hizo sides. Ah uh, si side ya Hardy, ni side ya unajua Mutoni Road. Yes. Yes, Sa- ni kwa uh, sides ya Mutoni Road. Road. Yes, I, I know Mutoni. Past the hub. Yes, and then you turn. Right. Yes. Uh, there there used to be a car rest uh Anyway, I know it is. Yes. Current country cl- lodge. What up to that? Yes. I know yes, yes, I say Mutoni yes. Road na Yeah. So, even on a normal day that is an office day yenye ni nini because i need to be at the office by nine. by saa moja niko kwa matatu nikienda cause yeah. traffic nairobi yeah yes and that was my nini for hey for some years for hey, Judy, that was crazy years. traveling it was crazy traveling <laughs> <Yeah>. okay <laughs> so uh so now i'm officially now producing shambashi and you're traveling now and i'm traveling quite a lot mm-hmm. like quite a lot but simbaya cause wao mvitu ziko sawa Eh, I have a nanny and this is in like a super nanny like a super yo ni mtu mwingine naambia ngatu asante thank you god mm. i will tell her i'll tell her story hapo mm. so mumbu sa kona nanny cuz at this point is it 2015 20? yes there is safari come to aweza yes i'm not wrong mm-hmm. there is izo so at the same time as vile nimeanza ku travel inafika a point where abel is also traveling yep. to safari come to mm. so at some point it just flow and mumbus in the house <laughs> wazazi hawako huyu sijua kwa wapi alidore <laughs> tu sijua kwa western bungoma mm. like we are all on the road and your career is taking off and it's taking off yeah. and taking off and actually sasa it, i'm doing very well in terms of career so i do uh, shamba shepap na It was let me let me toot my own horn hapa kidogo. Toot it. I <laughs> toot it. I have uh, I told you when the Shambashi pop started we we'll get people to handle in akata handle mm. in abidi Patricia Rudi. Let me tell you after I took over Shambashi pop there was not a single time Patricia ever came on set. Nice. Ju ati kazi imekwama. Ati Shambashi pop mm. imekwama vitu was happen. Mm. And we moved from uh, shooting not only in Kenya but in Uganda and Tanzania. What? So Richi now I'm producing this show across three countries. What? So I'm either in Kenya or I'm in Uganda ama ni Cote Z. First of all ni na maju. Ni kwa diaspora. Ni kwa boda. Yes. So, so this is your first time traveling out of the country? Yes. Wow. Was it my first time traveling? No, my first time was after Oh yes. Yes, it is my first time mm. traveling out of the country, even getting a passport. Mm. Yes. So Shamba Shepap is going well, Shamba Shepap is going well. Now we come back home kidogo. Mm. So the year is 2015. Tanza kama mkuru. On one of uh, one random day when um, we are not uh, when we are Goja, let's change some batteries here. <laughs> let's change the card. Aizo binyambia to change card. See mimi hata mimi nataka kufikia story. Ni aizo. Ngia comment na problem aizo. Ah, is it change battery? Mhm. The same on CT. Hata nitaiweka kwa kwa mm hebu weka hii hii coat kwa one of our, our, our jackets mm. you never truly know people until you take time to get to know people yeah this is the there's a part of your life which is normal but the normal is needed in every life yeah. normal ni unamka unaenda job unarudi unamka unaenda job unarudi yes. unamka una change unaroda job i mean unaenda job unarudi mm. una, you're promoted yes unamka unaenda job unarudi <laughs> this this is what your life sounds like mm. it sounds now 
you know the ability as an the first part of city yes. was madness it mm. sounds this sounds like oh, okay now this was a normal part mm. of life which is which a lot of people that out but mm. let me tell you something you know i wrote this the other day I said you know today i woke up i di- normally did what i did i took my kids to school mm. and i came back yeah. and i said thank god for normal because mm. i in israel it is not normal it is not oh my god it is not yeah israel want normal yeah You get mm. countries where these floods they want normal. Mm. Us That's true. We're in our normal. Mm. So sometimes normal it feels boring but normal is necessary. It's very good. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's it's a blessing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. true. Well, that's true. Yeah. So your story we about to live 2015 like you said man. Nakwambia ngoja. Ngoja ngoja. Rudi hapo 2015. 2015 on a random day. We, uh, we had actually gone for dinner at Kate and Phil's house. Mm. We had gone for dinner. And on our way back home, a, a random conversation, by the way. Uh, Baba Mumbus. And I'm not, by the way, Sasa. Hey, Sasa, you say some daughter of a mkubwa. To make up a moja for so long. Bebu na onaji. Nataka kukuwa. By the way, that was his proposal. I kid you not. <laughs> Which <laughs> that was his entire proposal. Ni kama kwa kashindo ati. Hey sasa nataka kukuwa like official like tufanye harusi sasa. Mm. I was like hey, it was the randomest conversation because it's not it had not been something that we had been talking about. Mm. Ati tufanye harusi ni ni ni. Ah ah. You're to living together, you're good. Sisi we were just doing our normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah normal. Bizuri. <laughs> Eh yeah. so I'm like hey, yeah. And then is it something that you had wanted? Eventually yes of course. Yes. You know just to make things official. Okay. Even and I feel like the reason why I really want I, I, it's something that had crossed my mind was for Mombus. I felt like now that you have a child I would love it if she grew up in a house that had like that as in like she would she would grow up knowing that her mother and father are legally married. Mm. I felt like you were one of my reasons. Okay. <laughs> yeah, actually I feel like it was the one you reason. Like, so for you for you it wasn't like my day you, you didn't have that. No, the story is just beginning. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we interfere. Hapo ndio wase wanasema una interfere. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> this is in sometime in like Early, early 2015, maybe in some time in February or March. Mm. And it was actually one of those days that I would be home for like a week before going on to the next shoot, mm. right? Especially for uh, Shamba Shape Up. So I'm like, hey, yeah. Of course, serious. He told me, yes, I'm serious. I think we, let's do it. Let's, I mean, let's make it official now. Just as I'm a boss, I'm a good boy, 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 I'm Sawa, na tukamalizia hapo. By the way, you know the following day, I can use a babe, we need a date. I was like, are you, by the way, in my head, I thought he was joking. I'm like, what do you mean we need a date? I can say, yeah, we need a date. Let's uh, uh, as in choose a date, and that way we can start working on things. Mm, mm. So, na muza, so tunawana hii mwaka. Halambia, hey, kwa ni tunangonza ishe? Hii mwaka, hii mwaka. <laughs> And then just by is it never too randomly ni kasema why don't we do it on my birthday? Mm. So my birthday is usually November, uh, November 21st. So akaniambia yeah actually birthday yako inaweza sana tukaingia kwa kalenda kuangalia. But that hiyo siku uh, birthday ilikuwa ina follow na Sunday tukasema hii watu zifanya harusi Sunday. Watu wanafanya harusi Friday ama Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. So I like let's do it on Saturday. 20th. So to come to Kasema 20th. And let me tell you and that was it. And we locked the date. And we were like, okay, tunafanya harusi. But our initial plan for our wedding was actually very simple, Richi. We were meant to go to the AG, get the certificate to fanye the yo. Yes, the AG. legal process. Yes. Do the legal process, yes. Then go to the AG and afanye yo mm. uh, officiate. Oh, yes, uh, yes. Yeah, like ile at AG. the AGs. Yes, at the AGs. Okay, yes. Like we do it like that and then we get like 50 of our friends and family. We go for a nice lunch. That was our initial plan for our wedding. 
So we go, we just go do like throw a proper bash mm. for about 50 of our friends and um, family. Because we were like, I can't do, it's just my mom and <laughs> me and maybe my two aunties and two uncles. And then the same from his side of the family. And we were like, okay, so budget yetu tukicheza sana. Apo wata tukakuwa na budget yetu 200,000, I mean. Come on. Come on. Jamal. It's a lot of money. Because <laughs> yeah. you see, we are not, there's no, deco, there's nothing of that. Mm. There's no venue. There's nothing of, of, of ease of it. We were like, okay, sawa basi. Tunaendelea kupanga arusi. Mi naenda shama shepa, narudi. Tunapanga tu arusi, nini, nini, nini. And we decided to tell our parents about the wedding. But we were, we actually had, we had curated the whole speech. Because we knew they were going to have so many questions. Like, wanini mnafanya hivo? Hei, wanza kusema, oh, marafiki zitu, watawezi, tosha, hawa, wenye mnataka. Mm. But you know the usual. Yeah. Yeah, so we curate a whole speech of how we are going to convince them that this is the wedding that we want. Musianze kutuambia, we will tunataka relatives 200. Yeah? So he calls his uh, dad, I call my mom. Mm. Of course, the feedback. By the time to normalize a phone calls, is what to call. Ay. Kuna, none of them was feeling our story. They were like, Ay. <laughs> no. Like, why? Mm. Like, we understand it is what you want, but why? See, Basi, like, let's do Basi for 100 people. So we make it for 100 people. We were like, Ay. Logistics, nini. My mom already has said that my venue is important. <laughs> Your AG, a pana, you don't need what to charge. So mm. mom is like, no, you have to bring God. Like you can't start your marriage without God. Mm. Da, da, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so pole 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 pole. It moves from okay. So this AG thing is not gonna happen mm. for the sake of our parents. It's not gonna happen. So we decide, you know what? Okay, let's go and. Look for revenue. Still maintain our hundred packs. Get a pastor to come do everything. But now we look for a venue, like a small venue. We do church hapa and a mm. reception hapa. Mm. But we limit it to actually no. We said we are going to add uh, our parents ten ten extra people, ten extra people. Mm. So we actually uh, moved it to seventy, not even one hundred, yep. to seventy. To <laughs> kasema okay, sawa. So. Along the way, tunaendelea tu, tunaendelea tu, tunaendelea. I, w- I actually even didn't want to do me a wedding dress at your gown and all those things. I was going to go to the fundi and make a nice white dress, like a short one. Because <laughs> simple dress, no madoido, nothing. Like, you know, like si- like we were simplifying this thing. Kwa kichwa hizi tu hizi likuwa ni, ah, it's just, you know, like a mother ka small function. Mm-hmm. Kado go to and then we tumaliza nenezi vitu. Anyway, so one day I'm having a conversation with a kid. I remember it was a group of uh, girlfriends. Na tunongizi, tunongizo vitu, tunongia. Then wanauliza, ebu ni kulize juu ya rusienu. Why is it that you're, why are you making it so easy for this guy? <laughs> Akina, I'll be very, I'll be very honest. The conversation was like, judi kila time una chezanga tu chini, like, Kila time, like you never put yourself first. You always, mm. unataka tu kufraisha kila mtu mwingine, but whoever who defraish me, I'm like, what do you mean? Me, I'm good. I am happy with it. They're like, no, he needs to know what he's getting. Like, you, you mtu anawa ni mtu inagani. Mm. So, lazima, we need to feel like we are attending a wedding. Because me, I'd say, ata sikuwa na siji bridesmaids. Siji, sisi atukuwa na hizo vitu. Ile kwa tu ni mimi na Abel. <laughs> so you are like, okay. So I remember, I really got chochoad. That day, ah, wali ni chocha. Wali ni chocha rechi. Na ni karudi home. Ni By the way, <laughs> my, our parents were right. Easy story at wifanyi hivu. Atu taifanyi hivu. We are going to do a proper, proper wedding. And yeah, nili chochwa kabisa. <laughs> And I could tell how shocked, shocked he was. <laughs> Because I really, like, that wedding, hey, like, okay, me. Like, okay, me. That's like, I'm going to go for it. Yeah. Actually, I remember at some point, he was like, yeah. So, you're actually planning a wedding. Like, a wedding, wedding, wedding. Mm. Like, a proper white wedding. Mm. And I was like, yes. But let me tell you something, Richie. 
remember I'm still shooting Shamba Shape Up. Mm. So I am, I'm still, these conversations that you're having, it's the one week that I come home. Ooh. Yes. Because what happened, our friends took over the planning. Mm. Like Kate and another Kate. Yes. And Faith. These are all our friends and Philip, like our close friends, they mm. actually took over the mm. planning of the wedding. They actually planned our wedding mm. for us. That took us to an event plan and Timo na sele waka kwa hiyo mix. Ah, waka kwa hiyo mix pia. Eh, waka kwa hiyo mix pia. But later. Yes, but Timo and Sele are sort of very new. Oh, huh. To to this crowd. To this crew. Yes, to this crew. Because you see, um I met Sele. I had met Timo before, but I met Timo when they were shooting Hapakule. Because mm. they one of the actually our house used to be one of the sets. Mm. Mm. in Thindigwa. They used to shoot in our house back in the day. So when when I was around, the few times I was around and I would come home from work Gioni, I would find them shooting in the house. Na ni kwanenda kwa bedroom kuchiluko na mumbus until they wrap then. But mm. wache sisi tuendele na maisha yetu. So that is where I met Timo. I didn't know Timo from KMC. Like yes, 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 yes. Mm. Mimi I met Timo after he started shooting for Hapakule. Mm. And then I met Sele <coughs> shortly after that. And he actually how I met Sele was I actually organized a lunch for the girls. And by girls I mean Kate, Kate. He had two kids. Yeah, two kids. Yes, Faye, Jackie Matubia, Isare, like just how we used to hang out. Okay. I had organized for lunch kwetu nyumbani ni kwan mwapiki and kambi awakam. And that was the first time actually I was meeting Sele and Sele was also meeting the, the, rest the, of the bigger girls. crew, yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. And this is around when? I think 2014. So you, yeah, you were about. never in, in school the same time with... Abel. No, 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 no. Okay. No, no. I mean, with, 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 no, no, with no, 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 no. Timo. Mm -mm. Then they Beke came way Dibush. later. Yes. Eh, after Sisi to me. Okay. To me, Maliza Shule. Okay. So, yeah, Celeste is also part of the crew na team, but they are very new to this other bigger crew. Mm. Yes. Mm. But bad wako. Wako badu kwa mix. Okay. <coughs> so these guys are planning your wedding? They are planning our wedding now. So, mimi ya mawe, most of the time, mi na update yangu watu by the age ya vitu vile zina happen. The good thing is, this other Kate, not uh, Kate actress, this other Kate, Kate Derrick, that's what, uh, that's how we call her. Mm. She was an event planner. Ah. So she was the one heading Kila the kitu. event plan. Okay. Yeah. So ni kwanaja, ah, Kate akipanga sisi tutuko sawa. Richie, do you know, I actually got leave from work a week to my wedding. Now that week to my wedding, don't lienda kununua, kutafuta gaoni arusi. <laughs> but then, okay, I am, I have, I am not a, I'm not very big on parties and celebrations and mm. whatnot. So because of that reason, ata arusi ni kijuwa badu ni arusi, I was very, ni kwa nai minimize sana kwa kili yangu. Because they used to wonder, wemi ata una nguo, it's a week to the wedding. Unataka tutafute nguo, ni kwa nambi, ah, that one week. Don't worry. I get off work. Ah. Day pata. Tutenda shafte nguo na nipate na kila kitu. See, everything else is, 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 sorted. is, is sorted. So you and I, uh, uh, Abel had already done his uh, suit fittings and whatnot. So ni mimi tu ni mengoji wa niende. So anyway, a week to the wedding, that's when I sourced for my wedding gown. Na nikafanya sasa everything else that was needed. And then now actually also being part, like, in, like present for the wedding plan uh -huh. and all those things. That happened a week to the wedding. Mm -hmm. And then the wedding came. Was Mumbus yeah, she in was, the lineup? She was five years old. Eh, actually, our, so we had to go groomsmen, had to go bridesmaids, one of bridesmaids, had to go now. The only people in our lineup was were Abel, myself, Dad, uh, on supporting Abel now, Mom, and my bro. Mom and your bro. Yes, that's it. That's it, and, and Mumbus. So, you know, the entry of Kuingia, Bibi, Arusi, and Apele Kwa Pale, but Arusi, she has a man. Yes, it was, oh, no, and Kate and Phil. Yes, so you're the best couple. Best couple, oh, yeah. yes. But I took one, uh, any other mm. person on there. That's funny, even me. Yeah. Nilikuwa tu na my best couple. Yes. So, Mumbus ni ali tembe wa kwanza, and then my mom and my bro. They bro brought you? Yes. Yes. So, the wedding uh, day comes, of course, that story they know. Kama hujiyo story, enda tutatafuta tumahali huko. Wenda ata kwa city ya 
ya Abel <laughs> ama uende tu kwa stories za mkuru <laughs> <laughs> stories <laughs> of my life huko sitaenda stories za harusi na nini yeah. cuz it was a good day mm. of course suti kafanyika vile ilifanyika yeah, 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 yeah. suti akadisa <laughs> That's one that story they know the story of like yeah, everybody yes. knows that story. Yeah, but it was a beautiful wedding. We ended up with 150 people. Mm. <laughs> so 100 walikuja hata wakapita, wakaenda to 150. But uh, we did it at um, back then ilikuwa ni to Kigwa Hotel mm. on Kembu Road. It was very new. At the, just the intersection hapo kwa bypass. Yeah. Uh, what did was, that do for you? What did the day <clears throat> do for you? But then, honestly, I feel like it was um it was I was happy cuz now I felt like now this is a legal uh, union. Mm. For me I think that was the biggest part okay. and that now Mumbuz is going to grow up knowing that it is a legal union. Oh, okay. Like Daddy and Mummy are together legally. Mm. Like see le unajuanga baada wanaanza kuuliza na mkuanga na harusi amko na nyinyi mliona aje. So I think for me that was it and the cuz everything else I knew I knew that this is the person I want to spend the rest of my life with so mm. it wasn't at the wedding that made me feel I you get know, it yeah. I get it So for me it was just that part Okay it's legal it's official and Mumbus now gets to grow up knowing that And I mean even when I hear your story mm. Remember the importance of legality. Yes. Even from your mom's story. Exactly. Your mom's story that saved the house. Yes, because that is what brought us back home. Wow. Yes. So I mean without a doubt mm. uh, I'm like even if you'll do it at the ages, mm. do it at the ages but exactly. have the have the people you never yes. know. Okay. Mm, it's important. Anyway, so we do the wedding and um to kind of Dubai honeymoon. <laughs> Apa ndio do ilienda? Acha nikwambie. Do you know it was the first thing that we paid for before anything else? Honeymoon. Tulilipa honeymoon kwa. <laughs> Cuz we were saying no matter what happens. No matter what happens. Tunaenda. Tunaenda na tunaenda <laughs> kuenjoy. And let me tell you we actually uh, booked our flight the same day of the wedding. Sisi hatukua tuna ile muna tulikuwa tunakimbia arusi yetu ilisha saa kumi. People were so mad at us. They were so mad. Because eh, our friends cuz they wanted to throw a After bash party, yeah. After pa- ai sisi saa kumi hivi kwanza tunawarakisha okay. flight yetu ni leo usiku <laughs> <laughs> the 11 the almost midnight flight to dubai ile yeah. 11:50 hapo yeah. that was our flight I love so it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> saa kumi by the reach 4 pm Audi. it was a wrap for the wedding na ungetuona huko tukikimbia home kwenda to park <laughs> tuende tuoge tutoe makeup nini turudi alafu to pack nguo zetu twende uh, airport. I love you guys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And it ah uh, we had a good time. It was actually the first time we were okay now other than Abel. Ah uh, other than oh, okay for me ni kwa mfanya Uganda na TZ yeah. international. Uh, <laughs> But by road. Ile kwa sasa the first time for Abel actually sasa kwenda on an international. Wow. Trip. And now you're going together. So And it's your first trip together. together. That's yes. it's always nice. Yes. Ai, we had a good time. We had a Sikuizi mko Dubai, mko everywhere. Sikuizi mko like fucking meeting guys at Dubai. Na good journey aje. Yeah, so that was that was something we were in Dubai for like a week and then we came back. Kwa sasa simnarudi kila mtu anarudi. Sasa maisha normal. Maisha normal. Yeah. As you entering December. It is we are entering December. Yeah, we had like we had ah that 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 and November and December were just like some really ah we had some good times because mm. in December we used to do a trip like with the entire crew to the coast for after Christmas mm. like Christmas kila mtu akona family yake but then on the 27th we would drive down to the coast and just hang out for like a week mm. so that is what we did after now we came back nini kidogo kazi kidogo then we had Sherehe anyway good times then sasa tumeingia 2016 mhm 2016 mimi naendelea tu na kazi but this time now i'm full on um shambashi pap i mm. no longer uh, do makutano junction or no zone okay. mine is now full on shambashi pap and work is going well actually for me in terms of work i don't feel like there is much mm. Cause ni yo to normal yet ya kazi na mko unaenda kazi mko unaenda kazi but that traveling across East Africa was something really good but now you've got people under you yes i'm the producer oh, so yes. everybody else yeah. is under me eh, eh, eh. and our director was actually uh, from the UK his mm. name was Ken P 
like all our directors for Shambashi Pub walikuwa natoka UK. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, I have a crew of mm, of maybe 10, 12 people mm. at a time. When you tuna travel now, now everywhere, like everywhere okay. we are going, yeah. And now for Shambashi Pub, we used to travel by road. Yeah. Because of equipment and whatnot. Mm. No, flying cameras and whatnot is too expensive. Yep. So we would just travel by by road. We had but you go to see this country. Vans. Yes. And it used to be a lot of fun, actually. Because you see, you you have yeah. your crew, Nenda Mkichapa story, Nini Mki enjoy. And we, I used to have, like, the best crew. I really enjoyed working with my team, the entire team at Shambashi Pub. Mm. Cool, cool people. So me, I'm doing my thing. Abel is doing his thing. In between now, everything productions in Yanafanya, Nini Nini, Naizi Vitu Zingine Zote Yanafanya the same with Safaricom. We did some a lot of work with Safaricom. Yeah. But now come end of 2016, the mm. Philip. Ay, Protel. it is about time we started doing our our own thing. Our own things. Actually, it was not. It was not. It was actually this started end of 2015. Because mm -hmm. come early 2016 is when they're having this conversation of, Ay! and you see, they were literally the producers yep. of these two shows. Like from concept to Kila Kitu Ilikwa Niwao. Yep. But the productions were owned by Protel Studios. Yep. So see Zao, when yep. I produce, na kila mtu anajua ni feel it. Yeah. Ni, feel, ni, ni Abel na feel, that time I na feel it. Yes. But shows see Zao. So they, feel, they started feeling, getting to the point of feeling like, hey, maybe we need to venture uh, out on our own. We just go and produce and do things Z2. Like we start a company, ni, 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 ni. And Feel it Productions was actually born in 2016. Mm. Like, I think they had registered the company way before, back in like 2012, but they started functioning, they, the company started functioning in 2016. Because mm. they decided to, okay, to shows, to shows to to. But what they did not know <laughs> is that Kumbe kujitengenezea show ni The financing element. Let me the tell you. <laughs> Let me tell you. I don't want to do, say too much about this story because he has told yes, the story. Told People it. And it's his, not his yeah, yeah, story. Yeah. So, yeah, but you, you, Mwaka Wali Kulangumu. Woi! Woi! Hey! Ay, 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 ay. Hey, 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 hey. But now you see, for me, I felt it was now my time to take care of him. Hana kazi. But atashinda waki. Wali kwa napata na Philippa Subui. Wali anashinda waki zurura mara wa menda DSTV. Wali ameshinda uko waki tafta kachansi kakuongea na watu wa commission wow. shows. Mara wa menda KTN. Wali ameshinda uko waki pitch. Wali ambio show yenu ni mbaya. Hakuna mtu anaeza ataka iyo show. But what they did not know <laughs> is that kumbe kujitengenezea show ni The financing element. Let me tell you. <laughs> Let me tell you. I don't want to do, say too much about this story because he has told yes, the story. Told People it. And it's his not. Yeah, his yeah, story, yeah. So. yeah, but yo, yo mwaka wali kulangumu. Woi! Woi! Hey! Ay, 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 ay. Hey, 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 hey. But now you see, for me, I felt it was now my time to take care of him. Wow. He had been taking care of me. Like, he started taking care of me even before Mumbus existed. Wow. Can you imagine? Like, I'm a leap of school fees, I'm a fan of you to Zote. And you see, he had a good job. about to leave. He was about to leave. I found I had to leave not to. Yeah, so I felt for me it was now my time to now take care of him. Mm. So for the whole of 2016, actually into 2017, I was the sole provider in that household. She but Richie, let me tell you. Actually, like Alikwa Naisema, Nashindo Ai, because Kwangu Ai was a big deal. Kwangu, it was, that was exactly what I was, I was supposed to do. Kwangu, Nikwa Nifanya Nin. Nikwa Nambia, babe, do you know you've taken care of me for so many, for so many years? Like, this is my one opportunity to now pay back if there's anything like that. Today, I'm going to ask some questions that will feel 
s- stupid, but I have to ask them mm. because I'm aware there are people mindsets at different levels. Mm. Do you know if in different marriages mm. the man losing his job brings about divorce? That's true. So, oh, now you're not making money mm. because that you're going for your dream. Mm. Imagine, by the way, this is the moment where I chomoka. When I've had you say, now nah, I took it, you, it doesn't sound at all like there's anything even that has affected you negatively doing that. Mm. Me, for me, it was like, yay. Actually, I think I celebrated it. Yay! It's my turn! Let me show you. <laughs> Yeah, because, I mean, this boy, he was a boy when he started paying my school fees, who's now a whole man. Mm. Like, he's taking care of me for so many years. The least I can do is now show him, take care of him. Mm. And Richie, honestly, it's only after he started telling this story that Nilianza Kuku, oh, oh, by the way, because for me, I was doing, like, Kongo likuwa something so normal. Mm. Like so natural to do. Mm. Yeah, and that, I don't think I ever even at Ingliam Kaskumoja ni kanza kufiel ni kama ai uyu mze. Because I could see how much work he was putting into it. Hana kazi. But atashinda waki. Wani kuwa napata na Philip Asubui. Wana shinda waki zurura mara wa menda DSTV. Wame shinda uko waki uh, taftaka chance kakuangia na watu wa commission shows. Mara wa menda KTN wame shinda uko waki pitch. Wanambio show yenu ni mbaya. Hakuna mtu anata, aneza ataka hiyo show. Hiyo show ni mbaya. Yapa. Mm-mm. Like I saw the amount of work they put into it. But nothing was yielding any fruit. Like they, ta- sasa hawa wali tamak. Hawa mm-hmm. <laughs> sasa waneza sema jia kutamak. Because they really did tamak. The whole of 2016, mm. nojua amefanya after arusi, yes. ame throw a good yes. couple yeah. of a hundred thousand somewhere, yeah. amefanya arusi. So come 27, 2016, hakuna pesa, <laughs> nandiyo, it's the same time that you say, sasa, hii kazi wacha tuende, tuanze kuhasul kivietu. So did, they what, really... did you believe that it was going to yield fruit? Oh yes. Ah, nilikuwa ngapo kila siku nikimwambia babe, leo nataka fair. Na mtu miaka 5k na mwambie sio ni akutama, kende ni mtama na Philip. <laughs> and you see for Philip, Philip had a at that point, oh, wao walikuwa na kid. Mm. Yeah. So by the uh, even for the first yes. show yes, that they kid. actually did, uh, Suna Joni, the first show that now actually yielded some fruit na wakapewa job na DSTV. Uh, multi choice. The first show they did was actually funded by Kit. Mm. Kit nearly won our fund. Because how I won nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Yanni. Nothing. Yanni. Yeah. Let me even say it. If <laughs> Abel watches you, we are Nikam. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> hey, gosh, I'm joking. Yeah. I say that because I know. Yeah. Like, yeah. that is so. I love the fact that we get to hear these mm. other sides. Mm. You know, sometimes it's, it's, this is Maisha. Yeah. Maisha is here. Now Maisha is like that. And marriage is this. This is, is marriage. A, yes. This is this, now marriage. This and then this, this. And then you go up again and then you come down. Mm. And there's, it needs for everybody. And let me. Seasons. Let, let me say why I'm saying this, huh? Mm. I'll be real with you. Mm. When, when, when I said uh, ma, 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 soft life for Mama Judy. Mm. I can I can sense it in people's things. Mm. You get. Ah, so I boss. See, see, you say takes care of this person. See, you say. But what I'll say is, you like people's perception is what they see. Mm. So, like for example, people will be like, "Why are you why why are you here trying to do a ma, soft life for Mama?" Mm. Ma, ma, ma. So yeah. many no agari to mm. you get. Yeah. What I'll say is, people don't know the behind the scenes. They don't know. You never really truly know somebody until you take, until the, time. You take the time to get to know somebody. Yeah. I don't even know, but I can tell you straight up, mm. you guys support a lot of people. And I'm not here to, to, to make you tell the stories about that. Mm. But I, I know, without a doubt, the money that enters your hands mm. is given to you, and very many people make money because you guys make money. You know how I know? That's true, yeah. Because even your companies run like that. Yeah. And I've had side conversations with people. Mm. So if your firm, if if your comp if if Philips and is run like that, mm. 
what more family yeah that's true anyway i'm just saying that because what you've done it's beautiful to hear mm. in our generation mm. that there are people who would stick by their man mm. while his man has gone to pursue <laughs> his dreams <laughs> yes 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 so that was but eventually imagine so na journey came along and that was now the that now feel it took off from there feel it have a movie yeah. on netflix imagine that dream mm. that those two boys left to do yes Fast forward to now you say that was 2015 2016 2016 fast forward to 2023 yeah now they have a movie on Seven Netflix 7 years later yeah their dreams they are actually now living their dream but they still working very hard bado ni kazi i today invited him for breakfast akaniambia eh bro ali sema leo aki leo kazi ime kazi imekuwa ngori yeah okay so let's go on so um, of course now it uh, suna journey comes through and they you know uh, like feel it now it takes off so uh, that's 2017 2017 but takes off naku <laughs> yes yeah <laughs> see take off at you once when that it took off and then and it uh, dipped <laughs> it went negative oh my god it went negative anyway go watch abel city mm, yes you'll get the full story there yeah but yeah. hey so, so i don't want people to be like oh kutoka hiyo time ah, nikuwa yeah, 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 yeah. in a deep in a panda in a deep tena in a panda hey what <laughs> but but sometimes i feel like that's the interesting thing about life wouldn't it be boring if things were just yeah. i may mean, don't mind it been boring <laughs> You manage. Hey, be boring. Be, no- <laughs> be normal, be boring. You manage your angle. Sometimes I feel like good. Kukushtua kidogo. Yeah. But yeah. what I know is when it goes down here, mm. it's like Joseph to the prison. Mm. He didn't come back into Potiphar's house. Yeah. He went to palace. Yes. So yeah, to get that's to true. Yeah. Mm, that's the, the only way to get up there ni kuko only deep alafu ukapanda tena. Anyway, so um, 2017. So 2016 is a normal life. Is a normal life, yes. Apart from the hustle na of yeah. course kuna hustle cuz you see we were used to it was double a income. two income, yes, a double income family. Now it's a single income. Mm. So of course. Of course kuna Titan. Kuna eh kuna kutetemesha hapa na pale kidogo kidogo. Like iko like mm. kuna kukaza kaza tu vitu live kuna vitu mna struggle nazo hapa na pale but honestly rich i can't say it was like the bad bad mm. bad it was no, normal hard it was normal hard yeah Again, we were too. able to survive yeah. i mean msichana mwenye amefagia soko akapata so mbili <laughs> na sasa hii she is earning a six figure salary surely eh, but this time now you are hit so. ah say to go six figures <laughs> <laughs> You see when people stop saying numbers. That's what it was six. Yeah. You so know, there's something you've said. Mm. Me and my wife used to call it dinks. Do you mm. know what dinks is? Mm-mm. Hey, dinks is a good time in people's life. Mm-hmm. It's called double income no kids. Ah. <laughs> Your time. Oh. Ni poa. Life is good. Uh, oh, sasa so, 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 we never experienced that. Okay. So, but, <laughs> but you had double income. Yes, <laughs> one you had kid. double income, one kid. <laughs> so. Yeah, so um Uh, 2017 comes and now for 2017 <laughs> uh, remember i have been producing shambashi pop since 2015 right actually to say like 2014 2015 2016 2017 it's almost like four years into this thing right uh when i started mumbus was five years old by 2017 She was a, she was four turning uh, going five so she was four five six seven mm. she's around seven uh, seven years i started noticing something weird because she was used to me being home and then going away and it was always okay but the one thing i used to do i would have a conversation with her like i would come home and i would have a conversation with her telling her i will be home for three days because i realized it was very important for her to understand that wow. so she's prepared for when i leave again so we would do a countdown so i would say i'm home for the next four days so after day one she would say now you're home for three days so we used to do that countdown with her mm. 
because I realized me coming in and then just leaving ni kama ilikuwa ina effect ina effect and it's funny because it that is not something that used to happen that had happened before mm. but now um come 2017 early 2017 and i remember this particular time uh, i was actually traveling for shambashipa and the night before when i told her now tomorrow morning when you wake up i will have left already because i used to leave like at 5 a.m during shoot days and the days we would travel because we would need to go to the office park and then start our journey to wherever it is that we were going that day i remember the night before she cried richie mm. alilia nikashindwa ai hata ilia tena niki travel nikaja wa ilia at all of course we would have the back and forth but she never used to cry so that happens once i come bo- back home after the trip Then when I'm leaving again she cries again. So I can't go shindwa. I so it can't go ni sumbwa. And it actually started messing with <laughs> my brain. like it lianza ku ni sumbwa. So when I shindwa why is she crying? She never used to cry. Why is she crying now? Like every time I leave yani yani ni vita. The night before, oh sometimes she'd cry to herself to sleep. Wow. And you see I'm waking up the following day so early in the morning mm. to go. So what at itamuona like mm. ni kwa tunaenda kwa bedroom I kiss her goodbye and I go. So pole pole kanza kunisumbua. And Abel could tell cuz nilikuwa nashinda niki ongea na yeye. Remember even one day when we spoke in the evening cuz I used to call them every jioni uh, after work. And I remember actually I spoke to Mumbus and then when Mumbus got off the phone and I started talking to Abel I broke down nikaanza kulia mm. so ate yale kwa feel mm. kuna kitu cuz you see I'm talking to Mumbus and every time I speak to her ni mama na come home lini mm. mami when are you coming back home mami you've been gone for too long those were the conversations wow. and this were never conversations we had had before so pole pole kaanza kunisumbua and I think that is where Mentally I started planning my exit. Mm. This is in 2017. Na kwa hiyo message. <laughs> And that message says it says babe I got you. If you want to resign, do it. And I remember actually I spoke to Mumbus and then when Mumbus got off the phone and I started talking to Abel I broke down nikaanza kulia mm. so ate yale kwa na feel mm. kuna kitu cuz you see I'm talking to Mumbus and every time I speak to her ni mama na come home lini mm. mami when are you coming back home mami you've been gone for too long those were the conversations wow. and this were never conversations we had had before so pole pole kaanza kunisumbua and I think that is where Mentally I started planning my exit. Mm. This is in 2017. And uh, I narudi to kazi and I actually did shambashi pop for the whole of 2017. And then now we get into 2018. Ina nisumbonga tunasumbua nanga hivi na vile but but I can tell you for sure by December 2017 I knew for sure that I needed to I think I had I had I started feeling like I had given everything I could ever give to this career mm. and to this office and to this company like I needed I needed to find a different path mm. for myself and this particular path needed to I needed to make sure that whatever path I was going to take that path would make sure that I was always at home like I was always going to be in the house with my family na nakumbuka mpaka nikiambia god nikimwambia god whatever i don't know by the because you see this is the industry i mean mm, mm. and i am at a very good uh, career place career place matter of semi figures so of course there's that struggle cuz so i'm leaving my work i don't know by the i i would lie richie if i said that i knew for sure what it is that i wanted to do i didn't know because mm. this is all i ever wanted to do yep. and this is whatever i was doing i really enjoyed it mimi nilikuwa mm. na enjoy i i loved my job 
because I had the best bosses. I had like I was working with very good people. So mm. I had no reason really to say ati sasa nataka kuacha kazi. So come 2018. And it's the same conversation. So how we used to shoot uh, Shamba Shop Up is by the time we are breaking for Christmas, which would be like two weeks, uh, a break for two weeks, tulikuwa ni kama tuko like three quarter uh, way through the season, that mm. particular season. So January, we are coming to finish. So January and February, tuko tunaingia kumaliza the mm. season. So I remember now, 2018, I go back to the office. Now, of course, to share the conversations that the following season, because the following season would then start around June, July, the Tungenza another season. So we would finish in around February, end of February, break March, April, May. But we are breaking, but at the same time we are planning for the next season. Mm. And I remember we do we finish that season and we actually get into planning the next season. Yeah. Hi. But tunanza kupanga is season. Kila siku roho yangu inakata. Like like my mind in a kata. Like we tunakiti tunanza kupanga is season. You remember the wall? <laughs> yes, the wall, yeah, with my sticky teeth. Yes. Sticky but notes. kuna kitu tu in a kata. But remember, and especially for our generation now we've brought up, we've been brought up, unacha kazi inakulipa mshara uende wapi, mm. Richard? Unaenda wapi? Mm. Na wea hata ujui pali naenda. Hata siju kwenye naenda. <laughs> so unacha hii kazi inakulipa uende wapi. I remember having that conversation with my mom. And this time my mom was not understanding this one. Mm. She was like, ora tinga wera odiku. Odiku. <laughs> Eh? So that's what we said in Yeah, it had to be said in cute. Because <laughs> it, it. Hey, cause she's like, do you understand that you have a child? Mm. Do you understand you, ha you have a family? People are here struggling to get work. You're leaving your work, a good job to go where? Mm. I remember by the way, mom was very, like she could not understand. Unatoka yu kazi kazi mzuri hivu wende wapi. But Richie, one of the days to Kiwa, um, actually, just before we wrapped, uh, no, we had wrapped and we had started prepping. I'm prepping for the next season, mm. but, but um, no, in Akata. Okay, Aki, hey, hapa kuna kitu, hapi, Aki, hapa kuna kitu, hapa kuna kitu, yezin, na film, roho yangu haiko hapo kabisa. I remember. No, we prep and the season begins. The season begins? The season begins. So is this in 2018 now? 2018. Okay. The season begins in June. But I remember it was, we had just, actually it was the first shamba. It was the first episode mm. that we were shooting of that season. And we were shooting it in Nembu. And it was around 9 a.m. in the morning. Of course, as in my travel into Naishi Embu, because we would go to like a certain location and we would do at least two or three episodes. And that would mean would be in that particular location for mm. about one and a half weeks because yeah. an episode would shoot an episode in three days whoa yes okay yeah so we were in embu for one week meaning we were there to do two episodes it is 9 a.m in the morning we are just about to start filming with the first uh exp we used to call them experts like if coopers yes. send someone to come and teach train there so we are just about to start filming and i get a text message sasi nikoset natoa simu naanza kusoma and it's a text message from abel Na kwa hiyo message. <laughs> and that message says, it says, babe, I got you. If you want to resign, do it. By the way, Elisa Matuivo, do it. Just know, I got you. If you want to resign, do it. Na wache kushinda uki postpone. If you feel it's time, do it. Let me tell you, Richie. Nili eka simu kwa mfuko. Ni katembea. I remember even the director calling me. Ni kawambia, I'm coming. Na simu angali. Kwa zi machozi. Richi, nili. Nili eto kwa kwa bush. <laughs> Kulia. Yeah. Because I felt like, that is the one, th I think you ndio kitu ni kwa na need kusikia. Mm. Like, it was, gonna, it was going to be I okay. support you yes. in, in your decision. Yes. And you're not crazy. Yeah. Na, it's not even, I, I don't think it's so much for the support. It's for, it's going to be okay. Mm. Like, it's going to be okay. Because you see, thoughts are killing me. Maisha itakuwa ajia 
Okay, Abel wamepata kazi na imeanza wameanza kupig but, but mm. eh, like how how is life gonna turn out and you see there's nothing um harder than you you used to working you used to getting a salary ama you used to having some money and then unaenda alafu so nikitaka kununua makeup okay i've never been a makeup person mm-hmm. so kwa hizo time just to <laughs> but you know like the like si kwa ni go to cultiva eh like how, how am i going like naanza kuomba pesa mm-hmm. you know because i've always been able to provide for myself the, like the basics za mm-hmm. rembo za wasichana za kufanya mm-hmm. nini so now i'm going to start asking him for money and i know he would give me hata bila kuflinch mm-hmm. but kuna hizo to all those thoughts let me tell you Richie, that message i cry. I cried Richard. I was like, "Hey." Anyway, and that is how after the one week in Nembo, we went back to the office in Karen because we would go back and then prepare for the next mm. shoot location. I went back to the office and the first thing I did was to send my letter of resignation. Guy 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 guy. But I decided to produce that entire season. Mm. So I told them I would produce the, the the season until the end of the year. So come no, I said I would produce the season until September. Mm. And then after September, then you would need to continue with somebody else. I went back and sent that letter. And let me tell you, the office was just like they could not understand. Like they were like tumefanya nini mm. like tumekufanyia nini let me tell you mpaka mdo sele kwa is it the salary we can increase it like how much do you want? like they could not understand how i was resigning and you see for the four years i had been able to handle that production by myself without them being mm. involved na kukwatizu sijui Yaani walikuwa wameniachia hiyo show walikuwa wanajua as long as Judy is there then everything cool. is so you see it's not like kumekuwa na any bad blood it's not like job nimeharibu like unatoka unaenda unaenda wapi like they could not understand it like ni kama office ile simama kidogo vile wa, kila mtu alisikia anaenda they were like unaenda unaenda wapi so what we did the reason why i did that like na kupatia na time is that ndio wako amepata mtu mwenye anaweza train mm. under me. Mm. So they got a lady and she started training under me now. So that by the time I'm leaving they have somebody to do that. Anyway, Richie, I produce Makutano Junction. I mean, Shamba Shop up until September 28th, 2018. He he he. You know why I'm quiet? And me I'm never quiet. <laughs> Mama is signaling something. <laughs> okay. I'm 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 I'm, so, I'm quiet because I feel like this story that you've given is for me. Really? Let's take a break. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> really? Wow. Welcome back to CTA. I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you've been watching this far, do me a favor, ingia kwa comments and andika to still following. <laughs> uh, it encourages us man because yani we are ed- yeah. edited a lot of these episodes. Mm. Um Judy this 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 story you left it off at such an incredible part. Mm. Now let me say this. Yeah. The reason why nilinyamaza at the end is because of this. People only celebrate faith after they see the fruits. Yeah. Before they see the fruits, mm. you are the madman, you are mm. the mad woman, you are the one who is insane, you are yeah. crazy, like who mm. nafanya nini? And faith is literally that. You're yeah. stepping into the unknown. That's true. You get? Yeah. So, and let's let's <laughs> let's, let's let you you take it from where you want to take it. Yeah, so um, uh so I continue uh working on Shamba Shop up until September 28th. So by the time we are going on on the break ni kwa nimesema tumefika September. Oh, in September. 
And to be exact, uh, the exact date was actually September 28th, 2018. That was my final day in office mm. at Media Company. But I want to take it back to like two weeks before uh -huh. uh, the 28th of September. So two weeks before I'm having a, what was it? I had gone to Sicily and team. I had gone for a visit. I don't even know why I was I had gone to their house, mm. but it was a conversation. We were having a conversation. And uh, the conversation was, at some point we were having lunch to Nabonga Tuma story. And then Celeste says, by the way, there's something you want to talk to you about with uh, Tim. So I'm like, okay. And I'm like, eh, sasa mahali uh, brand ya Tim imefika. Eh, it is, it is, it, I feel like it is beyond me. That is what Sele said. Wow. Because at this particular point, uh, Sele had, had a small baby. Tugi was very, like, was what? Tugi kalikuwa kadogo sana. Mm. Kalikuwa months old. So Selene was like, because before that, Selene was the, the, was the manager yes. for the team, right? <laughs> yeah. She would answer the calls and talk to clients and all those, that thing, and all those things. So now, uh, Toria uh, Tugi is here, and now there's motherhood involved. Mm. So it got and to a the point. First child. Exactly, it's the first child. Mm. So by the time we were having the, this conversation, Selene was um, saying she was feeling a bit overwhelmed. We, between now man managing the motherhood, Toto, ni, 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 and still managing team and his career. And his brand is growing. Exactly. Mm. At that point, by the way, ku take off kabisa. So the conversation is what they wanted to talk to me about was if uh, you know somebody that you can recommend, someone who's good, uh, to come and now handle uh, team and his brand. Yes. So, nikawambia, oh, like a production manager, they were like, yeah, kitu kama iyo, mtu tu mwenyaneza manage e, clients, nini na vitu zote za timo, because at this point, I feel I need to focus on, on, Tugi. on Tugi. So, me, niko hapo, nikisema, ah, okay, sawa, sawa, let me ha go have a chat with Abel, and we see, we brainstorm, we see, because we know a few people, let's see who's the best person to uh, take over from you. And that was it. That was actually the conversation. So, Mimi, I leave, I go back home. And I tell Abel, by the team, I say, Leo, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to like a good uh, talent manager or a good manager. Mm who can handle now team and his brand and all the clients that are coming in. Because Selena Sema, she's, right now she feels a bit overwhelmed. She would rather focus on the baby. So I mean, asked my, ah, okay. And then he turns and he's like, but babe, so you can do that job. I'm like, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> my first, actually, my, my first question to him was, do you understand that this, this is, social media. And remember, me, I was the person always behind the scenes. Up until this particular moment that you're having this conversation, I'm the kind of people who post after three months, five months. <laughs> I was not active on no social way. media at. I wasn't. Okay, I wasn't. Private. Actually, page <laughs> was <liqua> private. <laughs> at this time, it was private because I was like, hey, who are all these people? Ah, I was junior magic proper. Like I was proper. It's actually very few people who knew at that particular point mm. that I was Abel's wife. They knew he had mm. a wife. Yes, yes. But when you were a jua, they couldn't put a face to it. Well, when you were a jua, you were a jua. Yeah. But when you were a jua, you were a jua. So even Abel, you were not managing, doing nothing for him? No. At this time? No, 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 no. Okay. No, nothing. I was not even in management. That was not even <laughs> something <laughs> at <laughs> Mami, in Mkwana. Hey, As in, actually, I'm now doing my last two weeks before okay. the day uh, arrives for me to just to, to leave now officially, media. So you did at a moment think, maybe I can do this? No. Wow. So this is what we decided. Because you see, um, by the time I was, uh, okay, these are things I didn't mention. By the time I was leaving media, eh? see, I was a producer, mm. but had, I had actually got to a point where I would go with our big boss to talk to clients. Wow. The sponsors. So mm. we would go to meetings together. Mm. The sponsors meeting, the pitch to pitch to yep. sponsors on all those things. So you can remember that 
Sasa tunenda mbaka na meetings. Yeah, this one I forgot to mention. Judy, you left while you were rising. Yes. On that level. Yes. So even your boss, you know, I know. That's why I was telling you, he, he, he could not understand. Like, he could not understand. Okay. Like, he was, actually, to say, I think, kid ali catch feelings kiasi. I can't and, uh, siku mbili vita tu hako ananyongelesha kwa office. <laughs> like, he was, like, he could not understand, Richie. Nobody could in that office. Like, why are you leaving? Like, Mdosi say anasema, if he's going to a meeting, he wants to go with you. Which means you're away exactly. for taking over. Yes, like, where are you going? Yeah, that's crazy. Anyway, <laughs> so I had gained quite some skills in the area of uh, um, talking to clients mm. and having conversations with clients and pitching for things and, you know, like the business talk. Yeah. Ni a, a, a bit of skill there. So, during this conversation with Abel, he says, babe, do you understand that what you do, as in you're just transferring those skills to the digital space. Mm. It's the same skills, it's just that now it's in the digital space. Because mm. I was like, I don't even understand what I Let me tell you, at that particular point, I did not even <laughs> understand <the> influencing. <laughs> And like, I did not, I knew the uh, client would come, Safaricom would come and they would pay Njigush to do some videos and whatnot. But I did not understand the skill behind what it is that they, they did. But and let the me business see. Uh -huh. aspect of what it is that they did. Mm -hmm. It's so important to note at this point, mm. we have to give Wakina and Jigush their props. Yes. They were pioneering that thing. They were. They were you get what I mean? For sure. Without, without a doubt, in Jugush, the brand Jugush was at the forefront yes. of pioneering this influencer world. Kabisa. So for you not to understand, I can sort of get it. Yes. Yeah. So I had so many questions for her. And I was like, babe, do you know I don't even understand what they do? Like, I, I, this influencing and whatnot, I don't really understand it. I can say, babe, me, I honestly believe you can do it. Like, I honestly believe it's something that you can do very well. Because your, your people skills are very mm. good. Like, your people skills are very good. Mm. So, maybe do this. Be agreed by their can be do this. Because they need somebody now. Maybe after end of Washkilie, until we find somebody. Actually, that is what we agreed. I'll Shukilie them until we find somebody who can take over. Mm. So, of course, I called uh, Tim and Sele. We had a conversation. Come and be, you know what? Because uh, I am about to uh, resign in two weeks. After that, because I have nothing to do, say I told you, I, by the, even by the time I was resigning, <laughs> the truth of the matter is that I did not have a plan. I did not have a plan. I did not. See, I did resign. I did not have a plan. Actually, what Abel kept saying, telling me was, you do not need a plan now. What you need to do is you come home and sleep. By the way, we had agreed. And come in my babe, Utalala, October, November, December. Like, literally sleep. Mm. Hang out with your daughter, sleep. And then come January, we will figure it out. That is what he used to tell me. Nili kwe mefika hapo, nika sima, okay. I'm coming yeah, home to sleep. You and him. You and him. But then was like, come sleep. <laughs> <laughs> come sleep, then come January. Don't worry about things now. Come January, we'll figure it out. Judy, this is countercultural. This is this is taking your son up a mountain to kill him. <laughs> you get what I mean? Yeah. In the madness of Abraham. Mm. And things that are countercultural are not celebrated. Mm. Me, I'm celebrating you for that decision. Mm. A lot of people don't celebrate faith decisions mm. because, and I get it, yeah. they go against logic. Mm. They go against what you see with your eyes, hear with your ears. Yeah. What you see. Like, when I talk a job, Build a plan. Angela, mm -hmm. at least, come on, I talk, no problem. Stay for six months mm -hmm. while you plan where you're going. No, I had no plan. I had plan for three months. Kulala for three months. Maybe that was the plan. So, this particular day, the day comes, 28th of September, I'll never forget that day. It was on a Friday. And I said my goodbyes in the office. And I said, I'm going to go to the kitchen, I'm going to park. <laughs> but I remember I had my kabag and I said my goodbyes and that was it. So remember the conversation was once I'm done, 
I'll come ni washikilie and then eh, we see from there. So did I say I resigned on the 28th on mm. on on Friday? Richie come Monday. I think it was around 10 a.m. I was at Teams and Sile's house. But sasa unajua mimi ni sasa nasikia unajua ile Freedom it's the first time I actually feel like I have time <laughs> to sit and do nothing. Yes. Like that was a very strange feeling. I remember at first it was a How very years? strange feeling. Six, six years. Yes. Mm. But remember, I started Before, working yes. in 2010. So for a good clean hapo kuna miaka kadhaa. Hizo ni miaka ngapi yeah, until yes, we could me fanya. Yes. yes. Like I just been working on the go. Yes. So this is the first time I find myself sitting and actually lounging like I actually have nothing to do because you see I went to Selene team's house for orientation on Kazia on how they do it but you mm. see it's not a formal meeting yes. so kwa sababu tunafika huko naenda nachukua kikombe cha chai tunaekelea miguu juu kwa sababu tunachapa story you know it's not a formal meeting yeah. you're just it's just friends catching up and that was my day one of orientation and day one was for me to understand how do you do like what do you do tell mm. me what it is that you do mm. and they explained and they explained and for the next one week two weeks it was basically just that mm. when they are shooting you see you seeing them shooting yes now observe now na kile wanafanya when they are going for meetings with clients i'm there i'm not talking much because you see i need to learn mm. i really did not know how that world functions So I'd go sit in meetings they would introduce me and and so I would go sit in meetings see understand how they talk nini 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 understand the rate cards the structure of the business invoicing doing quotations for clients da, 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 doing reports da, 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 all those things and by the end of the first month I was actually now the one handling the phone like you are if your... clients are calling they are now talking to me what so by the end of the first month they had taken over kabisa kabisa because you see now i've had a couple of weeks to mm-hmm. orientation shanza ku understand and let me tell you did i say nilikuwa hapo kushikilia the plan was actually for me to shikilia for less than a month like do two weeks and then find somebody to come and take over anyway richi i shikiliad for Three years. I, <laughs> do you know? Let me say, tell this guy something. When I got Njugush to come to CTA, I didn't call Njugush. It was all organized by our lady friend right here. Yes, the manager. Yes, the <laughs> one who I talked through too. Yes. Talk to me. He will be there. <laughs> so that's when Njugush walked in. Timo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Three years. So I was with Tim and Sele for three years. Where? Eh, where? Unadu. Anya hivi umesikia story yangu <laughs> kimbia pale city cleaning the airways nataka kuosha watu wameniongea vibaya kina Amber mtua cleaning the airways ndio naosha kimbia pale city subscribe pale youtube subscribe 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 ucheki story zangu na wengine wengi i hope i hope itakubamba sasa una do nini hapa si wende honest okay basi yenda okay thank you go <laughs> si wende city a si ndio <laughs>And let me tell you. Mm. Or intonations are to understand. And let me tell you. Did I say nilikuwa hapo kushikilia? <laughs> <laughs> the plan was actually for me to shikilia for less than a month. Like do two weeks and then find somebody to come and take over. Anyway, Richie Ashikiliad for three years. I Do you know let me say, tell this guy something. When I got Njugush to come to CTA, I didn't call Njugush. It was all organized by our lady friend right here. Yes, the manager. Yes, the <laughs> one who I talked through too. Yes. Talk to me. 
he will be there. Na lazima na njugushu wa kitu na Timo. Yeah. Three years. So I was with Tim and Sele for three years. Can I ask? Mm. Aha, okay. What does the financial structure in a situation like that look like? Mm. Very good question. So, as a manager, I used to you you want to know you understand in terms of per percentage. Yes. Yes, or 20. how does it work? Yes, yes. So, this is how this is the work of a talent. Kuna say mob na jaribu kuni manage na CG. Yes. So, this is how I would describe the work of a talent manager. So, a talent manager is uh, there to take care of our the creative the talent the talent and aneza kuwa ni artist musician aneza kuwa sasa ni influencer aneza mm. kuwa ni it can be in many forms mm. yeah but in, for this specific case we're just going to deal with influencers because mm. that is what i understand <laughs> so um, the talent what they do best and what they understand best is being the creative mm. create yes is creating mm. but not necessarily the business aspect of this thing that they do mm. right so mimi najua mimi ni mkali najua i am a comedian i can create funny clips nini na zita go viral but i don't know how to monetize mm. this thing i don't mm. know how to make this thing support my life support my life and me some good money mm. right so that's where a talent manager comes in so for me i came in to manage the business aspect of, of njugush the, uh -huh. the brand right so i'm there now to manage the to make sure this thing that he's doing is mm. earning him money and money that he can live on like money that he can you know yes anaishi maisha mzuri sana anaweza nunua hata gari na amenunua wa amenunua wa amenunua yeah so for me that is how i would describe my role as a talent manager when it came to njugush uh, mm. so if you wanted njugush for business mm. though it started as business but it still became a whole other thing the person even you MC and all those me. things yes okay yes if you want jukush to either create a video for you on social media to MC a gig for you to come and sit on city mm -hmm. <laughs> like any aspect of jukush as a creative that was now on me mm. you would talk to me mm. and uh, our arrangement which is basically the arrangement i think for most people here out here in terms of money because people need to understand what mm. you are easy hesabu una make aje pesa zako as a mm. talent manager you get a commission i used to get a commission okay. 20% of any revenue that okay. came in any any revenue okay. that came that's, in that's that's good yes. so if you got paid for example an mc job he gets paid a, a, a million 200 kenya yako yes okay 20% of whatever money we make is mine okay yes but <laughs> so that is the standard that is the way yes uh, businesses operate as in like the talent management world operates okay. is you get a commission but for our arrangement for Celestine and my and Gush and myself mm. by the end of the one month cuz they they needed they want to talk oh let's discuss salo nini nini me told them salo I can discuss a salary for a job I don't understand. Mm. I need to understand the job and then mm. we will have that conversation. Mm. So what we did, I they put me on a salary. Mm. Like a retainer. Yes. So nikawambia don't like take away the 20%. Yes. Cuz you see for me yes. in the beginning I felt like we need to build. Okay. Like let's build the business. Mm. And then cuz the more money we make the more I get the, I know and the better for all of us so okay. let's build the business first and then tutaongea to kombele stories ama commission na nini so i actually um, got a salary but this salary i got richard mm -hmm. this salary they started paying me so that you just understand how much money jugush was bringing in mm. it was more than the salary i was getting at the company Great. As you are at your peak. Yes. Unasikia? Talent ni hapa. Talent ni hapa. Imagine. Cuz I remember when I uh, after the one month 
you see, that conversation, because cause the conversation about around money and whatnot was a bit weird for me. Because you see, me, I'm there because I'm assisting them. Yes. In me, I'm here to help. So, I am here to help. So, I was just there to go for a I remember when they first told me how much money they wanted to give me every month. I was like, what? So we had to go to hey, do the business uh, person in me <laughs> before Nikwa <laughs> Mambi Apana. We need to do a book. Let's get the, we need to do the books. The feasibility study. Yes, because yes. I don't understand how, how you're, paying you're this able much. to sustain yourself. Sustain, ni, ni, ni sustain your salo, like for the next one year. And they were so confident. They were like, hey, yeah. What are you doing? And let me tell you, Richard, because now that was the beginning of now the phase two of my life. Now from 2018, I'm going to phase two yes. of my life. Mm. That was, by the way, my life has never been the same again. You know how all the worries I had? Oh, person in Atokawapi. Richard, I quit my job on the 28th of September, 2018, on a Friday. But in Oct end of October, like October, Musho, Sindio, like the start mm. of the new month, mm. I had a salary, almost double the amount I was making at that company. And time with your daughter. And time with my daughter. Like I had so, like <laughs> Richie, let me tell you. Yani, nilikuwa, because you see, with what we do, social media is just a crazy world. Mm. <laughs> but the good crazy. That is it actually you do lianza kufanya ni feel ni kwa na feel like social media is a rip off cuz you see with the same like I remember my salon has almost doubled yes but with the money i was making the amount of work i was putting in for me to make that money at the end of the month and the amount of work i'm putting in now to earn almost double that salary mm. was crazy mm, mm. like in a month ningefanya kazi maybe siku saba hizo zingine zote by the nimelala tuko huko tukichilla mumbus richi god give me exactly exactly the thing that i was praying for and i wasn't even praying for a big salary mm. i was praying for time with my daughter oh. so alinipatia hiyo na aka double na mshahara so you get him with your daughter, you get a job that is very flexible. Mm. You can do it at whatever time. So you have time with your daughter. And nile msharo liko unashinda huko ukinipima ukishindwa. Sasa nikitoka hapa naenda wapi? Ndio hii. Sasa niambie ni nini ingi unataka. But let me add and say, I don't want people to get confused and think out oh, what to social media and kuna do up. No, 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 no. Remember, mm. you've been doing all these years yes. of working. Mm. Tumesikia you're just growing slowly. You understand yes. production. So by the time yes. Timo is telling you to na shoot TV, you already understand production. Exactly. Uliko I production. know ni nini anahitaji. Una akokombia editing, you already understand I editing. I understand all those things. You didn't land like this. Yeah. You yourself were climbing. Mm. Then remember there's also your character and trust and relationship that you two guys already yeah. had. Yeah. And now let me also say there is work that Njugush was doing to get his brand here. Oh yes. And by the time I was coming in, remember, Njugush was in Hapa Kule. Mm -hmm. That was his first, actually, that was his launch into the public. Yes. The, uh, as in the TV world and mm. whatnot, now his fame, Njugush, the brand. That was back in 2013. Mm. Mm. So by the time Nakuja 2018, yeah. he has been doing this thing for five years. Yeah. So whatever money he's bringing in at that particular point mm -hmm. has been a culmination of work put in for yep. five good years. And remember, by the time I'm saying, mm -hmm. first of all, do yourself a favor. Come on, watch uh, CTA and Jugush. Mm. Go, go and watch it. it. Yeah. Because go you'll understand him say mm. he didn't just land here. Oh my God. Oh no. my God. As in, Richi Nakangibi Nangalia Selena team, Nasema, if there are people who deserve everything they are getting now, is those two people mm. they deserve everything like every single thing they are getting now they deserve it a hundred percent they've put in the work people don't sometimes people forget that people don't see that but they've put in the work they have worked so hard to get to where they are right mm. now in front and behind and the scenes behind the scenes yeah. even uh, 
you, you all your friends mm. uh, the the chair for city is open so you wish me sadik selezo i know i'm like yeah. next because i know yes. jugush is not jugush without sele oh you get what I mean? Jugush would never have been Jugush without Celestine. It's the same way I knew Abel is not Abel without you yeah. and vice versa. Mm. You get what I mean? Yeah. So you're joining these two. Mm. Yani, you've been added into a salo. What I want to hear, mm. just from a real talk perspective, yeah. you're now working with creatives. Yes. What are the challenges of working with creatives and what's also the challenge mm. with the corporate Kenya as you're entering? How do you know what to price? Mm. How do you and then you're new in this. What I'm yes. just, you get what I mean? Mm. Because you have perfected it now because I'm yes. sure even you know, we'll get to Abel but <laughs> yes. at this time yeah. again which God and I could train. Imagine. Actually me ni samani God alikuwa na ni train. That was for yourself God. and Abel. Yes, for <laughs> myself and Abel. So um so the first thing i needed to understand was easy to raise a red card actually it was also my first time nikisikia si jeu red card red mm. card red card yes so in the conversation around red card was for me to understand how do you come about how do you come up with these figures the pricing yes mm. like for me to charge this a particular amount of money how are you arriving at this this amount and Richie believe it or not we did the math because we they had uh, our actually we've always used the same accountant uh, for fill it mm. so accountant for fill it aitwa Davis tunampenda sana David tunakupenda sana Davis is now uh, has always uh, is now at, uh, our accountant for kila mtu like ana kwanga accountant wa kila mtu ndio account wa ndio account wa chukish creative ndio account wa mkurugenzi wa fill it yes. like sis wote tuko hapo ndani so DV uh, nika kitina DV na sile na team nikambia we need to understand easy figures do you know after doing the math we realized that they were actually undercharging yep. they were undercharging by a lot mm. and i remember the first biggest conversation i don't want to call it a the um, argument or anything yes. like that we had was about that cuz mimi i came and changed their rate cards like cuz i sat down cuz you see i need to understand the figures of production mm. and how much are you paying yourself cuz as a talent so i realized they would uh, whatever they were charging would cover the costs of production but they would really not they were not really paying themselves yeah. unajua like kuniko amejisa hao wao wana nika huko tuna charge easy camera tunalipa wa mai exactly. lakini host exactly lakini your host <laughs> <laughs> don't get your host <laughs> Yeah. No, for real, I get yeah. <laughs> so we did the math and we, are, we realized they were actually undercharging by a lot. So I flipped their rate cards and that was the first biggest because they were like nani atatulipa hiyo pesa wewe. <laughs> like unasema tu tishe this amount for a video like who's going like, to pay? It was like it was like 5 times more. No 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 no. It was like like maybe twice okay. what they were charging. Okay. Yeah, watu kwa nini sana? Ilikuwa mm. tu like maybe just twice what they were charging. And I remember by the for a good nini hapo I could tell walikuwa wameshindwa ai ai did we make the right decision with this manager because <laughs> <laughs> I'm like who is going to pay us that kind of money mm. but I told them you know what you've been I've been in school with you guys and I've been observing these things so just trust that you've taught me well and now from wow. here I can handle the clients like he can handle these conversations let me do my job let me do my job Richie, let me tell you not so long after that it was barely a week we got our first client munya alifika red card they could not believe it wow they were like what like anatulipa hiyo pesa hiyo pesa tuliweka kwa red card and i be, i feel like that was actually the beginning of now like them fully like fully trusting oh me nice to do what i needed to do So oh that's so huge. So it's like I'm hearing you say first step is trust. First Kama step is kuna trust kwa hiki tu. Ah let me tell you when it comes to talent management mm. if there's no trust hiyo biashara hamtai sana. Cuz you see you have to trust that me as your talent manager I have your best interests at heart. Mm. Otherwise bila hiyo trust mtasumbwa sana. 
Because you see, every time there's a meeting, uh, as in a client calls and I have to go for the meeting, and you see I'm not taking you mm. along mm. for that meeting. You kazi yako, you be creative. You ni kazi yangu kuenda kuongea na uyu client. Mm. So every time a client calls and I have to go for a meeting, and I come back and I say, uyu client, ana budget yake inafika hapa. But me, na feel to see chukwe in job. Na feel, there's, uh, kuna, kuna mahali ataki kufika. Mm. So you allow me to push, a bit further na kikosa kufika hii bayi to sifanya hiyo kazi. Because mm. I feel like that is one of the biggest problems we have in the content creation world, the influencing world in this country. Because I quote, I quote 100k for a video. Client anakuja anasema ni kona 15k. But juu unahitaji kazi sana, atu ukisikuma client, afike mahali anakata. So you end up taking the job for a fraction of what you're actually worth. Nana filion you. that's the biggest problem we have with influencers in this country. And it was also a challenge for Kidogo Tuapo until now the first client Kafika B. They were understand. Oh okay. Someone is a lipa e now them uh, getting to a point where they can trust that nikiwaambia huyu client kama afiki bei hatutafanya hii kazi mm. wanajua it is not because see what as in i have other funny mm. funny plans mm. it's because i know their worth i know their value and that is what i'm fighting for wow with every job that i am with every client that comes i am fighting for you i want to give you the best value that you can ever get ukonje because you deserve it that's why i'm saying if there is no trust because mm. trust is everything between a talent and the manager. But also you as the talent manager, you see right now you've explained, mm. you need to be trustworthy. Yeah. You need to be, you're, you're, you're learning. You exactly, be, yes. For people may wonder, why, why do creatives need ta a, a manager? Mm. You get what I mean? Mm. Where is it that they had gotten to mm. that now they needed... Um, to take it to the next level. Yes. So, um, as I mentioned, uh, Njigushi's brand by this time was seriously taking off, right? So, um, before, the, the work wasn't as much. So, they would get a client moja moja apa, so Sele would be able to handle the few calls coming in. Mm. But you see, even with the few calls coming in and everything, because also Sele, to some point, she's a creative mm -hmm. at this particular point. And I'm going to show you a camera and I'm going to show you what I'm going to show you. Because by this time, she was still looking at the camera. I'm going to show you a clips. Yes, but I'm going to show you the face. So you see, to some point also, she's also a creative and she's involved in the creative process. So it got to a point where they couldn't do both. Because kazi inakuja, so niniache for Timo, is it, uh, is it, do I now stop uh, thinking of concepts and scripts? Nianze wa kuongia na client, aniambizi vitu na nini na nini. And you see, that's not, that was not, never his strength. Mm. People's skills na kuongea na tu na convince clients ni 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 alikuwa ai yeye ba de alikuwa na sema whatever rate tuliku nampati whatever budget tuliku na alikuwa sema ah ni sawa tu acha ni fanya so that's where sasa hapo ndio wali feel hey we need now somebody mnyanya nza handoli dio mimi nza ku focus on what I know how to do which is the creative process yes and sometimes it's good cop bad cop yeah so actually they ah no and it should as it should always be the manager is the bad cop. Yes. The talent is a good cop. The talent should never be the the bad cop. Yes. Yes. And that would mean the talent, for example, should not be in a room negotiating down. Exactly. Talent you are not and check. Yes. Talent kazi yake ni kufraisha client na kukuwa the good vibes. Mimi kazi yangu ni kukuja sasa kuka kukaza. Yeah. So now let's talk about corporate Kenya. Because corporate Kenya is where you're getting this money. Yes. What challenges, or, and how did you get them sometimes mm. to to believe mm. in? Okay, watch and watch it on Gaza Bay. Yeah. You get mm. so because you are the one in the room. Yes. Uh -huh. the 
bad cop. Yes. Yes. So, and that would mean the talent, for example, should not be in a room negotiating down. Exactly. Talent you are not and a checker. Yes. Talent kazi yake ni kufraisha client na kukuwa the good vibes. Mm. Mimi kazi yangu ni kukuja sasa kuka, <laughs> kukaza. <laughs> yeah. So, now let's talk about corporate Kenya. Because mm. corporate Kenya is where you're getting this money. Yes. What challenges, or, and how did you get them sometimes mm. to to believe mm. in okay watch and watch it on gaze bay yeah you get mm. so because you are the one in the room yes uh -huh. so uh you remember when i said let's go back to the books mm. so these figures that we came up with hazikuwa from the air mm. so even in a boardroom with a client i was able to justify why this is the figure that you need to be paying jugus i get it and if it's not this figure then this campaign we won't be able to deliver mm. so that process of catching you understand your business and you understand how to quote to quote to cost is, to cost mm. is very important because then niki kana wewe niki kwambia richie i'm charging you uh, half a million for this video Mm. And I'm able to justify why. Mm. Mm. Then you can pay your pesa. It's true. Because I feel the thing that lacks is yo. I come with a, a figure, a random figure. Then, because it's the person giving the money, you need to understand the budget in a chesa aji. Mm. Then, if I'm not able to explain that, then how are you going to give me that, the money I'm asking for? So, I feel because we had gone through the process of sitting down and actually coming up with figures not see figures out of the thin air yeah. is figures from even from an account, accounting perspective exactly from an account, uh, backed by real uh, things i think that is where i would say that conversation was never hard for me because mm. i'm not just asking you for money blindly and mm -hmm. uh, oh you know it's so funny i i you are not the creative. Mm -hmm. So even when you're entering the uh, the boardroom or the, the room with the client, mm. you don't have the emotions you are creative. Mm -mm. You're not because you, the creative is one, hey, he jumps, he wears a lose, he jumps, yes. he wears a lose. He jumps, he wears a lose. Yes. You're like, hey, but he jobs nice a lose. Hey. It's not making sense to me. Yes. Like sense S E N T S. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. But you see, I also knew, and I think this one is probably because of um, the uh, my career before then, like having been in different productions and having done work for a while i knew that sometimes you say now you say no now uh. so that that yes in the future italy <laughs> pampaka <laughs> no yeah, and that is something I feel like creatives sometimes don't the get desperation it. of today hey, imagine sometimes say no you say no enough times then the yes is start flowing if but you're working all, if you're working if you're putting in the work if you're putting true. in the work yes that's true yes mm. if you're putting the work in the work i person could imagine okay now this one mm. managing the creative because mm. now we have a job we agree a client yes. uh, deadline we need video number one by how, yes. how long you guys have said you'll give us a week no problem we we'll give you a week to give us yeah ah mrs kick for your is if kick creative leo <laughs> but <Richie>. inshallah. <laughs> uh, let me tell you that question nimeulizwa mara kadhaa and I, I always give the same answer and sometimes i can tell when i give this answer people are not convinced mm. Richie, let me tell you sele and team are the most professional nice. professional mm. content creators i have ever come across Richie unaonezo stories za working with creatives oh mm. oi anamkangalia kwa na mood six oh kesho hata kifanya let me tell him i never ever experienced that with Timo mm. and the day he would tell me guy i'm not able to send this script the script now to the client for approval please nipatie 2 3 hours i will work on it i knew he had a reason mm. i never never at any point ever experienced this oh uh, uh, creative mood swings. No. Timo and Sele, they always delivered. Mm. They always delivered on time. Akina siye tinashuga kutu juni mabishti zangu. 
I like believe. honest and that's why i say whatever it is that they have now like everything they are, they are they have now everything that's coming their way mm. they have worked for it mm. they have worked for it richard is a time we would have like in a month cuz then timo like we we actually made some we made some good is only a cut let me tell you there's a time in a month we would even have like five clients wow and he's the only person who's doing the creative you know yangu kazi yangu ni raisi unaweza mimi nisha convince client mm. then i throw the ball at nambia kimani kimani <laughs> me i want scripts i want you know yes, like yes. i want these things yes. then mostly ni scripts no scripts si mchezo I came to understand this. I came back and Jose ni kwa naambia kinaambia pole for all the times I harassed you. Well, you did harass them at some point. Yeah. For scripts and concepts and what not because now as a con- as an influencer as a content yep. creator now I understand. <laughs> the, the, like the man guy, Oh my god. Cuz imagine and team would still deliver. Like he would he would still deliver. Mm. Like I don't remember a single day aliamka akasema yeye hafanyi kazi na michoka. Mm atiachana na mimi ama nampigia simu ashiki mm. ama namwambia call time ni 7 am he shows up at 10 am nice let me tell you up until today kimani if the call time is 7 am kimani will be there at 6:30 mm. kimani apo na discipline ya time mm. ingine sijawaiona nice like he's just like they are both very disciplined but that's like, how you get more jobs exactly that cuz if you look at why Timo Kimani Njugush mm. all one same person yes. <laughs> has been a repeat safaricom client yes. it is not just the creative Mm-mm. it is the other work that yes. you put in exactly to the point where now they are like eh umse anaweza fanya hii then the other departments in safaricom hear good things about him they're, they're like, like ah, let's not let's call him to be an ad yes. another one hears let's yes. call him to be an mc yes. another one hears it's yes. because of this Imagine. diligence Imagine. when CTA when I did CTA with him he was on time yes and in fact he was early you're right yes he always shows up way before his call time like atafika tu mapema and that has always been kimani like kimani na discipline ya time na professionalism mm. that one I give him 100% did you as a manager have um, financial advice or yeah. are all of you guys just in the mix Oh, this, you, uh... this thing let me say this thing turned them I'm not sure about and, and in proxy where we into millionaires yes it was like are you hearing those mm-hmm. numbers that we're talking now it's seven figures <laughs> we had six figures what yeah. what 60 gigs <laughs> what zikenda <laughs> zikenda zikenda like i'm being honest it's yeah. those some millions of shillings that were entering accounts yeah. safaricom adverts are not for 250 gigs yeah kionekana kwa tv si pesa mbili i interviewed timo he built his house from what he does yes from the brand yes and let me tell you by the time he, he was the by the time we were buying yes so you asked about if i was like uh, also a financial advisor yes because you see i was a bit older than them and the good thing is that they wow. used to listen wow they are you are older i forgot eh yeah. then like they they actually used to listen and you see we were also their best couple Mm. So actually wana semanga ni um sisi ni baba na mama yao. Hata leo like if you ukisikia tukiongea na sele sele ana nitanga shosho watu gi. Cuz <laughs> like wana semanga we are like we are sisi ni wazazi wengine wao. Mm. So um of course cuz unajua sasa I have a bit more knowledge kido good and experience and experience no, with money and everything nyingi. else mm. so when you see young people making the kind of money they were making lazima tusaidia ni hapa eh hapa we need to have a plan so let me tell you i was in the mid look cuz i knew their friends and my finances mm. i mean you're, I, you're the one who's negotiating i know you're the one negotiating so i know whichever <laughs> money is coming yes. in i knew let me tell you by the time tuliko tunenda kununua shamba hiyo shamba yenye wamejenga saa hizi mm. It only took us two gigs. Ah yeah 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 yeah. Only two gigs. Kununua hiyo shamba na haikuwa pesa kidogo. Mm. Ni hiyo. Mm. Mm. Haikuwa pesa kidogo. Wow. And it only took us a few more gigs to start building that house. What is this doing for you seeing a creative building a house? Kai miamba. Erichi, that's why I think I am unable to manage other people that are not close to my heart because mm. i feel i honestly feel the reason i was able to do 
as in the reason we were able to achieve everything we did achieve when I was managing team in CLA is because I was like it was coming from the bottom of my heart. Mm. Like all I wanted to see was team in CLA succeed. Mm. That's all. Like for me, it was never business. Mm. It was never that I'm doing this because kuna pesa inengia ati nenda indio nipate mshahara. Richie, I honestly believe and I've said this before what wakashanga. I honestly believe I know that even with without a single coin Selena team wali 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 a single coin I would still have done exactly what I did for them. Mm. I believe you. Cuz all I wanted for them was to see them succeed. So let me tell you. Iyo siku ya kwenda cuz you see now the fact that it's business but also it's family ex mm. friendship it's a lot mixed in one we were very much like whatever any time there was a milestone like tulikuwa in the middle mm. abel and i would be in the middle of we would know exactly what is happening at what time yeah, i remember the day when we were board ya shamba and you wanze sasa kufanya transfer ya title wow. i remember the day they got the title i remember the day tulienda kufanya ground breaking Guy. Tukisema, guy, tunanza kujenga. Like, I remember all those moments. For me, I just wanted to see my friends succeed. That's all I cared about. That's so powerful. And I was there because I, I honestly, that whatever I did with Sele and team was a God-given role. Mm. It was a God-given role. And I was there for exactly the amount of time God needed me to be there. Mm. <laughs> Judy. <Yeah. laughs> this city of yours has been Let me ask. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for bringing this up. How do you how do you maintain friendships mm -hmm. in the mix of finances? Number 1. <laughs> <laughs> I would say Richie number 1 is the trust that you talked about. Mm. Very important that knowing and they you know that my intentions are pure like i am here to see you suck. like i want the very best for you mm. that was number 1 number 2 i would say is respect mutual respect for each other and the part mm. we were playing in each other's lives mm. like the part they were playing in my life mm. and the part i was playing in their life like mutual respect and especially when it came to work Mm, do like, your job. Yes. The like understanding by they. Mimi nafanya kazi yangu, wewe fanya yako. Mm. Na kuna kuangushana. You can't let me down. I can't let you down. Mm. Right? And then, number three. <laughs> Nesasema tu, honestly, I think ni God. Because mm. I can't... Like, I, there's nothing special about us. I can't say there was anything special about us. And our friendship. I can't really say... I think tuni God alicheza tuni nizaki. Because mm. let me tell you, at I don't, there was never a point that money ever became a conflict. Wow. The entire three years. Ati tuna nini pesa. And even up until today, because we still, we still function the same, right? So you are together, Jana. Yeah, <laughs> do, yes, <laughs> on the, so. yes, like, and even in terms of work, because sometimes a client will call me, for a campaign, Yanjugush na Abel. By the way, in that, nini, I manage both of them. Mm. Like, si ambiangi sele, sasa hii campaign, we ongea no uki. No. Na, if sele gets a call, wanamataka campaign, Yanjugush na Abel, like, sele handles them both. You know, it's... Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, it has, like, money has never been a source of conflict for any one of us. You know, I think one thing that you left out, mm. and this is just because I've had the privilege of, this is my third CTA yeah. with this. In fact, it's only Sele. Yeah. Sele, we've never maybe had a proper conversation, but yeah. then CTA, the seat has to come. Mm. Even Philo, <laughs> like, like there's, there's yes. just, like, there are, there, are, there are people who I can see them coming. Mm. There's something special about you guys. Do, do you recognize it? First and foremost, understand this, eh? Your friends, and I'll, and, I'll, and I'll come back to this thing, mm. the, the group of friends that you have, yeah. forward-facing, mm. the ones who are known by the public, mm. 
those are some very influential people in this country. Yeah. Like, if you look at who was at your house, just say, who was at your house on Saturday? I was actually at Sele's house. Okay, who was at Sele's house? Yeah. The one that has been built. Yes. By this thing that we are doing called yes. creation. Yes. It was Abel, myself, Tim Sele, Philip, and Butita. Like, just, just listen to those <laughs> names. Yeah. That's in this content creation industry. Mm. Those are the those are the those are the top. Yeah. Those are the people controlling these things. Mm. And now, as individual brands, mm. Sele's brand at this time was yes. not where it is. Right now, it's mm -hmm. your brand at that time wasn't where it is yeah. right now. I think you. I will say also. I will say because I've interviewed them, mm. I can see there's something bottom with that value system. Mm. The way you guys were raised, that I'm saying, okay, you keep in a player part. Yeah. Okay. 2018 is when you start this? Yes, October. Uh -huh. Do you go? So we... I feel like hapo sana sana tu nikazi, nikazi, kazi, yeah. kazi, kazi. Of course now there are milestones in both uh, families. Like I can uh, uh, say that's when they are now buying land to build and they start building. Mm -hmm. There are all these things happening. Uh, on Judy's side, as in the income is, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but hold on, at this time we may join social media when they're there. So, oh, there's a story there. So now, I, as I said, I was the kind of people to post after three months. I was not active on social media. So something uh, interesting starts to happen when I start managing them. Because you see, now we, we used to hang out almost every day Richie we were together. Because mm. we are either shooting or we are either going to see clients for mm. briefing. Like we were always together. Like we hung out almost every day. Mm. I was always with Akina team. Mm. So of course there are social media people and they will do stories, they will do record, they will do this. And in the beginning, Richie, because I was acting, behind the scenes, social media. Sele would uh, remove her phone and start, uh, when she would start recording something in the car, like on our way to the meeting or on our way back home. Na ninge jif, ni kwa na jifiche kuni meyekiti. Niki mwambi, Sele usi nieke kwa hizo stories zako. Sele usi ni tag, Sele usi. But with time, ika kwa, I can't keep. Well, you can't keep hiding. Yeah, I can't keep hiding. So with time, ni kakuwa tu, ah, na kuwa ngatu kwa stories. When I record, but I am there. And then they started talking about their manager. Ni kakuwa oh. sasa ex Judy, who's managing them. Because tu kwa tunashinda, tu kiongi. Actually, that's how even people came to know that about me and talent management. It was just through them. Mm -hmm. But you see, the more they put me in their videos, in their stories, in their whatever it is they're doing, and tagging me. And up. Yes. So you must be getting requests like crazy, oh but then you're just so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> By the time I was starting to work with Tim and Selim, I had less than 10,000 followers on Instagram. Sayuko? Hi. Sayuko was 350,000. <laughs> Just one sec. Take a break right there for one second. Okay. Uh -huh. So how many followers? Uh, right now we are about 340 something, 47, <coughs> 350 k. Okay. So did you and that's only on Instagram. Now we've grown even ah, other yeah, platforms. Yeah, even your like, YouTube. Oh my Have you received God. your silver plaque by the way? I, oh, they say it's on the way. It's on the it's way. Coming. Yeah, because yeah, YouTube you at 104,000, 5,000 subscribers. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. So. Yeah. So what are we talking no, about? No, you're just telling me. So now the, the process of now, this 2018. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. So because of them tagging me and all these things, the numbers now start growing. Mm. So Zina grow, Zina grow, but I remember I kept as asking Abel, ah, what wana ni, wana kuja kuni follow, ni wapati ni. Mimi, I don't, like, I am not a content creator, mm -hmm. I am not an influencer, I feel like I have absolutely nothing to offer. Where are they following me? Wow. Because I rarely even post, like, I don't post. I am a very dormant social media person. Mm -hmm. I have pages, but very dormant mm -hmm. ones. And let me tell you, Richie, they are growing in the thousands. They are not growing at the... No. 
like in a week i have 10000 next ah. week i have 20000 hiyo week ingine like what? the numbers skyrocketed i think in the three months of working with them you can share like 100000 what followers on instagram it was crazy nikwa nashindwa mnanifuata kwa nini nikwa nashinda nikiambia adel babe like what am i supposed to do with these numbers like where are they following like i, I don't feel like i have a, a like I am a very boring person. I don't feel like I have anything to offer them. Why are you posting anything at this time? No. No, like I would really not post. Actually, the thing that used to keep it active was reposting Celeste stories <laughs> when she tags me. <laughs> that was the only thing I used to do and I would post a photo like once in a blue moon, like mm. once in a blue moon. Anyway, so 2018 uh, at 2018 same time. Yeah. Now what happens with you and Mumbusa's relationship? As we are just Because now you're home. Yes, I'm home. Ah, we are. Oh my god. So the one thing I really wanted to do, I had vowed, oh, I am going to make sure see I was coming home to sleep mm. for three months. I had vowed I am going to take her to school every morning. Nice. And then I'm going to pick her from school every evening. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ruma. just to say that never happened. <laughs> Because Kido kido si immediately I started working with yep. Celeste. Yep. Sometimes our call times are at 6 a.m. Mm. because we are going to shoot. Mm. So at 6 a.m. mtoto atapeleka shule sangapi. Anyway, that never happened. But I was happy that I would see her in the morning and I would see her mm. in the evening. That's the only thing I wanted mm. that I am home. Yeah. Like siku hizi isha kama sijamuona. Mm. And we had the best. Ay, 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 ay. I feel like actually that is when now the bond actually now started so it changed your relationship home. yeah okay because you see i wasn't home mm. so we were still close ni mom na mtoto wake yes but i feel like there was a shift after now i came home and i was now home fully like are there any intentional things that you did i if they are there then i did know mm. what i was doing as in yeah I, they were not intentional it's just things that i used to do so but i i made i i would we would like any free time i would get any free day we did, didn't matter if i was just going to run my own errands nikwa na mbeba so we started hanging out together a lot like uh, like ni naenda tu anywhere na tuko na yeye niko tu na mweka wa gari tunaenda i like so we we started hanging out a lot together like yeah as long as she's not in school If, in Bakas kuza shoot sometimes she would just come along mm. tunaenda tunashinda tuna yeye huko tukizurura so we started hanging out a lot like quite often like pamoja tu tunashinda tukizurura mm. and i honestly feel like that that is when they bond we, we we had a bond but you see i was away from home for so long i feel like this is when now the mother daughter <laughs> A relationship proper relationship and even the conversation now started mm. yeah okay mm. that's powerful so just that element of spending time together yes. okay but you see god had given me exactly what i wanted so nitamwangusha kweli nikisema i was praying for time and then now you don't spend time with hey! her <laughs> i'm not even spending time with her yeah and i remember in 20 no 2018 came and went because 2018 was just basically now uh Uh, team NCL Njugush Creatives Limited. Oh, we even formed a company. We actually now got systems in place. Now that those are the, some of the things I started doing. Like nice. Proper invoices, proper, proper way of uh, doing invoicing in quotations, mm. and documentation for reports. There's a template of how we do reports for clients, nini. So I started um, putting in place like systems okay, okay, okay. of how everything was going to work. Mm. So how we used to do it uh, when I first joined them was we would get uh, our crew was freelancing right so we would get um, some work a campaign and then we would now hire people P- production produce yeah. uh, like uh, uh, hire people to come and produce there was le- uh, there's a lady kanitangwa lena well, we call guy kanitangwa ni she's ni mama mzima but well ni bestia nguza to do ya naivo Lena is the person I used to call to come and produce because you see I can't be the one chasing the clients and handling everything and else doing the, the creative and still I'm the one on set producing these uh, the videos and what not so I would, I would call Lena and the crew we would use would be the same crew yeah feel it okay 
Mm. Alafu unaona uzuri feel it kwa na cameras na nini. And they never used to charge us. Mm. They were very mm. good people. It cuz it's a family. So mm. if you have a shoot as long as you're it's booked. not on a shoot day that so the equipment is booked, nini you're free to Kusawa. use a uh, and you see we would still use their crew to come and shoot. Okay. Because there was a rule here, yeah, we, they can, we can't give the equipment to strangers. There's mm. equipment in a, in a quarter handled by the same people that handle the equipment on when it's uh, feel it shooting for their I shows. I get it. Yeah. So I would uh, call a few people, some guy, a camera guy, and an editor. When I come to shoot, I love to lipo per project, mm. right? So that is how we survived. But we put at least iso the accounting, nini, nini, uh, office, kakua, at least kona systems. That was in 2018. Now, come 2019, we, after doing the math, because now work is picking. Like, you can imagine in a month when you have like five clients, and between, like for each client, you have like four or five deliverables, meaning you have like four videos you're producing. Yeah, in yeah. a month, muna kuana videos, kama 20, mm. muna need to produce for clients, different clients. So you see, with that kind of workload, you need a crew that is full-time dedicated. Full dedicated to now Njukush. Now that is the thing that we started working on. Nice. At least as a Tunanza Kukwana. Like internal team. team. Yes, an internal team, such that there is no t particular moment to na to na kazi na kwama articles, to na camera, to yeah. handle your job. So 2019 was about building systems. And that is what we did with Njugosh. And uh, Nini. So by the end of 2019, to a full, like we have employees now, Njugosh Creatives Limited is not only Judy, Njugosh, and Celestine. Now we had an in house editor, in house cameraman, in house soundman, and an in house producer. What? So we had a whole and team equipment. now. No, oh, so by the end of 2019, we bought a camera, a Black Magic. What? Yeah, nini na vitu za sound nini now that we can handle our own productions Production. from A to Z like bila mpaka tume buy HP for editing nini nini mm. like we had a full on like by the way tunafanga sasa sisi tuko tu sawa because <laughs> kazi vile ina kama tuzi kwa tukirela ya kila time yep. nini za feel it and it, we actually realized it was cheaper to do it that way instead yep. of always paying per project. Mm. That you, uh, no, you see per now project, per you video. Salo. Yes, because mm. it was per video. So if you're producing 20 videos, you're paying each one of them for the 20 videos. Mm. So Kifanya Sabi, you realize it's cheaper to, it's a bit more affordable, not cheaper, a bit more affordable to put them on a salo than to pay per, per, per project. Mm. So 2019, that was it. Come 2020, the year. <laughs> <laughs> another transformative yes. year. Yes, hey, that was another year. But as, uh, as, in it, as it was said, because it was the reality, as the rest of the world was was in panic about work and career and everything that was happening, for the influencers, Sisi Kazitu do Ilishika proper. Let me answer. Hey! Now, this is what I took a stand up. Kimani, you're, you're not a stand up comedian. What? Because he was not a stand up comedian. Yeah. Njugush was not a stand up comedian. Yeah, he wasn't. Njugush was an actor. Njugush is an actor. Mm. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. The year twenty twenty. So now, uh, come twenty twenty, and of course, see the first few months. Eh? Yeah, the first two three months of the year. In endelea poa to merudi hustle. Oh 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 oh, and then COVID happens. But before COVID, the kurudisha nyuma kidogo. Because by the time, so it's the beginning of the year, and there's something we used to do. No, eh, hey, there's a big part in my job. Okay. Hey, to Rudy, 2019. Mm-hmm. Was that when we did the first GTMT? Oh, yes. yes. It was it 2019? It was 2019. 
Yes, it was 2019 because you're going to do the second one in 2020. Yes, for COVID. COVID. Yes. yes. So you still manage them at this time? Yes. Wow. Yes, I'm still managing them because we've been here for three years. So we've been here since 2021. We've been here since So 2019. So the whole of 2018. Uh, of course, as a manager, your your other role is to foresee the future mm. for this brand, right? Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> you need to be there for us yeah <laughs> like the person seeing where this brand is is going mm. where is this brand going because we are here now but what does the future look like for this particular brand so over time and uh, over our conversations there's something that tim used to mention a lot and he used to say i would like to do what i do comedy but on a on a bigger scale mm. but that bigger scale was never it was it wasn't something he he didn't know exactly what that big scale means like what did so e big scale ni nini exactly he just knows anataka kufanya big exactly mm -hmm. and ajua tu anataka kufanya he needs to do something bigger with this particular uh, comedy thing but it wasn't very clear what this thing would be because you see Zile vitu, easy short clips zanya na create vitu zina kanika vines mm. nini nini on a big scale what, what is that hiyo ni ni play kwa theater ama <laughs> na kumbuka mm -hmm. he's pioneering yes so it's not that he has an example no. of what somebody has done with mm -hmm. this from mm -hmm. digital to offline yes mm. and i Powerful. remember us wow. having conversations za so what so this big thing in unataka is it the same thing that you're doing online the short clips and whatnot but on a bigger stage because mm. you see when you think about it like that the thing that comes to mind is theater mm, yes. right mm, mm. it's either a play you know mm. something of that kind mm. but for kimani see theater yeah mm, mm. kisema kitu see theater and then i remember siku moja actually tulikuwa tumekiti kwa meza tunakula breakfast one of those early mornings tumepatana to discuss two stories a job he says he's thinking of doing comedy uh, i mean stand up mm he na sisi wote tukamwangalia mimi na sisi tunamwangalia tunashin wa stand up kimani you're not a stand up comedian what because he was not a stand up comedian yeah. jugush was not a stand up comedian yeah he wasn't jugush was an actor jugush is an actor mm. so ana sema anataka kufanya stand up like hey. the stand up that i know of course the only nini we knew back then was churchill Yes. In Churchill show na zile vitu wanafanya unaona stand up comedians wakienda kuchekesha watu. We are like but the format, your format. Like what we know Jugush is about and as a brand is is skits. Mm. So stand up in India. So, so you guys <laughs> weren't also seeing this thing. No, we were not seeing. <laughs> I knew there's something we could I knew I in my head I knew. Like we need to move this brand to the next level and whatever this next level is has to be like an event villona mm. manga mm. offline mm. see online mm. it had to be offline mm. but nilikuwa najaribu kufiga what is this nini because you see he had never been a stand up comedian i get it jugush had never done stand up tunamjua na skits anyway so ana sema stand up and you are like okay okay you're a comedian and we know you unatuchekeshanga huku vibaya sana hata kwa nyumba unatuchekeshanga so maybe there is something there maybe there is something there but what team doesn't know at that particular point when he said it he said it as a by the way what kimani said it as a by the way like he didn't like alisema yale kwa anasema ni kitu anataka ku accomplish in the next two years three years so he said it as a by the way who is in the room at this, this time? This is it's just myself and uh, Celestine. So, okay. So he said it as a by the way. So me what do I do as a manager? Me nishaona. Oh, nishaona. Okay. So that is your line of thought. And I was like, okay. Okay, let's see what he can do. I go home and talk to Abel about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, babe, team anataka kufanya stand up. Like a stand up show, an event. 
si online event like aita watu wakuje waketi wafanye stand up awachekeshe Abel akanembia ah you inaweza you see Abel is from that world because mm -hmm. even himself he, he dance, he dance stand, stand up, up yes so akasema ah you inaweza hii inaweza unajua stand up ni script mm. tunamwandikia tu script kali tunaka chini tunapanga script inaweza Wow, Abel saw it. Yeah, so I was like, ah, yeah. So when he said it, I was like, so it's something we can do. And he was like, yeah. Niki tutuneza fanya. Like, kuna amini niki tutuneza do. He was like, yes. I was like, ah, okay, say no more. Mimi umeambia mtu wa logistics. Mimi what I understand, I don't understand stand up. But I understand make it happen. But I understand how to make it happen. How to actualize that dream. And this is where now... Um, one Mutoni Aseda mm. comes into the picture. Because, mm, 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 mm. so I have the conversation with Abel. I go, I go back to Tim and say, I told them, you know what, we are going to actualize this thing. Tim kwanza na panic. Do you want to say, Mami, I'm going jokes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This distraction. Anyway, don't worry, it's the last one. <laughs> God is real. Faith is real. God is real. Mm. So the reason why we randomly cut is because something again happened. Mm. This city of, Jude, of Judea has been a bit, the word is miraculous. I've been telling Aizo and Waimai here and even Judy that we are in the heart of a miracle. Eh? Mm. We are in the center of a miracle as it is happening. Mm. And if, and we need to be aware of it. Yeah. Uh, this miracle is not just for your mother. Mm. It is for you. It is for me to see. It is for Wamai and Aizo to be here. Mm. So why do I say this? Because as we are doing today's shoot, as we are coming to do today's shoot, somebody called me uh, and they said that they'd like to be a part of Soft Life for Mama Judy. Soft Life for Mama, Judy. Mama Judy. Mama Julie, Mama Julie, <laughs> Julie, if you, if you know, if you, if you yeah. know, you know. <laughs> yeah. uh, and they said, this is, this, this is how powerful this thing is becoming. They said they don't even want to be known. Mm, they said they don't, they don't want their names mentioned. Yes, either. because this is not about them. Mm. So I told them, no problem, come attacker, you can come and give it to her in the shoot mm. today. And the reason why we stopped is because they just came. Yeah. Now I'm a patia. Kabahasha there. Okay, Mandy, come on, Mama Judy. Eh? Excellent, Mama Judy. Can you see Mama Judy? 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 Can you see Mama <laughs> so me, yes. we've just course. going to stand in the balcony and wonder what is going on. That's what we've done actually. To mend the two about because Mama, because I don't. As in, I, I'm like, what is this? Like, what is happening, Richie? I don't know. <laughs> but I know we are going to get to two million. If I if I needed encouragement to believe that. That is it. That is encouragement. The 1,000s and 2,000s have been given, have been multiplied in the same day. What? I say that to tell you to have faith mm. in whatever situation that you're going through in your life. Any God has interrupted CTA today so that we can tell you, believe and have faith. Yeah. Your, the tangibility of the faith is already over 700,000. Over. Yeah. Nabado. Because I'm Pesa Bado in a Tetemesha. Bado in a Tetemesha too. Okay. Glory to God. God is amazing. Yani, we just had to put... This is behind the scenes. Like in here we said we have to share it with you. Yeah. And to the person who has given, 
God Thank you. you. The person who's given two shillings, God, God bless you. The same, you see what I say? Yeah. It's no difference in how grateful you are with the person who's given two shillings. Yes. Tundelena is story, TTNT. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Man, hey, but Richie, God bless you. Man, that's all, like, that's all I can say. Like, just God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God mm. bless you. Anyway, TTNT. Too much to read the stories answer before to quit derailed. So now, <laughs> um, so I have I so I talked to Abel, and he's like, yeah, we can do it. I mean, kwani mm. konini. See, to jaribu to one kama ni kitu tunesa mani kitu atwezi. So I go back to Sele and team and I tell them, okay, so this stand-up thing, we are going to do it. Other people believe in ourselves more than we believe in ourselves. Mm. So I had this idea of doing a stand-up. But remember, I've never done stand-up. But I kept asking myself, when I'm called to MC, what am I doing? I'm giving jokes, standing up. Mm. <laughs> stand-up comedy, honestly. <laughs> it's only that it's not structured. Mm. It's basically what that I... Now so what do you want to check? When you're called to MC, hey, all you're doing is giving jokes, jokes but suddenly you're going to stand up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're not any joke. And, and the reason why I'm saying maybe layman is because there were set rules of how stand-up comedy is done. Mm. There are some people who knew how stand-up is done. And when I, 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 I tried selling those ideas, it's also very risky to sell ideas to some people who might not be able to incubate your ideas. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I tried telling guys, because eh, they've been there, Bro, I think it's going Hey, hiyo ni ngumu. Unajua sasa si kama hii yenyu. Hii yenyu hata tukikai tuseme, "Hey, hii ni nini naanguka?" Hiyo ni joke. But unajua stand up comedy ni kitu ngumu. Oh, wana kuna like, courage already. Hey, so I'm like, "Hey, is yangu." So I go back to Sele and team and I tell them, "Okay, so this stand up thing we are going to do it." And I'm thinking we we uh, like book the date now. Like hmm. we schedule for it now. Let's just schedule for it. Afu tujue, tuji, tupange tu tujue what's gone, uko mbele kutaenda aji. Yep. And has, as I had mentioned, this is now when Mudoni Aseda comes into the picture. Because mm. Mudoni had worked with both Abel and uh, Njukush and uh, Safaricom, uh, Blaze. Oh. Yes. Okay. So Mudoni was one of the uh, people managing the event and was actually also in charge of the artists. Okay. So they had worked together very well mm. for maybe like two years before now, this, the 2019, uh, and uh, 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 Blizz. So of course, when the conversation came, nanini, nanini, me, I had never done events. I didn't, it's not a world I understood. Mm. So I knew the only way to do this thing and to actualize it is maybe find out partner, like find somebody who understands the event world, someone we can partner with for mm. this particular uh, show. Also someone akuja tuambie kama ni kukuta tunaota ama like if this is something you can actually do or not. So I remember we booked a meeting with um, Mudoni and this, was, this is now uh, uh, team uh, Njukush, uh, Sele and myself. And we went and met uh, Mutoni mm. somewhere on Gong Road. I think at Elikwat Cafe Bale at the junction. Mm. So we sat down and we explained to Mutoni what it is that you were thinking of doing. But you see, sisi tunajua tu tunatakufanya stand up. Mm. Anything else beyond that, we don't know. <laughs> sisi tunajua tu, we want to do a show. And of course, uh, there are people coming, live bodies, waketi, njigusha wachekeshen. So she listens to what we had to tell her, and she li she's like, okay, it's, it's, it's something we can do. It's doable. Tuneza fanya. And let me tell you, just like that, plants za, mm. titi and tizi kanza. Jugush has told this story on CTA, so I don't want to tell it. Uh, and, the watch. and the watch CTA Ka. and Jugush. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to uh, just cut to the uko musho musho. So anyway, the event tunapanga na inaweza na inakuwa, it was, when was, it was on Valentine's, February, mm -hmm. uh, 2019, February 14th, on Valentine's Day at Garden City. But let me tell you, Richie. Hey, unawana vile tulisa mamaisha inakuanga? 
What I can say right now is I'm so happy. And we actually we actually say we it was that event was meant to happen exactly the way it did. I agree. Because there were less there were so many lessons learned from that event. And it is because of that event na vile tulijichocha and we did it in a big way nini 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 that's the reason why TNT has become what it is no. until today mm. otherwise tungekosa kufanya hivyo mm. hatungekuwa tume build hiyo show ikafika mahali imefika sasa yep. hizi so anyway go watch city and gosh but that was now for me i was that was one of my proud, proudest moments because now I had elevated the brand we had elevated the brand jugosh to something new like to a completely new level and now we had also discovered a new way to make money in fact i want as as a digital enabler mm. that was the first time that i was seen mm. a person mm. migrate yes this eyeballs mm. and this v thing that people call views yes to people to bums on seats yes. to bums on seats yes. and bums outside been stopped by the security yes. because it was too full mm. it was the first time you're seeing yes. this um transition mm. from aya this online people Imagine. so this our live live so let me say this mm -hmm. ben psycho mm. uh, juice party yeah. cta offline thing coming yes. soon <laughs> and uh, the thing crazy kenai mm, is doing mm. if we had never seen jugush do this Next. we mm. wouldn't know it's possible, it's possible on this level that's true that's mm. a hundred percent true actually i was telling him not, uh, let me take that back not mm. just jugush mm. jugush and sele because that's, that's the first time yes i was like who yes. is this other brand imagine And so, uh, so for that was in 2019 February. So immediately after now TNT, we were we used to do like our um, what are they called the meetings you do early in the year to now plan retreats. The, yes, 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 yes. Strategy yes, meetings. Exactly, strategy meetings. That's the word. And for this particular one, because we were so proud of ourselves with TNT, we there were tears, serious tears, Se some serious tears with TNT. Like serious tears, Richie, because mm. we did a show, but we went home broke, mm. and it's not broke. Like broke na madeni, mm. you get. Na shuli komeja. E na shuli komeja. So there were some hard lessons that we learned from that event. Some very crucial lessons, mm. but they were very hard. Millions hard. were owed. Let's be sh let's be clear. Yes, about this. like we were in in that end let me be very specific because at the end of the day you see it was an jugush and sele event yes it was ni event and jugush so as much as even us as the friends to look at many pockets that was kaisha because everybody had given kila kitu yenye ungepeana the full burden the real burden wow we really do like one i feel and especially after because now you're broke 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 and you still owe people money like it was crazy so there were some serious tears like some machozi serious na hiyo show success and failure all at once combined and very extreme yes like on both like on both extremes you feel any failure and a success ni success but you're feeling them on equal measure it was crazy so what was it if i may ask was it uh, the feasibility study was done wrong lack of sponsorship eh. make it or make it we need to do this event so there was that that was a big part of it eh, the feasibility uh, study thing was also a very big part of it mm. and the lack of actually everything that you've mentioned because you see it was the first time jugush was doing stand up so even going to pitch to even the same same clients that he had been working with walikuwa shanga jugush na stand up but atukujui na stand up and it was the first this time. offline thing has exactly. never been done exactly it was the first time a creator an influencer was doing a gig of that size like it was Ooh. unheard of before jukush so kulikuwa na hizo like it was just a mix of so many elements but nasemanga it was we were meant to do it exactly like that mungu na feel mungu alikuwa ameipanga tu 
tuifanye exactly like that this one that they recently did just to fast forward he mm. liko profit ah <laughs> my god <Ay. laughs> it was real tears ah, of joy <laughs> it was real tears of joy <laughs> <laughs> ah, this one they made some good money. Mm. Ali and home na mfuko mzuri. But are you seeing? Mm. You hear celeb- you are here seeing people mm. but you don't know the back end. Yes. Lakini yes. ilikuwa meja watu. Na mimi nilikuwa nalipa 1000, 2000 ilikuwa me sold out. 2000 times times what thing happy? Are you need 4 million? Yeah. Yoni sound too. Peke yake. Peke yake is not on. Ongeza kitu kingine hapo na mtu yoni stage peke yake. Hata kuna kitu kingine umeongeza hapo. So TNT was uh, was something else. Anyway, uh, so we go on our um, retreat strategy meeting. But now we've added another member to this family. Now we've added Noni. Mm. Cuz you see now TNT is now like a, a whole new department under Njugush Creatives Limited. And we needed somebody who understood that world and that person was Noni. So Noni now became a member of Jukush Creatives Limited. Mm. And this strategy meeting now we are going as the four of us now. So there is Jukush, Celestine, Judy and Mothoni. And also something we had uh, started doing in 2018 was I had started um, building Sele as a brand away from Jukush. Mm. Like we were trying to kill Wakavinyi. And also something we had uh, started doing in 2018 was I had started um, building Sele as a brand away from Njugush. Mm. Like we were trying to kill Wakavinyi. Oh. Cuz Njugush was Wakavinyi. Sele uh, I mean Sele- Celestine was Wakavinyi. Yes, she was. Celestine wasn't Celestine. Yes. Like Celestine was Wakavinyi and you see Wakavinyi is an Njugush. Like Wakavinyi hakuwa a, a brand by herself wakavinye could only exist under jukush wow 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 you're yes. judging me so in 2018 ikaanza kuambia celestine nataka pole pole slowly by slowly i want us to start killing wakavinye i want us to start building celestine and the reason for this iso is because wakavinye was limited hmm like Wakavinye was a l- very limiting brand in terms of the Wakavinye would only get work through Njugush. Mm. Wakavinye the way the brand was 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 there is no way angepata jobs directly from clients is Wakavinye. Yes. Cuz Wakavinye only existed within Njugush. Yes. But I was like but I could see the potential. Like I could ni kwa anaangalia Selena una so much potential. And you see let me tell you if there are influencers and content creators who are lucky when it comes to uh, the money side of this thing that we do is is uh, our women's brands mm. like as a woman because yep. me i can sell a million and one thing uh, exactly <laughs> like this is to so many products that we can advertise so that is what i was saying for celestine but i knew it was not going to come through akavinyi So people needed to start seeing Celestine For as a brand is. away from Jugush away from Wakavinyi. Wow. And I also realized that Celestine was not exactly a comedian. Mm. Celestine was only a comedian. Wakavinyi Celestine ex Wakavinyi was a comedian. Yes. And Wakavinyi was a comedian because of Jugush. But Celestine is not a comedian. Celestine had so much to offer mm. away from e comedy na nini na nini. So 2018 nikaanza kumpush, nikaanza kumwambia now we need to start you we need to start seeing you creating content by yourself away from and I remember oh my god tulikuwa tuna fight na Celestine. For real. Yes. Ah, tulikuwa tuna fight when I shanga what are you trying to tell me? And you see cuz you know this is another level and with every new level just it's, net, it's our nature as human beings it demands a different kind of view mm. and it's a bit uncomfortable before yep. you get the hang of things mm. so i think that is what was happening with Sele cuz i would push her to create content by yourself now i'm be stuck with a team for your video 
Like if it's your content, it's your content. You need to start thinking of okay, Celestine okay, away okay, from. Okay, okay. So now this strategy meeting of 2019 was to officially launch Celestine as a brand away from Njugosh. And the way we were planning to do it was by introducing Celeste Reflection. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> By the way, Judy, yeah. we don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> this mind of yours is crazy. Yeah, because now um, we, we needed to find a way and still tying in the entire family together. Mm. Associate una separate yes. families. So even Celeste's reflection was going to sit on Njigushi's YouTube channel. Mm. Is YouTube channel? Mm. Yeah. Apple two and uh, Njigushi's YouTube channel, we're just going to have to create a new segment for Celeste Reflection. So there you sit and you just talk to us. But the, it was literally, talk to us. Because now you're a mother. Mm. Like you're, you're a whole, you're a new uh, human being. Mm. Like who is Sele? Like we needed to know who is Sele. So it's just, katu, leo nataka kutuongelesha juya nini? Tuambie about something that has happened with the baby. Mm. Just talk to us. We need to know, we need to know who Celestine is, away from Wakavinyi. Wow. And that is how we started building now Celestine, the brand. So, you could, you could see that Wakavinyi, in terms of Njugusha's videos, mm. people were liking that character. Yes. People, it's not even Njugusha, yes. they were not interested what anymore. Yes, what You get, but now it had been limited yes. to only one small perception exactly. of her. yes. So, can you remember the first time you got her to shoot video? Yes, it was immediately after um, that strategy meeting. And actually during that strategy meeting was the first time we got a call about COVID. You and you, the first COVID yes. cases in Kenya, that same day Kaki. when you were in Mayan. Yes. So, what do we do? And it was just <laughs> the first day of our strategy meeting. Anyway, we decided to stay because <laughs> we, we had gone to Mayan by then. We mm. decided, ah. Wacha tutukai, kwa ni hiko nini, tutajua vile, tutajua hey, kwa ni hiko nini. Yeah. <laughs> so it was immediately after that strategy meeting that we end home. Mbaka we identified a space for her where you will be sitting and from there you just talk to us. We bought a tripod, because now you see these other machines. Yes. Are mm. We bought a tripod, we made sure she had a good phone. We bought the ka microphone. Mm. Tuka mbaye hizo, tuka mbambia sasa. Every week. You have to talk to us. At least we need one episode every week on YouTube. And let me tell you, Richie, hata tu kumaliza two months, brands zilenza kupiga sasa for Celestine. Not wakazi, not njigush. Like Celestine, now they are calling because, oh, kuna diapers, uh, kuna pampers, wanataka kuwak na Celestine. Oh, wow, kuna wow, sijuye, wow, I don't know which wow, soup wow, they want to wow. work with Celestine. But you see, it's because now they can see. Yes. In fact, oh, let so me she's ask, yeah, let me ask you, mm -hmm. How did the audience receive oh, this so human now? They was so, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was actually let me tell you, before that, these kids that Jugush na nina nini do zilikwaz na postiwa po zinaenda. Let me tell you, once we started Celeste Reflection, Ilanza Kukwandio top performing. What? Yes. Because now people started understanding. They actually met Celestine. Mm. So Celestine Ninani. And they and that that was it for Celeste. And that is now how Sele wa Range Rover. <laughs> Namuita Sele wa Range Rover. <laughs> yeah, Sele wa Range Rover. Sele the brand. So, their household income mm. started getting another income. Exactly. So now this one is earning, this one is earning. Because before then, it was one street. And you, you, ma you are managing both now? I was managing So both. now you're getting calls for Sele? <laughs> yes. But now... Because they had started coming towards uh, 2018, uko musho musho, nikanza kufeel, hey, it's quite a lot. Kukuwa na nini za njikush na bado za sele at the same time. So when we... the phone calls were a lot? Yes. And then when you have work for both of them, sometimes even meetings inanza kukolide, nini, you need... Yani, her brand grew like need. that. Yes. So when uh, we worked with Mudoni and she did TTNT, Afterwards, you are like, wow, she's actually good at what she, she's doing. Like, she actually seems to know. Mm. So when we went for a strategy meeting, our plan was to now induct <laughs> Noni officially yes. as a, ne a member of Njigush Creatives Limited, uh, heading the, uh, the events uh, department. Mm. But while we are there, 
tukasema kwa events unaona hazikuji every so often ngia management eh hey, we were like uh, manage celestine like when is eh hey, like you can manage celestine so but also for noni we had to go through the same process of now orientation and introducing her to the digital space and how management you see because she was Zuko good with the brand right now she's and she even managing weeks yeah she's managing weeks as hey, i noni is managing everybody on these streets <laughs> yeah she's she's oh she's yani yeah, she's she's good. on top of also doing events exactly so um so we had to go through the because just like myself noni was good in the stories events i can understand your industry but peer for her the digital space and influencing Clueless. and what not so we had to do the orientation again with her but she took off and aka kwa sasa yeye ndiye ana manage sale jobs za sale na kila kitu you talk to noni wow so when i tell you my friend and come now 2020 2020 influencing took off oh my god so for you covid is not a, is not a no it's not a deep it was it blew up over covid exactly it was not a deep ni mkurugenzi hata mkurugenzi was born oh, yes. during covid <laughs> Yeah so for uh, people on the digital space wow 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 our wow, nini is wow. just yani we uh, you know everybody now came to online, online. Yes. everybody was advertising mm. like every business was purely now yeah. online yep so sisi we mwa kazi yetu iliendelea vizuri sana actually i remember the first day immediately we got to myan like this because we tulikuwa tumetoka mapema so we were there like 10 am we sat down had breakfast the first call actually the person who actually informed us about covid cases and what not it was um the marketing manager of detol back then she she was calling for a campaign a hand washing because covid ah, yeah, 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 so yeah, it yeah. was right like we need you to create content now like jobs lianza hivi this is day one of covid like <laughs> day one of, of jobs COVID. yes Wow wow wow. She was like wow. no wherever you are do you know even she sent uh, they were like mko wapi na nyuki. Okay tuna tuna call uh, duka za nini hapo tutumane rider alete mpaka mayan the products so that we are able to create content. Kai, 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 yes. kai, kai. So covid the covid, covid year was good for us. From a business perspective. From a business perspective. And you see that's also the time now Mkurugenzi was born. Yes, but it wasn't good for Abel because production imekwama so it, in so the beginning for abel that year was just a mix of <laughs> highs and lows highs and lows <laughs> cuz now biashara imefungwa feel it office closed and they were in the middle of production hmm. so kila kitu ile come to a stand still cuz said surely social distancing hmm. it is the first place to kuambia nyinyi mfunge kwanza muende nyumbani hmm. and you see if there's no one coming kwani pesa zinakuja Okay 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 okay. Na kuna pesa zinakuja yes. cuz that office is a uh, your production pia hizo zimefungwa. So there's no money coming and they were they, they were actually smack in the middle of a project and there's a, a good down payment like a good chunk mm. yeah do what you can expect. But after covid mpaka office zifungwe wanasema now the offices they can't pay and there's no production going on. Okay 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 okay. Yeah. okay. So here a lot of business yes. on this other side no don't worry homie i got you yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah cuz for uh, so there was that and see that is how now we came about as mkurugenzi came about cuz yes. well it wasn't mkurugenzi see tuko tunaenda kuchapa story so how did it i want to hear it from your version so how did we this come so now yes. what happens you close now you now you're working but you i'm realizing you didn't stop working in fact you didn't anything, stop working you got more busy yes we got more busy and you see now cuz for content creation in social media it's not like i have 50 people with crew exactly yeah it's just a very small crew so we were able to still uh, get together and shoot and then what one end home mm. on nini zote cuz we would do masks nini we would be like five people on set yeah. so with that one you can manage Yep. to still continue uh, working because clients are coming now kila mtu ana advertise online so so the rate can go up uh, no it didn't go up it just i go think back. also cuz kuna felix in uh, time uh, of crisis as actually okay at <laughs> wezi so we didn't know the rate card was, was ile, just ile. the same rate card that we were using before wow yeah but now uh, so uh, we are done with nanyuki we come back to nairobi and of course we've got jobs so sisi tuko busy hapa na pale but i remember uh, kulikuwa na tulipofanya job ya detol then kukanyama za kidogo cuz i think that is when now everybody was uh, reworking <laughs> yeah. yeah so there was a, a bit of silence i think for like a month before now things 
started picking again. Mm. So e month in things are silent. This is when now we are having Mukuru is in the house and to chapia my story me na mumbus. Because every time by the it was not a, like when he says he was chapai as in he was telling us stories, he would do that. Na kwanza alikuwa ananza na mumbus. Alianza ngatu ivo jokes na mumbus. So e month in things are silent this is when now we are having mukuru is in the house and at chapi ama story me na mumbus because every time by the it was not a, like when he says he was chapai as in he was telling us stories he would do that na kwanza alikuwa ananza na mumbus alianza ngatu ivo jokes na mumbus i said mumbus do you know i have one aka afu mumbus used to enjoy but ni bwana said moyo mtoto wako ana kuchocha tu because she used to enjoy just sitting with the dad and listening to him tell tell stories and now everyone has time yes and now we have time so tunakana tupacha pia hii story leo kesho natacha pia story nyingine nini so after like two weeks uh, into covid yenye sasa kila mtu tuko like everybody is literally at home i'm like babe See, to talk to twende like twende to to chape like let's go record a story mm. but it was for it was literally Richie, it was literally for fun. Like it was n whatever Mukurugenzi is, is right now was never, <laughs> never anywhere in our plans. Yeah. Since we were just going to record that one story, we, we, were, we were actually trying to kill time. Because mm. you're bored in the house. Like we were bored. So we were like, ah, Nikambia, babe, let's go record one story. Tunde tutu kai mahali tu chape story moja tu record because everybody is now is online mm. to entertain to us. But this it was purely for entertainment purposes. And that is the one day that he carried a stool, two stools, three stools actually. Zakuwa ngapo zimestakiwa kwa nyumba. One stool ni yake ya kukalia. Two of the stools ni za ku prop because yes. atuna ta tripod mm, yeah, ni mount camera eh yeah, ni ku mount camera so one stool then ni nyingine tu ndio tufike height yake ya kikiti because we don't we don't even have a tripod yeah. and some books tuko na beba mpaka books za mumbus za kusaidia ku prop camera i wish we had a picture ya hiyo <laughs> kuliko ngana picha bahali ya hiyo that one day apo near the shooting range apo kirigiti and we record the story and we post the story in the following morning it has 100,000 views what and the comments were crazy it was it was crazy na sasa kila mtu anauliza okay ingine na sasa yuko instagram ni instagram peke yake instagram peke yake so anasema okay nikamwambia ah babe ona vile watu wamefurahi tuna tu record ingine cuz like if there's anything we have now is time yeah. like and it used to be fun because we would go all of us mm. so it also felt like ni time to ya ku bond mm. tu kwa nje mm. tunaenda tu tunazurura because we used to zurura with the car until tuone place yenye oh hapa tunaweza set up tunasimama tunaweza <laughs> yes, because up. i wondered where did you get even set up even in the tea plantations za noko tigoni yeah. like we would just drive around <laughs> until tuone place away from noise barabara nini mahali ya watu wapiti ya watu tusumbua and then we would just park and uh, mount our stools and then do the recording we did that for the first three stories before sasa watu watuambia hapana youtube these stories need to be longer twende ni youtube and then you could upload youtube and that is how mkurugenzi was born and at this time are you thinking oh my god this what are no. we doing from jugush can no. you are not thinking like that no sisi kwetu we are killing time it covid to go home let's kill time we have time wacha tu twende cuz honestly it is it kwa tunaenda kujibamba ngetuona hapo tukibai tu soda ama tu juice mm. nini tu biscuits tunaenda tindi tu snacks tu kukula tuko na sema dadi akituambia story sisi tunakula huko nyuma na mumbus <laughs> <laughs> like we were literally rich just having a good time wow we had time so ah uh, let's just do something so pure fun. it was so pure this was never the plan this This like full time games, career. <laughs> it was never, this movement never anywhere in our plans. Wow. Yeah. So, of course, Sanjugush, 
na mkurugenzi but you see mkurugenzi the whole of 2020 ni stories to na youtube nini nini mm. even if their clients ni moja moja tu mm. but from kuru it didn't pick up until now the following year from 2021 kuendelea huko okay cuz you see now it's growing cuz in a month he had 100,000 subscribers yep. was it in a month or two months mm, something like that yeah Yeah so the numbers are growing are growing in yeah my story is in And you you're not story. thinking oh my god kuna kitu hapa So let me tell you after we hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube that you your time lens are kuna oh okay 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 maybe there's something here Yeah, <laughs> yeah but can I be very honest with you Abel was not for it Like at monetizing at making man kwa mbe babe mimi najibamba tu like wacha tu tujib like for him he was like tujibambe tu okay, okay, okay. like him he was doing it purely mm. cuz he was enjoying it mm. like he was enjoying it kukaa tu hapo chini apige watu story ya jibambe okay. like he was just doing it cuz an ana ina mjaz tu mm. na tulifanya videos mob za simu i think hata kufika by 100k bado tuko na record tu na simu my samsung it was a samsung s9 plus Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So, record, so we would make sure at least once every week to record with you. This is crazy. Yeah. Hivyo tuna tembea tembea tembea. Kidogo tukapata venue hapo Elisen it was like when it was Elisen back in the day. Now I think no it, it is still there is Elisen resort on Kimbu Road. Mm. Hao ndio walikuwa the first people kutupatia grounds as in space ya kwenda tu kushoot huko kwa nyasi mm. mm. tunakaa mtu tuna set up tuna shoot vitu zetu but it time yote ni simu and then uh, that is where our clients started coming because i remember our first client was techno na techno alikuja akalipa pesa i was like ah. <laughs> but you see now here i'm not starting from scratch yes now here i know red cards nini 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 mm. so mm. i know how to do this thing mm. i know how to negotiate mm. Eh hey, remember there was the first client walikuja wakapatia it was one video Abel hakuwa naamini hakuwa naamini because we did one video on YouTube on, on Instagram it wasn't even a YouTube video one video on Instagram and I think a static post and he was given 350,000 Kenyan shillings wow 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 he was wow. like what <laughs> like he could not believe it <laughs> like nafanya tu hivyo na napewa pesa kama hizo it was crazy money mm and for him sasa kutoka yote mnikamwa mimi sasa utanikubalisha ni monetize kitu he was like yeah but for a long time we couldn't interfere the clients walikuwa na come tunawaambia you can't interfere with our mm. youtube platform stories mm. nini nini which i like that yeah like no 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 like even if we decide to do something for you you have to follow mm. the format of the show yep Yeah like we are not telling there people we are not there telling people bye 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 no we mm. don't do that I remember I it called him I called him during that time the story. exactly yes like lazima iko inaingiana na story mpaka hata hu realize yes. kuna product inauzwa exactly and that is the one thing he has maintained up until today yani. Abel is so protective of his YouTube channel by the way zile kazi amekata ni mingi sana yep. kwa zile amefanya za YouTube Because you see you can't if you are a client and you're coming to us you have you can dictate mm. how we're going to do this thing on our platforms we understand how our platforms work we yep. understand best and actually we also understand our best audience. how to incorporate you. your product yep. into the videos that you are producing but if you come and start to dictate then so what did this do for you i mean i, I know as you've be, you've, you've throughout this whole journey that you've been sharing yeah. you've seen your husband be famous mm. but now this was now another level and this was another this level was of him famous. individual yes. people it, it's it's not he's he's an actor it is <laughs> him being his authentic self yeah now he's abel mutua it's not freddy yeah 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 after he die it's abel mutua it was crazy richie i mean <laughs> vitu zime happen yani sometimes i didn't like 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 when i sit to think mm. there's no i don't know how to put it into words I you know like you. how you can't you're not able to explain something cuz mm. i don't know where is it make up vitu mm. you can't you can't so now come 2021 mukurugenzi is also now 
It has become a household name. <laughs> no, kila mtu anajua. It was that Mugenzi. name given by the people. Yes. So Abel used to call his people. Na it was not you know how you know Abel in the way he talks yes, right yes. atakuja kuulize boss akuja exactly. kuambie mm. ah mkubwa akuja yes. kuambie hey, hey, evo so eh, when you, he was telling his stories alikuwa anasema ah wakurugenzi unajua yes. like evo like he wasn't, alize, it wasn't, it wasn't like intentional like he didn't sit down and accurate it yes. eh ati natafuta jina no ni kitu alithrotu And then in the comments watu wakaanza kusema eh hey, ametwita mkurugenzi ah, ametwita wakurugenzi so wewe ni mkurugenzi and that was it kai 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 i love the natural authenticness yes. of this brand like inaika kwa hivyo sasa inaika kwa sasa wao ni wakurugenzi yeye ni mkurugenzi na kuna tukurugenzi kai <laughs> kai so that time bim kurugenzi is not in the east. sasa bim kurugenzi came about evo Yes. Eh, yes, watu wakaanza kuniita tu bi mkurugenzi. And mubus? Kakurugenzi. So, bi mkuru ili come to you naturally. Na ni wase tu walianza kunini. Because of course he's giving stories exactly, about you. Exactly, eh. So he kaanza tu comments watu wanasema na bi mkurugenzi yako and it became a whole thing. Na sasa mubus wakiongelea mubus walikuwa wanauza na kakuru kako kakurugenzi. This is when I knew mm. you've left the building. Mm. So it's COVID. Mm. 99% of the live streams that were being done in, during COVID. Yeah. It was me in the back end yes. from Yashinsky, Juliani, yes. Joakali name it. Yes. It was me literally doing them. Yeah. Which by the way having information is good. Yeah. Because all I was doing was premiering videos. <laughs> <laughs> But you Imagine, see people you used there. to pay me yes. to, to they give me a video mm. I upload and I just set it as a premiere. Na sisi hapo tunaona maji. Oh my boy. god. He did it like how is he doing it on multi platforms? Yes. Though Instagram I was I had a, I had a way I was doing mm. it. So maybe even that's why it was it was whatever. Yeah. But it was it was it was crazy what you can do with information. Yeah. But I say that because Kilam to Saudi Soul everybody was chasing on not that many active live streams. Yeah. Then you guys did your live. Mm. With all the problems or whatever all the yes. successes the number of people that you had done mm. the only person who had done a live stream with more people was Nyashinsky yes and that's when i was like okay the first the first live we did had about 15000 people mm. live with us instant when that is yes on the chat when you were on here yes because by the time we we were like we ended the video and sasa it yes. upload We had like 50,000 views. Yep. We were like, "Oh my god." Yep. So it means we had 50,000 people watching us live. That yep. was crazy. Yep. That was crazy, man. And that was it for Nkurugenzi. I don't want to talk about him. Let's okay. talk about Nkurugenzi. Wonderful. But Okay. Uh, <laughs> Let me change a card. We're coming back to continue this story from a Judy perspective. Yes. Okay. <laughs> wow. Hey, hey, hey. I'm sad that we're coming close to an end of this story. But it's been amazing and it still is amazing. We still have some way to go. So 20 20 COVID period mm. was the birth of this Mkuru thing. That's yes. what I was asking about yes. it because you are in intertwined you're involved in it. Yeah. And I also wanted to hear the same story mm. from your perspective. Mm. Okay. Uh 2021. Mm. Okay, ndelea. 2021. Now we are So now I have Jukush and I have Mkurugenzi now. Umeanza ku manage huyu? Yes, cuz now we have a few clients calling and he's getting a few campaigns in there. So now I have cuz it was natural. Let I me mean, Yes, I need to end up after my job. Imagine telling him to have the manager. Hey, like, it was, hey, like it was just it's so natural. So I'm managing both of them. And you see now it gets to a point where we can no longer shoot um, Nasimu. Like the numbers are going nini nini mm. now we need to think of a proper crew for shoot. But remember he has a 
production house. Mm. And he has crew and we have equipment. So it was easy to just transition integrate them to uh, YouTube and whatnot. And the good thing is by this time, YouTube payments are going to make a bit of money, just mm. a bit. Just a, actually, it was literally just to sustain the production. Mm. It's not like he's making money at Ikwendana or home. Mm. Mm. He's just making money, enough money to keep that content coming. Mm. Uh, and then, remember also Judy, on the other side, the numbers are growing. Judy, Judy. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> now the numbers are guru. growing. And for some reason, I found sort of my my purpose for these followers, my for, as in for my Instagram yes. page, because I was purely just on Instagram. Because now we would, Mumbus came into the picture. Uh -huh. And we used to have conversations with her and we would, I would like record some two small, small videos of us when we are hanging out, mm. doing what, mm. having conversations, talking about periods randomly on stories. Mm. And then we would get so much traction for, from people, like a lot of feedback from parents. And they'll be like, you need, we need to hear you. You need to have this conversation proper. Like, mkai chini record video. What? To say, DSC when you're tunashindua, where do we start these conversations with our children? Mm. And especially um, with our girls about menstruation and them growing up and all those things. Because we used to have these conversations with Mumbus very openly. Mm, mm, mm. So something is happening on that other side. So now, <laughs> there is Jugush, there is uh, Mukuru Genzi, and this there's Judy. Judy. Something <laughs> is brewing over there. And remember, as much as Noni is in the picture and Anna manage um, Celeste. Celestine, we are still, all of us are still, still. team uh, Njikush creatives. Mm. So, tutaguza guza kila mahali, right? So, I remember um, one morning, I received a call. Because I was the one running now uh, is a phone, like simi office ni mimi nimekuwa nayo ever yes. since I started working with them. And then from Kurugens we had to find uh, another, uh, like a line as well, yes. like a phone number. Pia enye watu waneza, nini juku na watu wanataka kumpea stories, nini, nini, all yep. these things. Na donations hata. Na donations, yes, because it started the, after having a conversation with him. Nona vile mungu wanapanganga manino yagi, mm -hmm. so crazy how God does this Yeah, thing. it's insane. Uh, I remember one day I receive a call and it's on the Njukush line. And of course I pick up and I'm my official, you know, uh, voice, nini, nini, a client. They're like, it's an agency calling. They were like, we are not calling for you, for Njukush or Celestine, we are actually calling for you. Eh? And I was like, what? <laughs> by the way, that was my reaction. I think what I'm on the other side, I was like, what? They were like, yes, we have a client who's interested in working with you in Mumbus. Nikawambia, no. Because you see, somebody had, uh, we had, we, um, had worked with um, on many projects for Njugush Nini mm. agencies. You know, yes, agencies yes. are very small yeah. world. Once you start working with them, you realize it's yep. actually a very small world. Mm. So they're like, no, Judy, yes. Like you and Mumbus, me, I was laughing on that phone. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? Yes, there's a client who's interested in working with you and Mumbus. So, um, yeah. Like, are you game? And I'm like, of course, I needed to know the client first because yes. you hear you client Ghani. And guess what? It was Pads. always parts. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So you see, from this conversation of ours, online, na nini, nini, what walikuwa menza ku notice. Like clients walikuwa menza ku pick up. Mm. And that is how I became an influencer, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> so is this when you did the series where you guys are like, oh, the t even, even he... He had the conversation, she had the conversation with Abel. No, 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 no. This is in 2021. This, uh, this was actually our first conversation. Okay. And this is how we actually now, we actually, our first YouTube video was actually this one. But it was on Instagram. Yes. So we, we started having these conversations on Instagram. Because now the client wanted, they, their brief was, you see the way you do it with more. You see the way you have this, those conversations that seem so natural and whatnot. Mm. Let's just Mumbus can talk about her um, periods mm. and her experience so far. Because she has just been maybe like 
zilikuwa zimeanza alikuwa me, kwa na period for like maybe two months mm, mm. yeah and you see because we are sharing these things on stories that we we'll talk and we will talk with her and are, oh we just started our periods we are happy da, 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 all these things so they were like can you have such a conversation but now tie in the product yes. somewhere now al kulipa yes good money kai i think it was 200000 So Mumbus made her first money. Yes. Kai, 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 kai. For that particular video. And it is and one you of the best also made your videos. first money. Yes, an influence I was like, "Hi, yeah." First of all, that's double because you've been paid but also you're you're realizing yes. even my daughter. Yes. Let me tell you, Richie, you see like when I'm being very honest, like I'm being very honest when I say this. This was never the plan. Like even me sharing these things on social media was just because nikitu like there were things that were happening were happening to me and mm. Mbos mm. so i felt like ah see ni share ni ni zangu za motherhood they were mm. coming out so um, natural naturally cuz see kitu ati nimepanga yeah. tindio content yangu and i'm not doing this kwanza ku ku uh, monetize ku, ku monetize yeah. ama kwanza ku target certain uh, clients and companies no but then me was just I was just having conversations with my daughter. Mm. And because remember um I because of how my mom had brought me up and I remember the first time I actually got my period my mom was away at a family function mm. and we were meant to go join her in the afternoon. So nilikuwa na osha vyombo usha go. So na osha vyombo nikasikia ai nasikia fani kwenda kwa lunga pata oh but nilikuwa na jo mahali mama na ikanga pad zake. So nilienda nikachukua nikanini na nikaenda nikamwambia but You know up until that moment we had never had a conversation about periods with my mom. Mm. The only conversations we kwanga nazo ni when always used to come to school mm. kutufundisha because walikuwa na come boys wanafukuzwa then tunafundishwa juu ya pads na wanatupatia they had that program back in the day. Yeah. So because of that I I had decided that I was going to be very intentional with Mombus and especially when she got now uh, up oil 8 years ni 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 kuendelea because i was like she needs to learn these things from me so you started telling her even before yeah, she yeah i our first uh, period conversation was when she was 8 years old yo yeah like you do because you know she would come to my bedroom and she was always very curious she could see the pads she would see the tampons yes na nikamwambia but then nilimwambia nilimwambia this is something that happens to all girls so it's gonna happen to you mm. experience blood come out like me i would tell her like is it was mm. and, and how was be her reaction alikuwa uh, you know she's curious and she's actually i think Mubus the fact yes, <laughs> and the fact that i was telling her the truth i think dilikuwa inamfanya akwe she wasn't at afraid yes. ni 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 Because she was like so even you, you you see for children if their mother goes through it it's no i got too sour even then at mimi nitakuwa too sour i think that is what was uh, running in mombos's mind yeah because she was never scared of those conversations nice but then i would tell her now when the right time comes i will show you how to so by the age 9 nikaanza kumfundisha stories za kuweka pad nini nini vitu kama hizo hata nikampatia panty liner mm. so she used to carry that to school at is so she's prepared whenever yeah. that time happens when whenever that time comes so uh mumbu started her periods when she was 10 years old in november when she was just about to turn 11 in january so the aliens are kwa 10 years old and believe it or not she the day her periods came because it was at night she was about to take a shower so amenda ku change kwa kwa bedroom ana ka chini aki change ana amka na tana na na damu kwa kitanda Do you know what her, how what her reaction was? Yes. <laughs> she called me. She called she opened the door and she started shouting, "Mom!" and she was laughing. She was like, "Mom!" Na mza mumbus what is it? Ndio ni kwana jana napenda kunisumbua. Ma ni mom come, you have to come now. Tell her mumbus you're just disturbing. I'm not coming. She told me, "Mom, come, you'll be happy. Emu come." What? Imagine that was she was never afraid. like she was prep like she was ready. Ay, ay, she ay, knew ay, exactly ay. what to do. Si ati tuko tunaanza lesson hapo. Mm. Actually, mm. nilika tu chingamba you know what to do. She was like, "Yeah." Akachukua pad, akaeka kwa panty, na aka ile vizuri, akaeka be, kwa bed, na akaeka nguo zake and she went to shower and she came back and she put on the panty. You know? That was it. I'm a guy, so this is the first time I've ever had this conversation. Yes. <laughs> But it's coming. But no, you but I've I've I I I I 
I, in fact, I'm going to now watch Abel. Mm. I'm going to go and watch. It's so funny. Yes. Like, you see, I have two girls, but I've, it's never. Yes. Yeah, I've just looked at it like, hey, my wife is going to do this thing. My wife is mm. intentional mm. parenting. She's going to do this yeah. thing. But now I actually want to watch Abel. Mm. That video, you see, yes, the, the, the one video, they did yes, with Mumbus. just to see, uh, so that I'm not awkward also yes. with my kids. Yes. Wow. Yes. Hey, thanks, Judy. And you see, this is the right time to start having that conversation. Because if she's eight years, yeah, she's turning this, eight. Is, this is the right time. Because nowadays you have children even starting their periods at yes. nine years. Hey. Ten years. Okay. Okay. 14 years, 15. Nowadays children start their periods when they're very young. Babes, to connect conversation. Yeah. So for Mumbus, it was just, it was so, a very natural thing. Like, she never like it was never a problem and i was a bit worried at first because mm -hmm. it was on a school night so the oh. following day she's going to school so i was a bit worried about how is she gonna cope she's in cool. school is she gonna be okay attend a stain go then and they could feel some sort of stigma because what yeah. I'm like i was a bit worried so but the class teacher then was uh, a female so nilim call actually nikam mwa lat mapema mm. she started her period so just be on the lookout for her wow but imagine i kwa <laughs> sa football <laughs> like she that thing never changed like Mumbus Navilaliko. But you see, it's because I had you high had, yes. conversations with yes. her. It, it didn't, it didn't, she wasn't shocked. She wasn't shocked. She was prepared yeah. mentally. Because she would ask questions. So you, you can even do anything here. Yeah? You can go and play, yes. Wow. Like it's not a disease. Let me ask you, mm. now just from a conversational perspective yeah. with Mumbus, mm. have you had a sex conversation? That is now the next conversation. Mm. And guess what? We have had it offline. Oh, line. yes. What I mean is you've, you've had it, but not for people, just you and her. Exactly. Since we were really busy, because there's a day I took her to the gyna. So we actually have a video mm. on uh, what happens when a girl goes to see the gyna for the first time. So we have all those conversations on YouTube. Yes. But you see now off camera, these are some of the things that we were talking about with mm. the gyna. Mm. And because I had already introduced the conversation to her, to me, to to me on gear. Hey, there's a day she came home from school and she was like, Daddy, what are spams? Because <laughs> <laughs> by then she just. But let me tell you, yeah. there's a guy, they interviewed uh, uh, Murethi Wanjao, mm. uh, senior pastor Mavuno on CTA. Mm. Mm. He's got a book called Seasonals. Mm. And in Seasonal, he talks about in the different seasons of a human being's life. Mm where what should happen and he talks about and says when it's preteen into teenagehood yeah. your child you're no longer their god you're mm -hmm. their god meaning you're supposed to instill their values yes. from birth all the way until yeah. maybe 10 mm. or, or late eight nine mm. from 10 all the way to 18 mm. your role there is to be their friend yes that anything that they think mm. hey dad Jan, today yesterday i was offered weed yes you don't Mm. You, you, hey, do you know what weed is? Mm. The, you, so the fact that she can come and ask mm. what, what are spams, yes. it is. Yeah. Like it was, like, mom, I think that is the one thing that you've done so well in our house. Like we've allowed for conversations and any kind of conversations in any kind, whatever question you have, mm. feel free to come and ask. And then don't ever feel like, hey, Nikki, this way in the chapel. No, just sit with Lila Ivo. Hey, at a Lizzy Masoli, Mzazi Masoli. Why? Don't listen to Uli Julie, you are PV Boko. In this generation, you can't. At least you are Ivo. So you've had the conversation with her and told her you can ask us anything. Yes. And Mumbus asks anything. Like she knows she's free to come and ask anything about anything. Nice. This is a safe zone. It is a safe space. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So back to 2021. Back to my yes, yeah, zo, zo, zo ya kwanza. And let me tell you, Zilianza Kufatana. Because a week after the phone call for always the Tukakwana Pepsodent, then Kido Kido Gutri was in Anza Kukam. So now I have Mkrugenzi, I have Jukush, I have Judy. Okay, okay, okay. 
ikaanza kukuwa kills. So were you getting first of all as Judy were you getting just Judy or Judy with Mombos? Judy with Mombos. Oh because there are people had seen we like this pair. We yes. like this partnership. Yes. Wow. And that is exactly how I wanted it. Because mm. it was it was so natural for us to create content like that. You know, Judy I have to say this. I know you want to go on with this story but mm. your daughter started earning money. Kitambo sana. Do you understand? Yeah. My my dream for my children mm. is that they even I don't care if it's two shillings yes. a, a, a month. Yeah. I want my kids to start earning. I think that would be the biggest blessing mm. ever. Yeah. Like, Mumbus earns money. Yeah, she's been making money now since she was t- ten for three years. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. And see, come on, Mama Kuweta. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we are very ex- okay. So there's something we did with the dad, but we just told her very recently. We d- she didn't know. She just knew there is an account. Mami na dadu alin fungulia account, but she didn't. She was also very young to understand mm. bank account. What are those? So what we did with Mumbos is so back to 2021, our first gig. Pesa mingia. He kidogo kidogo kuna gigingine. He kidogo kidogo yani unaona haya. There is work coming in now. So, um, do you quote for you, and then do you quote also for Mubus? Uh, so invoice? yes, I have a quote for myself. Like if it's just Judy, and I have a quote for Judy and Mubus. Oh. So the fee for Judy and Mubus is higher than for Judy alone. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I have thing. Because something I have um, tried to do, but I just received a call yesterday that's about to change that game. <laughs> <laughs> is I have refused. Um, so not refused. So my plan was to always make sure, like she's, if she's creating content, she's not by herself. Mm. Like it's um, she's creating content she's with safe. her mom. Yeah, she's safe. Mm. So si ati nika ni me ako kosa sa namtumia kutengeneza pesa. Because you know there's a very thin line. Yes, I get there's it. There's a very thin line there. Yep. Yeah. So for me, it's either it's me. Or me and Mumbus, but there's no Mumbus by herself. I like that. Yeah, like there's no Mumbus by herself. Mm. But there's a call I got yesterday. I'll tell you off camera. Okay. That's about to change that entire game. <laughs> so, yeah. But also, I mean, she's now passing class eight. She's now. So yes, she's, now yeah, she's, she's now, now entering form one. Yes, that's yeah. what I mean. So it, yeah. it even changes the dynamics exactly. of what you could do. That's true. Before. That's true. And so, also in this digital world, mm. it's good. It's the safety. Exactly. The safety of yes. content creation. Yes. And that's why I have refused to open any uh, social media pages for Mumbus until she's 18. Like she will be the one to open those pages for herself. If wow. She wants. I have refused to uh, for Mumbus to have any social media platforms because she's you, she's still a child. Mm. Like some stupid person who could jump on with a stupid comment. Na na mbia teenager. Kwa nsa teenager. Teenagers are very sensitive. The emotions, they feel everything on a much deeper level than anybody else. So because of that, the safety is if you, if you're going to see Mombus in any video, she's either with her dad or with her mom. You will never see Mombus by herself. Nice. So that has been the rule that you operated. And even remember you were telling me off camera even wifi Yes like she ai wifi alinyongewa hiyo mwaka yote hakuna wifi amepatana naye baki alinyonga wifi So um so 2021 is start feeling overwhelmed because now work is quite a No bit. before you I'm not look at your story Yes so you said you there's there's about there's an amount that arrives Yes right? oh yes there's an amount that arrives for kazi yetu So what I started doing and I did this from the first video that we ever shot with her. From so I ni kwa namuleza it was so funny. Ni kwa namuleza mumbo how much money do you want me to pay you? Because you've got this job, how much money do you want me to pay you? And she would say 50 bob. <laughs> she would say 100 bob. As in for her 100 was whoa. Umenipea pesa mingi. Do you know what I did from the first video? I used to give her a thousand shillings. Nice. And we used to do a thousand shillings for a video, any video, whatever video that we record with her, a thousand shillings. 
za clients lakini mm. and then 500 shillings for a photo post if the client comes and says there are two videos and two picture posts static posts hapo mumbusa kona 3000 kai because it be 1000 1000 for the two videos and then 500 500 for the two static posts and this is money i used to give a cash money mm. like ni kwa na mwesabia hivi namwambia for this campaign here is your money and that's how we bought her first piggy bank big one mm. ya kwanza kuweka pesa zake let me tell you <laughs> there's a we go to a certain point in the house like sisi tunasota mumbus ndio anatupea pesa <laughs> it's not a joke cuz you go to her piggy bank she has like 40k hapo <laughs> ndani like akona yani she has money tukisota ama i'm not in the house yes, the dad is cash. not in the house <laughs> and flow our nani ana need to buy like skuma nini mm. nini alikuwa tu anaenda kwa mumbusa mwambia mumbusa ni pe alafu nikifika hivi na mbua <laughs> refund <laughs> yeah so that is what we started doing and then what she did not know which is now something we just told her juzi is that 20% of whatever money would come in we would this account and the account we opened was a money market fund account okay, 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 okay. so i would put away 20% of every uh, money that came in through whatever first. campaign we had done first kwa account ya mumbus so juzi tulikuwa tunamonesha hiyo account and she was she was like what this is my money tulimwambia okay it's not your money now <laughs> might be your money later yes but now not cuz as in the uh, cuz she's growing up so she needs to understand yep. how money works yep and she needs to understand the value of hard work yep like when you put in work you are actually rewarded and this is your reward for the last three years that you've been working with mommy this is how much money cuz uh, of course there are statements that come yes. in every month so nilienda tu nikamfungulia and also you've taught her about compounding interest exactly. money market versus yes. idol money in a bank yes. account yes wow so that is how now mumbu started earning her money and that is still the figure up until today but juzi aliambia mami we, we need to talk <laughs> it has been i've done uh, you've given me 1000 for a long time <laughs> So now we need to talk. Yes, Which is now good. we need to renegotiate. Especially now uh, as we go into November and she's done with school. Mm-hmm. So she's like, "Mommy, now we are going to create content." Yeah. But now we need to renegotiate. And I, I was asking her, "So how much money now for a video?" Well, she was like, "Maybe add 200." <laughs> so you give me 1200. <laughs> I was like, "It's okay. I'll add 1000 shillings." She was Nine. like, "What? You give me 2000?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but excuse we are trying to teach her because these are lessons we were never, never. taught by our parents. Never Let me tell you. I say if I knew what I know now about money, I can get when I retire. See jokes. I, I would have made enough money to for me to be retiring at yeah. 36. Yep. But Nimelan stories are dory when I was 30. Yep. I think 30 31 that is when I truly truly learned how money works and this is because we went for a course na Abel mm like your financial education like a centonomy or something yes mm. we learn but this one we did with um uh uh Val of Africa's pocket mm. oh, oh so cool. i know Val Yee, Val is good yeah. oh my god Val is so good so it's so tiny i used to work with Val really when she she worked at Centum mm. Centum Foundation yeah so there's anyway Yeah, Val was a, she yeah, but she's took us she's on a very crash clever course. with with money. Oh, she is. Yeah. Oh. I and then I'm Val, Val you changed our lives. Whoa. You ch- you literally changed our lives. Abel and I. And we did this when we were 30, I think 30 31. Oh. Yeah. Due to Lienda cuz so she reached out uh not even 30 31 Gigi, I'm lying. The other day. Actually it was in 2021. Yeah. 2021 yes Juzi too <laughs> yes cuz she yeah. called fuck me I was like that you are lucky yeah, brother yeah they wanted to partner uh, with uh, Mkurugenzi for Africa's pocket yes. there's something they were trying to push a product she's partnered before with Rina Hicks yes mm. so she called nini nini natukakuwa na conversation nini nini and then sasa ndio hata tukajua Africa pockets wanafanya ngani nini you know how clients reach out and yep. it's the first time you're hearing about them so we did our due diligence we were like yeah 
nini nini so we had conversation she was uh, based in Canada at the time so ili kuangani ma zoom calls nini 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 haya and you know after the campaign because it was a success she was very happy nini nini the company was very happy she was like so what would you like for me to do for you like nini nini if i was to offer something in return for everything that you've done for me mnaweza sema nifanye nini imagine tukasema tunataka like teachers teachers about money value like tupeleke on a crash course na utufundishe nika unafundisha mtoto wa class 2 mm. yes and we did a crash course with her and let me tell you richi ah that was the beginning of me i say everything we've been able to achieve in the last three years was because of that conversation with Val. Wow. It completely changed our lives. Is this is a money market fan na nini? Yes. Yote ni kazi ya Val. Yes. In fact I'm, I'm so shocked to hear you say money market. Yeah. I'm like you switched on. Kila mzee ako idol money oh, kwa bank account. Oh, hizo vitu zote ni Val. Val introduced us to and na ndio tuka realize kumbe we actually make money. Hmm? But before that tulikuwa na feel like kama kwani tunatengeneza anga pesa ikienda wapi? but kumbe money when you have a purpose for the money money actually now comes it yep. finds you when there is a purpose for that money yeah anyway yeah. so <laughs> shout out to val yeah shout out to val mm. um eh uh, so mumbu we? so we're 2021 now you are just you, you've explained this whole mumbu yes. thing yes uh, i'm starting to feel overwhelmed uh, i feel like now is a bit too much because i have myself i have abel and i have jugosh So mumbu is over to to one now you are just you've, you've explained this whole mumbu yes. thing. Yes. Uh, I'm starting to feel overwhelmed. Uh, I feel like now is a bit too much because I have myself, I have Abel and I have Jugosh to manage. All heavy brands. All heavy brands. That is crazy. That one is cra- as in it's crazy because at up one particular time you have like three clients calling at the same time. So Nansa hii hiyo tunamaliza na yeye anachukua yingine anasikia alikuwa anasema nini huyo client wow, wow, it was wow, crazy wow, it was wow, crazy wow, wow. so pole pole ka burnout kanaanza kuingia I, I, i did not know it was burnout i did mm. not know it was exhaustion mm. I, I, i thought ni 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 mimi na sleki na kazi maybe that's what i thought mm. Because it started getting to a point where simu ikilia guy na sikia oh my god switch off that <laughs> yani i don't want to talk to anybody mm. like simu ko simu sasa niko na simu tatu zinalianga tu ji ya kazi so it gets to a point i'm like okay so pole pole naanza ku feel ai like even waking up I, this is work i used to enjoy like i used mm. to have fun na sikia ai it's too much nini na nini anyway um I have a conversation with Abel. of course all my conversations are with Abel. I have a conversation with Abel. Nana niambia baby think this workload is a bit too much for you. And I think you need to start making that decision. You need to start you need to choose. Mm. The way forward because you can't continue working like this. If you're not getting an assistant, then you need to choose like how this is going to work. But just before that eh Jusele alikuwa ame walikuwa na understand eh njukushi na sole kwa mama mimi huko kuna mkurugenzi kuna nini zako zimeanza kuingia so kazi ni mingi sele alikuwa ameanza pole pole kwanza ku panjukush yes njukushi. okay and you see all this time it sort of sele had been sort of training under me now mm. on proper management so she had actually become very good mm. at ku manage na kuongea na clients na vitu kama hizo So Celia alikuwa ameanza ku take over for Njugush pole pole. Mm. So kama kuna client sometimes that wa handle, juu niko na hawa wengine wa kuanza ku handle. Anyway, Richie, to cut the long story short, come October of 2021, I finally now had to make the decision because it was becoming a bit too much and now it gets to a point where you feel like there's a certain party you're letting down. Mm like you're not giving your 100% to everybody kuna watu wanaumia 
So na wale watu walikuwa nyumba hiyo nyumba nyingine ilikuwa hiyo nyumba nyingine mm. unfortunately mm. which was a bit unfair ili fika mali nkaanza kusikia like I'm just letting everybody down mm. so I called Sele and team and we had the conversation now and I told them I need to take a break the conversation was taking a break because they ni kwa na wambe think mali nimefika we've built systems like you guys can actually now function without me like you don't need me mahali mmefika mko sawa because they couldn't hear any of it that must have been hard it was a hard conversation and actually the reason why ili feel ni kama it wasn't so hard is because they told me it's just a break you go on a break <laughs> we were on a break yes because now we are in october wakasema go on a break november december then january urudi tuendelee na kazi yeah but i think for the three of us deep down to imulijwa we couldn't say it but deep down i think we all knew mm. yeah because they were like abel's brand is picking up and you need to be there like he needs you mm. since you already uku the systems are in place we know how everything runs you need to go and do the same that is what actually walikuwa na you need to go and do the same from kurugenzi but richi ni kwa na feel nimechoka na kila kitu mpaka mm. nini yangu nilikuwa na feel too i'm exhausted even mkurugenzi nilikuwa mechoka even mkurugenzi nilikuwa na even, even my own so i spoke to nuni and nuni took over uh, managing me and managing abel managing you yes wow cuz i by then nilikuwa i think i i at it got to a really it was it got to a really bad point mm. where there was meltdowns and nini like i would i was i was exhausted i was tired mm. but do you remember it by the time i was leaving media eh? nikulala Nikul- i was exhausted as well mm. like i had been working for like eight straight years yep. non stop na huko lala ulitoka friday kuingia monday saturday sunday <laughs> nikaingia kazi nyingine mandi for another three years wow. so i had never really taken a break from work like mm. taken a break a break a break like a proper break and richi i handed over everything i handed over mjukush to celestine i handed over mkurugenzi and judy to noni na nikaacha kazi ya management kabisa So this is end of 2021. 2021. Ukaenda kulala. Nikaenda kulala. Okay, si kwenda kulala. Kwa sasa job zangu zilikuwa. <laughs> so the only responsibility oh, I had was creative was for me being the creative now. So if there's a campaign for you and Mumbus you think kazi yako ni kupanga the creative scripts nini 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 nini. Ile siku nataka ku shoot. Did this affect your relationship with Okina Njugush? No. Yes. Fonjugush. Mm. We never spoke about it but hapo kulikuwa na kakitu for like a good one month like oh. Timo wasn't talking to me. Mm. But nilikuwa namuelewa. Mm. Like nilikuwa like I understood exactly what mm. he was feeling or he could have been feeling. We had a good thing here going We had now. a very good thing. And you see we're not ending it cuz ati watu wamekosana ama kuna mm. kitu mbaya nini nini it's just that work is too much so lazima niende ni handle issues za family yangu na kazi za family <laughs> zangu alafu wao handle mm. yeah it was just it was purely just work na katukuna mtu alikuwa amekosana mm. yeah but we had formed such a good it was like such a good bond both in terms of friendship and work so kulikuwa nako kanini i also struggled i actually really struggled because to some extent i felt like i had let them down mm, mm. like kuachilia mm. cuz it was never planned like i kwa imesemekana sasa ikifika hapa yeah but who is god Richie? everything happens for a reason like it was meant to happen exactly the way it did yep. we were actually having that conversation last week on that like everything happens exactly the way it was meant to happen yep. look at team and Sele and everything everything they've achieved after i left yep then I, they went in, on a diaspora tour yes like they are doing yep. TNT in such a big and massive way yep. so it was meant to happen exactly the way it happened hakuna kitu ina happening bila god kujua seasons it's one of my biggest lessons for this year mm. is seasons mm. the only person i'm stuck to for the rest of my life with or her life with is my wife yeah that one you and i hakuna mali unaenda everyone else including my kiddos mm-hmm. 
Imagine their seasons. Their seasons. They will live at some point. Guy, that thing. Yeah. It's and actually, it's, it's, it's that, I think that's the same, not in those exact words, but it's the same, it's the thing that Sele said mm. when we were having that conversation for taking a break. Or, I mean, and listen, but you didn't let me tell you, there's no one, no one in this world, Munyaneza ran brandy and kuruka mawewe. Hakuna. As in, she was saying, I can only imagine how much more you can do for him because he's your husband. Yep. Nikifikire, everything that you've done for us. Wow. Na CCC. Mm. Like we're not even blood relatives. Mm. So I can only imagine how much more you can do for him because ni mtu unapenda. So they were like, you need to manage Mkuruginzi. But at that point, Richie, I was, I couldn't. I was, ilikuwe mefika mwisho. Do you know I took a break for a good six months? Whoa. Mm. From? December from when 2021? October 2021. November, November, December, mm, January, February, March, April, May. Nikwana Rudy, June, I think. Judy, mm. when we were meeting, that's when you were Rudy? Yes. No that way. Is when, yes. When we were meeting, that is yes. when you, you were Rudy. Mm. I took a clean break. People never knew. Because we never ever. Um, like even like even the clients uh, that were used to me and they even had my personal line. Wali kwa nani call for campaigns and jugush na mbaka tuna kubaliana brief alafu na rushia sele. Whoa. Yeah, cause it was like it was like there was never bad blood or anything. Mm. I was just exhausted. I just needed to take a break, and I did that for six months. Okay, let's take a quick break. Mm. Come back to Maliza Ikitu. Mm. Sasa tunamaliza. Sitaki kumaliza. Sasa tunamaliza Richie. Sasa. Ai 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 ai. Like I usually tell people your audience is not stupid. Yep. They see these things. They can tell when you're selling something that you truly believe in and when you're selling something that you don't believe mm. in. There is so much to take. Behind the scenes right now, we're just talking about all the lessons. This second part of CT has been a masterclass. A masterclass on managing uh, uh, friendships, on friendships, doing business with friends, doing business with family. It's been a masterclass on corporate culture. It's been a masterclass on uh, brand growth. Mm -hmm. Like there's so much value from, forget even now from the corporate side, parenting. Mm -hmm. It's been a, uh, conversations with, with children at different stages. Been a con it's been a masterclass on finance. Some now people are hearing the word money market for the first time yeah. and wondering what idle money means by putting in the bank account. Yeah. I mean, there's so much that you have taught us, Judy, just with your life in this last conversation. So first and foremost, thank you. It's thank also been a, a lesson on burnout. Yes, <laughs> the negatives oh my God, you, yes. You get, yeah. uh, overworking. Mm. Uh, you know, I don't know what it is about us, especially Africans, and maybe it's the hardship in Africa, but we don't, we don't, take, we don't take leave. Some say the year is ending and a guy is proud and a jib. Yeah. I have my 21 days leave. Yes. I didn't take leave. Mm. That's nothing to be proud yeah. about. You get? That's true. Uh, so thank you for, for the life lessons in this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> 2022. Yes. Uh -huh. Let's talk. Um, so what happens in your break? In your so in my break, the, literally the only thing I'm doing is any campaigns that uh, come our way with Mumbos. The rest of the time, I'm just being a good wife in the house and a good mother. It's the first time you've just chilled. Yes. I am literally just sleeping. If I have no work, I just sleep. How was that for you? It was the best thing that I ever did. What? It was the best thing, Richie, that I ever did. Wow. And, Richie, if you notice, like, God has just a unique way of doing things. You realize that I'm going on a break for six months. But ni kona mshara. I mean, the campaigns. There's oh, money coming yes. in. So I'm resting. 
but you've been paid. But <laughs> there's still money that's coming in. Mm-hmm. Yes. So as much as uh, the salo, mm. you know, you're still doing money. a job for two days. Exactly. Yeah, hey, I go shoot for one day and I deliver Nini Zote as a client and then I wait for the money to come in. Oh, man. Yeah, so I was on a break. It is the best thing that I have ever done for myself. Nice. And I like that, to that for point, myself. Yes, getting to that point and acknowledging the fact that I needed to take a break. Mm. That I was exhausted. I needed to just take it slow for a while. Mm. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Were you scared about the financial or you were just like, nah, it's a break. I don't even have the... And let me tell you, at that point I was like, you know what? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I can't. Mm. Like Nikon Mefika. Do you know how you get to the very end? End that you can Like there's nothing. I have. N- I had nothing left to mm. offer. I mm. felt like I had nothing to offer. And if there was anything I was going to offer from this point going forward, it was just not going to be good things. Mm. Like if, if I still insist on talking to these clients and nita kuna mahali because I'm not gonna do this job. Okay. Like to the best of my ability. I hear you. Yeah. I I Okay, so what makes you know it's time to come back? Uh, how did it happen? Uh so this was around June. Mhm. And uh Noni was doing very well. Like she had things covered. She was managing Mkuru, Abel, and myself. And yourself? Yes. Okay. But most of the gigs that were coming were actually for me, not mm. so much for Abel. Okay. For Abel, zingekuja, zingine, zingine simingi. So a lot of work was actually for me. So after, how did it happen that I came back? Oh, Nuni fell sick. Mm. She fell sick, so I had to step up. Because then, uh, Abel. Mm. She was still able to handle my projects to continue managing me, but not so much Abel. So I took over, and mm. actually that's how I came back. Yes, that's how I. <laughs> I uh-huh. came back, and I came back with so like renewed strength. Like I was ready. Uh huh. Let's now let's do this thing. Bring it on. Yes. <laughs> Bring it on. Let me tell you, it's crazy how things work. Immediately I came back. Niniza Abel zilifunguka tu. Like he, it was a campaign after another campaign after another campaign. Paka alikuwa anaanza. Kwani alikuwa anangoja urudi? Walikuwa wamejua hapo. Yes. But also I could tell like like I could tell mm-hmm. like how relieved he was that I was back. That that I was back. Oh nice. Yeah. Like and- a good and it's not even about Noni not delivering. Mm-mm. It's about his... Noni was doing very well. His wife yeah, is in the I mix. Yeah, I think he felt like, helper. yes, I got my person. Now yes. she's here. Like, yeah. Nice. And um, now that was also the start of us now. Hanging out to get, like, to yeah. get that <laughs> You know, because uh, yes, because this thing I used to do with Tim and Sile, where we were always together because of work. Now that has become, because that is now where we. Yes. That has become now Abel and I. And let me tell you something interesting, Richie. When I was praying to God and telling Him that I need you to give whatever path I'm about to take in this next phase, I need to be available for my daughter. What I did not mention was that in that same prayer. I also needed to be available for my husband. Because remember, I was when I was unavailable going away, I was unavailable for both. Yo. I was never home for both of them. Ah. So indeed. when I was making that prayer, I need to be home. So I need to be available for my family. I need to be home. Dio wanyone wote. Aye, wacha ni kwambie Mungu amesema sasa. Dio hiyo. Cuz now cuz we work together. Guy, Richi. Do you know this is the first time you're seeing me without I am him. I've seen you without Abel. Yeah. I can't believe that. Like I can, it's yes. even it's even I'm just like this is the first time. Yes. <laughs> Let me tell you the funny thing. Today in the morning cuz I left the house at around 6:20. 
Like siku anaamini natoka bila yeye. Kwa nini bibi bridge amesema tuende breakfast? Ana bibi leo ende ni kule breakfast pekee. Like ni unipeleki for real for real. Na bibi have some but he had he yeah. had a lot of work to do mm. today. So anambia pana leo anambia Richie to lose kuji. Uko solos. Yes, let me tell you it has gotten to a point Richie if I'm not with him na feeling gigai kuna kitu ina miss. Na sasa hiyo ni kwa shughuli zangu I have work to do yes. but I, feel, I like it's come to a point where na feeling kuna kitu ina miss if I'm not with him. That is so cool. Like we, he has become like like I don't even know how to put it. Yo. Yeah, cuz now we we do everything together. You're his manager. I am his manager, yeah. Mm. So we do like we do everything together. Okay. Where does the story go on then to? So now we're in 22 I'm back. And of course now his nini takes over and he kuna kazi after kazi after kazi. And this kazi. brand was huge. It was a huge brand. I mean you had seen you had, you had definitely seen uh Jugush's brand yes. being big. Mm. Ukisikia Timo Timo ni Jugush. Mm. You had seen uh Jugush's brand the magnitude of it. Yes. But now seeing it with your husband it was crazy. And let's be real mm. also. You also have this cultic following. Yes. So I think you guys are unique in the element of the cultic following you have. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, huh? <laughs> so, so now you're his manager. Now I'm his manager full 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 full. And actually immediately I come back. That is in June to Nafanya. Um, I can't remember the camp, but we had some campaigns to do there. And then come September. Cuz Richie we meet in September. Mm. Right? We meet in September. Mm-hmm. So um, of course now I'm back. Oh, clients nini I'm the one now receiving calls rah, 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 clients what not. So on one random day I follow just Ivy. Right? On on uh, Instagram. And I had seen a couple of videos she had done about this particular client. <laughs> <laughs> And for some reason I had some interest. Also, okay, not for some reason. The reason was we were in that space. Mm. We were in that uh, space of mind where we were like okay, now I think it's time we looked uh, for some piece of land. Of course, Nikisa my view, you know where I'm going. Mm. <laughs> where we, we could potentially settle down. Unajua mahali tunaweza jenga, mahali kuzuri tunaweza ishi. Cuz miaka inaenda So I had seen a couple of videos, da, 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 some content from just TV. Da, 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 da. Then one of the days I stumble on a live. A live akona nyuki. And there's this gentleman anongea naye kwa a live. So that was the first time na schedule ya um, uh, project. Yo akija kuv nini nini nini. Anyway, so I'm like, you know what? Nanyuki has always been one of the places we that like is actually on top of our list mm. of places where we would want to settle down. So it's like ah no nangilile half an acre at this price I was like hmm so ni kambia abel. Maybe so of course nimeona live nimeona ni grandikas nini nini imeenda kwa page. Mm. Nikapata the how they do like the flyers mm. and then like a uh, post but nika flyer yeah, that particular project. So I saw that I remember sharing it with Abel he come to me and kaambia hey babe ebo angalia hii project I think it would be nice to the two to one simple book for side visits like mm. let's just go see and then to tawana we will decide from there and I get the number of um Instagram and I call and I talk to a very nice lady <laughs> <laughs> by the name Aika and they tell her of course i'm interested in this project and uh, I, how do i go about booking for a site visit so she tells me to give her my email that is right and we talk and she tells me now she's gonna send an email with uh, all the information that i need then i can go ahead and book for the site visit so na kuja kuambia abel by the babe Eh mimi no mean he said visit in Tabuku na tunaenda. Nimepewa dates hapa we are going to go for this visit. So what 
I do not or what we don't we both don't know at that particular time is that there is another conversation that's happening somewhere else. Mm. <laughs> and then you happen to call him, right? Mm. And you mention the uh, grand cars and kile mnafanya pamoja. If I'm getting this so story. So I call correct. him. Yes. Because so at that time I'm, I was ahead of so look called me if you look at my linkedin mm. like it you know, it's a digital prophet yes. i was ahead of digital at goshen acquisitions mm. at the time but what had happened is you had met coco yes oh that's where the story starts yes, yes. i had met coco at uh, kenna's event when he was he was launching um talk tv tales mm. of crazy kenna yes. tv yes yes so because he had invited abel and i so we went and that's where we met Coco. But that was not the first time I was meeting Coco. I knew Coco from her agency, agency days yes. at Ogilvy because we had worked on a few projects with her. But you didn't know she had come to Grandicas. I didn't know she was at Grandicas. But I knew she had moved. Actually, I found out that day. Mm. I knew she had moved from Ogilvy, but I don't. I didn't know Alikwa Mendawapi. Actually, I thought it was just another agency. Mm. So... I even I don't even understand how that conversation was. So what there. happened? Coco comes. Mm -hmm. Coco told I think even you were with Jugush. Yes. She told you guys because Coco at Grand Acres was head of influencers. Yes. Her job is to manage influencers, influencers at yes. that place. Mm. So when she saw you and Abel mm. and Jugush, mm. she was like, I'd like to work with these guys. Yes. But you also said you had you had contacted the company. Yes, because I saw when when she she mentioned Grand Acres, I was like, ah, I've already actually exactly. called uh, a lady called Aika, and we are actually in the process of booking for a site visit. So now this is yes. what happens. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you from behind the mm -hmm. scenes. So Coco comes, tells me this thing, and she tells me, don't tell Solo. Because let them come and because they already yes. called and said they want to do a site visit. Mm. Goshen likes working with authentic people. Yes. So people who 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 automatically are interested in this thing. So yes. the fact that you guys had already booked for a site visit, mm. Coco tells me, but tells me don't tell Solo because Solo gets excited. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so on the way back, mm. may I tell Solo? <laughs> Now yeah. yes, and, yeah. and Solo is like, call them now. Mm. Oh, and it was because we had picked up a diaspora client. Yes, we met them actually. We went for dinner with them, Juzi. Like when they were around. They were around sometime, what? like two two months ago. Yes. Is it two months? Yeah, like about two months ago. So Solo invited us uh, for dinner. We went to Mothaiga and we had a grand time. Ah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so Solo is like, Yanni, we've just come. We've just taken this... Um, couple, couple mm. on a, and they were buying the same place and they were Akejiko, so excited yes. yeah. and they were just saying how they only watch Mukuru yeah. and me Solo doesn't know this story of so, yes. uh, mm. so Solo is telling me call him because you interviewed him on CTA yes. but me in the mix I tell Solo this other story yeah. uh, Kusha <laughs> Yeah, and the reason why I want this to story talk. is going somewhere. Yes. There's a reason why we are yes. saying this story. Yes, actually, what? I was about to say, and the reason why we are talking about this is because there's there's a story that's coming. So, of course, there are many clients that we work with, but then we happen to uh, now. So, so when I uh, now I'm telling Abel, I've actually booked the site visit. It is on this date. Like I even have a date now. Mm. Uh, when I'm telling him this story, he's like. The same story. Ah, but so I'm like, same story. What? Nikama, oh, do you have a site visit? And I'm like, no. Richie is calling me for something totally different. Richie says uh, they would like for us to have a meeting to discuss a possible partnership. Mm. So I'm like, Allah. <laughs> Allah. Like, ayah. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, is he okay? It was very, whether it was a very interesting conversation, get to an apple to Kyongya. Because me, I think, I thought he was talking to me about the site visit. But Kumbe? Yeah, yeah, and Yambia, you have it very different. Yeah. Anyway, so he tells me, no, they would like us to meet to see if we can work together. So I'm like, influencing. And Richie, before this, I must say that we had refused to. Uh, endorse any real estate company. We had refused to influence mm. for any real estate company because of all the stories we would hear 
ukunji. In stories we had seen with fellow content creators mm. who would walienda wakauzia watu mashamba then mashamba zinakuwa uh, zilikuwa fraud. Mm. So because of that there in our list of things we do not touch. We do not touch. <laughs> Real estate was one, on the, one of them, and especially selling land was mm. one of those. Kuna beti na kuna wana alcohol. Those are the three things. <laughs> now, you know, you only have two things. <laughs> <laughs> there are the three things that we yes. to go to Mesema. Hey, apa, yeah. ili tricky, apa. So have betting companies come to oh, you? Oh, my God. So many of them. So many. Judy, we are going to come to this element. Mm. But I want to ask, mm. why don't you do betting? And I can imagine the amount of money they're asking you. And they offer, hey, they're like, money is not a problem. They yes. say, money is not a problem. We will pay you whatever amount of money you need. So, um, Abel, myself, and Mumbos, we are a family brand. And being a family brand, we... we believe in selling things to people or whatever product we endorse has to be a product that we consume mm. so if i am selling a product i cannot consume then you lead first yes by example otherwise it is an ikuja nianze kukuzia pombe na siku nyingi pombe you know even that content would be authentic mm. like you can like i usually tell people your audience is not stupid yep. they see these things they can tell when you're selling something that you truly believe in and when you're selling something that you don't believe mm. in so as a family brand a brand way our number one rule is usually if it's not a product i can consume like my family can consume, mm. then I'm not going to advertise it. Because mm. that is me living a lie. And we are not but about kuna being do. liars. Hey, kuna do, Richie, but, but imagine, kuna I do. think that is where now character comes in. Because, mm. yeah. hey, ay, 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 Betting companies, oh, they've come. So you see why I've asked now this question? Mm. Because land was in your list. Land was on our list. But the reason for land is not because it was not a product you were consuming. You will see Nisha Bukata site visit too. Yes. It's just because of the many cases to look at Meskia. But you had bought your own land. Exactly. Na nikakuwa kukakuwa zingine kwanza Abel zingine zikakuwa ni fraud that aliachilianga hata juu kuliendangaje. Like we had also had our own experiences with land buying. Na unaona how tricky of a situation it can be. Mm. So the reason why land was on, was on our list was not because it was not a product we believed in. See, it will cook. Actually, we had even bought land before, mm. like, but it was just because of that one uh, uh, point that people, there are so many real estate companies out here selling land, but Zoti, after some time, when I come to my story, like, there's stories. story. So, like, we can't, we you can't, can't risk it. Yes. What you don't trust. Exactly. Okay. But, the assignment that Coco gave us on that day, and that's the reason, actually, I didn't say that. That's the reason also why I, I booked for that site visit. So the assignment Coco gave us on the day was like, eh, our MD is Solomon Wangwe, please go to CTA and watch his story. He's done a story with uh, Richie of CTA, just go and watch it. And of course, we knew about CTA. Mm. Abel was a big fan of CTA. Yeah, Abel Bayatem was on CTA. Exactly, yes. Mm. So, by the way, and uh, me, uh, me, if you give me homework, I'll do it. I was very, <laughs> I went and did the homework. Uh. I was like, Let me go and listen to his story. Do you know how I used to watch solo story? I used to go for a walk or a run every morning. And that is the one thing I used, to, that is what I would listen to on my walk or on my run. Mm. So I didn't watch. Mm. I listened. Mm. YouTube, alafu. And I watched each and I listened to each and every episode. And after that, I was like, yeah. So after you and you the live with uh, Just TV and Solo at Acacia Cove. Mm. And immediately after that, I was like, yeah. We don't have the money now. It's not like I have uh, three million sitting in the bank, no. Mm. Mm. But I'm going to go for, that, for this site visit. So you see how God works in very mysterious ways. Okay. 
So by the time you're calling uh, Abel on this other side, na mimi uku naongea na Aika, it was just an interesting conversation. Anyway, so um, we come and uh, we plan for the meeting and we come to the office and we meet for the first time. Actually, now I was meeting you for the first time there because mm. I had not... We had, we had not even spoken. I had not even spoken to you nope, before nope, that. Nope. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So I meet you for the first time at um, uh, Grand Acres, the office. And, man. <laughs> As in, sometimes I remember that day, I'm like, mungu wakini wa miujiza. And if I was to go back to Dogo, other than the land, the betting companies, kama kuna simu zingine tuko tumepigiwa ni za land companies. Mm. From the biggest of the real estate companies we have in this country to Ileachini, water walikuwa piga. And we had turned them down. All of them. Mm. Wate. Ata atukua. By the way, story of real estate, ata atukua tunongia na wewe more than 10 minutes. <laughs> Aki tuna kuambia too politely, that is one of those products we do not endorse. Yes, until that day we sat. Because let me, I won't lie to you, even when we were coming for the meeting, we knew we were going to buy but we were not ready to mm. to advertise mm. to endorse at the land sasa tunauza mashamba we were not after watching solos uh cta of course you feel and you, you can feel there's a there's a connection like you mm. you can actually feel the um, like this guy is actually like he's a truthful person he's the real deal he's he's actually the real deal like Whatever you could tell he has passion for what he does, like real passion for land selling and all these things. But also you could see, you could feel his heart, like he's a genuine person. Mm. Like he's a vitu anafanya afanyi tu hivi. Let me tell you what's so funny. Yeah. That's what people are feeling with you now. Oh. You see, you're saying it. Yeah. You see that thing that we're saying? Yeah. Like that is what I think people have felt with you. Mm -hmm. What are, what we're saying? There's a communication that you can communicate yeah. without using words mm -hmm. that that speak about your integrity, your character, your yeah. values. Yes. Without you saying, "I am truthful person." Exactly. Somebody can just say, "I um say yeah." So I get what you're saying. Yeah. So we come and we meet, and uh, that was in September, right? Because we started working together in October, and we have that first conversation. And <laughs> Richie. We went back home with Abel, and after that first meeting, we knew for sure that we were going to work together. And this is coming from people who had refused for many years. Mm. But do you know what sold us? Mm. Was the energy in that room. Mm. The vibes were good. As in the vibes were just... Any the vibes were something else. Mm. Like we went home feeling like, Wow. Unajua, unafili ni kama ni mabeshte zako wenye umejua for so many years, mm. mekwa tu mmeketi mechapa story. Mm. And you're not talking about me, you're just talking about yes, the other people who are in the office. room. Yes. yes, it's not just that he's solo or richy or, it was the entire office. Like we left there feeling, oh my God. By then, I have never felt that. I have done so many campaigns. I have sat in many offices. But I have never felt what I felt on that day. Like in the home, I can't feel, kituna feel, today feel mm. vibes and good energy like that. Like, do you know, whatever we felt that you were so real, to end the home to Kisema, like no matter what happens, even if Hamwezi Fika Bay, tutafanya kazi. We were like, ata kama wata Fika Bay tutafanya kazi cuz that feeling is very rare mm. it is very rare that you sit with uh, the ceo of a company na una feel hiyo kitu and i cannot explain what it was siezi explain is me it is because of something in particular mm. that any of the team members seated on that table did i would be lying if i say that it was something it was just the energy. The energy was just right. The energy was just right. And that is how I met Richie for the first time. I can't believe that. Do you know that's so crazy? Because I thought that I knew you. That is when in 2022, October. Yeah, yes. but you know, it's because... When you took 2023. Yeah. Oh my God! 
<laughs> Actually, I'm I sitting like on I this know seat. For so long. Exactly, almost exactly one year later since we oh met. Oh my God, that's not yes. a coincidence. Because yeah. we met in September, end of September, and we started working together in October, and I'm here in October. That's powerful. Yes. Almost exactly one year after. We, it feels like we've known each other yeah. for so long. It's so weird. Yeah. Yeah. That was the first time we met and we started working together. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Grand Acres came, came into the picture. And the reason why, Najumnashanga kwa nitu nungia juya Grand Acres, because we've worked with many clients and fantastic clients. Like me, every day I tell God thank you for all the work he has brought our way. But then there are clients who come your way and just completely change your life. Mm. They completely change your life. Let me tell you, you can't convince me today that our partnership with Grand Acres was not ordained in heaven. Mm. Like our paths crossing the way they did, you ilikuwa to God, alikuwa nafanya vitu zaki. Because it is not every day you meet a client who sees the value that you're giving them, but wants to give the same value back to you. Actually, sometimes even twice or three times. Mm. That is what we've experienced with Grand Acres. Because the reason the juice party was what it was two weeks ago. First of all, you did the juice party before. Yes, in December. Mm. And that was, hey, to Limalizo juice party. Okay. So, <laughs> um, uh, we've started working with uh, Grand Acres, uh, but uh, content creators, we are influencing for their product, the different projects they have. And then uh, we are also now in the middle of, of planning, like starting to plan for the um, Krugenzi live recording in December. Because we had been doing our live recordings mm. before Grand Acres, right? And uh, for some reason, because honestly, you see, we had never had a sponsor before, mm. before Grand Acres. Like we had never, ever, ever had a sponsor for, for Mkrugenzi Live Recording. We used to just do them from our own pockets. Like mimi na abel tutunajia, mimi tunasema macha tufanyi. But the ticket sales would cover the everything. Expenses. But then we would go home with like 10K. Mm. Like all the juice parties we had done before the December one. So basically and by that even. time, we got to to seven, seven live recordings. And I remember the one that we made a bit of money was like maybe 30K. Mm. So we were breaking, like, is that breaking even? Yeah, that's like, more or less. Yes. The like, cost handle. Oh, yes. is not so we are not going to our pocket to finance this project. But then you're not also going back home with Bola money. No. <laughs> but I think the most we had made before that was like 30,000. Mm. You see, these are things that people don't know. But people did just see sold out when I say, exactly. we arrived. Like, you will have a good event. Our crew is, is sort of, like, everybody is paid, but sis, when you to, when you event, to Narudi home, Bila. <laughs> like, barely, to Narudi home, to Narudi home, to Narudi home, and your story in Asia. So, uh, in our monthly meetings, because we used to have um, a meeting every once a month, remember? Yes. To do catch up, to see what worked this month, what didn't work, what can we do better next month, all those things. Let me say this yeah. first and foremost. Because at this time, so I left, just for the record, I left uh, Grand Acres on 31st December yes. of that year. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and my former business partner and very good friend, mm. George Kagwe, Yes, uh, took over. Took over. Mm. Uh, yeah. Empesa Lady. And, yes, and yes. Joji is incredible on digital. Oh, he's brilliant. Oh, my incredible. God. Incredible. In fact, my biggest brilliant. fear was not leaving a hole in Goshen. Mm. And I feel unmissed in Goshen. Because the way Joji <laughs> came and took over. Ah, Joji came yani, and replaced you a good one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, Yanni, Yanni has not even missed everything. Just <laughs> holy talk, eh? Yeah. Ako? So Joji. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but... I want to say this. Mm. You that's when I began to understand mm. the power of Abel Mtua's brand mm. beyond who you think is just Wakurugenzi. Mm. So people think Abel Mtua's brand mm. is for the youth. Yeah. 
so for only uh, guys between ages this and this yeah some of those parcels of land cost that five point something million yeah abel sold those mm. so the roi on the kind of people who are watching him and these are people from the diaspora these That's are people from crazy. local yeah so you have to understand from a grand acres goshen acquisitions perspective mm. the partnership was returning value in terms of people purchasing the land yeah you get mm. through the diaspora series yes uh, and beyond that it was introducing goshen acquisitions mm. to another whole market yeah. this is before the madness you have done in 2023 yeah because now that one even i'm just like wow 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 wow, yeah. wow. joji and mm. you guys have and the rest of the team have done incredible things mm. so i just i'm just saying that so that you can understand the power of this mukenzi brand that you have yeah yeah mm. so um, yeah so in one of our conversations we mentioned the um live recordings coming up ni ni and so lo is like uh, we want to be a part of it and we want to come on board as state of sponsors it was the first time that i got to naskia of course we knew about it on sponsors because we've done TNT and all those things but it was the first time see to naskia apa in the mkurugenzi world we were like ah so your seven events you didn't have a sponsor none but you had you approached people yes but hakuna mtu alikuwa anaona the vision So when people are seen sold out sold out sold out it's just us just pushed like it's just you're selling out but it. you're not making profit yeah we're selling out but you're not making any money okay yeah so we're like oh okay and he says okay come present a budget like how much do you want like title sponsorship the package how much is it <laughs> and they come we ask for money and i remember so lo ali to liuliza katuza you are too You <laughs> met Asha. Everybody was so shocked. Yep. They have a were like what? Does he understand that the amount of money we are asking for is actually enough money to cater for all the logistics? Mm. Does he understand? I I I know so loaded mind me saying yeah. that you asked for a million. Yeah, we asked for a million. Because mm. you see it was at um, Nairobi Cinema. Uh, the logistics were not as much because mm. it, it is It is a facility that is built for production. Yes. So you're not doing too much. Mm. Like, so, it's already been treated for sound. Nini kuna lights. Nini so whatever you're adding is just as in whatever you're doing is just adding a few things here and there. Yes. So logistics honestly see at ni mob city and it's crazy. But also for the first time we decide you know what now that you have a teacher sponsor who's going to give us money? We want to do a stage. Mm. To improve, so, to grow. Yes, lazima to the next level. Mzee kwa title sponsor, alafu bado ka stage ni kale tu kakiti na nini. Like we needed to do something. Powerful. Yes, so you are like because the client also needs to feel value for the money they've given us. Otherwise, what's the point? How are they would they come back next year? Wakiona tulifanya ni kama watu walienda tu waka pocket do but function nothing. Like ilikuwa tu So we it will kwani your pressure ya kufanya uh, the sponsor feel like it was in feel value for their money mm. waki ingia wa feel okay now we can see where the money uh when but even the audience would have a better experience exactly yes mm. cuz hey, i man we have, have a title sponsor what do you mean so what do we do we go and talk to stage pass <laughs> So this is the first time. This is the first time in a schedule stage pass. I won't lie. To so you. before that you had not been Me I didn't know about stage pass. I bell the energy a stage pass. The other gigs you're not you're not your stage pass? No. Solo and uh, Grandicas and stage pass. That was the first time. You know Judy, we put people for seven gigs you've just been using the sound which is in the venue yes like we would only add a few things here and there like well the logistics as in we would keep the logistics at you know minimal cuz you know we are relying only on the ticket money mm. na your ticket money by the time in ingia yote Inenda. between logistics na kulipa crew imesha wow. like imesha yote okay so this was the first time tunatumia stage pass so abel anakuza ananiambia eh um, kuna chali fulani anaitwa Aizo. Aizo runs a company called Stage Pass. 
So me, I'm like, see, you are on your so I need to look at Instagram, yeah. and let me tell you, when you get to Instagram, message us. You don't even need anybody to explain to you <laughs> what they do. I mean, you can see the kind of work they do. Mm. Let me tell you, my first question to Abel was, "Ningapi, how hard is it to afford?" Actually, that's what I told him. I told him, "Babe, I don't think we can afford these people, and we can't get." Uh, a million in sponsorship from Grand Acres to the Tumwagayote kwa stage. <laughs> Come on. Because you see now, me, I'm the business <laughs> person. So, for the first time, we need to go back home with a bit. Like, at least make 100k. You know? Mm -hmm. Don't sink all the money in your sponsorship for putting in a stage. So, but then I call Izo and we plan a meeting and we go to stage pass. And when I tell you that God works in mysterious ways, and Mungu by the time unafika apa, uno nanga apo, hujui alianza kupangai kitu from way back mm. when. Do you know when Abel is walking into Aizo's office? No, because we were too... No, Abel went for a meeting kwanza kivyake, because walikuwa mm. na juana, and then sasa minika kuja. Abel tells me, anaingia na Aizo, ninini ya nawaj mkuru genzi. So even by the time Abel anakola Aizo, hakola Aizo atiju. Wana juana mani mabadi yeah. zama the as in no. like mm -mm. you just heard of him yes na me ona kazi yake ni ni na aliku ame meet at some point in Mosound mm. during the safari mm. com days because Mosound but that's was, way back exactly it's way back like way 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 back Aizo was not didn't even have the company stage pass exactly yeah stage pass didn't exist back then so imagine that the Abel kuket is na in ya aliku anambiya wananza conversation na Aizo Aizo na mambi you know I've been waiting for you. Nikuwa na njiuliza utakuja hapa siku gani. So wabila na mwza, what do you mean? Aizu wana tantu laptop yaki. Like Aizu has watched every mkuru genzi story. Alikuwa na mfanyi hivi kwa laptop. Like everything is red, 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 red. So it turns out that Aizu is a proper mkuru genzi. He's one of his mkuru. He's one of, yani ni mkuru genzi damu. So I'm wondering, when I'm going to get to the top of the sky, when I'm going to get to the top of the sky, let me tell you, I saw built a stage. You remember the stage? Here are photos. For a quarter of the budget. Like, because we knew the cost of the stage. Yes. But he he slashed. Ushi ali kam to a slash. Akasema this stage of years is gonna cost me this. But stuck nili peizi. Mini mesema mini mkurugenzi. Just, actually, he was... Cost. No, actually Materials. he was... No, he was willing to do it for free. Uh -huh. It's Abel who insisted that you can't do it. We need to cover at least labor and cost of materials. Aizo was willing to do it for free. Because unajoli kwa nambia Abel nini? Whatever you have. Uko nangapi? Uko na 30k? Kwa 50k? How much do you have? We will later to. Aizo was willing to do that stage. For free. Like for free, for free, for free. Because Ali Kwame Sumayi ni Mkurugenzi and he believes in what Abel does and he, he just wants to support. But of course now we have, we had our title sponsor. So tuneza <laughs> flex via sisi kidogo. Mm. Tumpati kitu ya kukava cost na nina nini. But even whatever we gave him was like a quarter of what the budget was for setting up that stage. So anyway. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so anyway. This story I feel like I'm going to end up with I feel the reason for intro, for having this conversation for me, the reason for having this conversation for me, is just to show people that even like hard work, eventually, eventually, because the juice party being the juice party that was two year, two weeks ago was because of many, 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 many years of Abel putting in work. Do you know if you come sasa mungu anasema, now it's your time to do what? Mm. To start flying. Sasa unanza kufly, sasa unayenda. And having partners like Grandi Kazu come on board and understand your vision. And, and sometimes I feel like they may not, they don't necessarily <laughs> understand it like fully, but the wako ndani yao, wako na yo conviction here yeah, just to help you get to this destination unataka kwenda wapi as we are coming on board to just help you get to this destination help, help you move closer mm. to 
this desti destination that you want to go to. And that includes every, because we've worked with some fantastic clients, man. We can't, we could not be who we are today if it was not for our fans, number one. Our fans, dear top of that list. And then for God, because of God, then our fans, then every client, every company that has believed in what we do, man. Ndiyo mwana ni mekiti kwa ikiti ya CTE. Sithani, kungekuwa kuna hiyo combination ya watu wa tatu. I doubt, kungekuwa ni mekiti kwa ikiti ya CTE. Ok. Hii interview, anta su come back and do a patent shot. Yes. You get? When we come back, anta su do a quick patent shot. Lafu, we sadly end. The story has to end. Unless you need it up after five years time. Ten. We ten. Time on my phone is 8 14 yeah. p.m. Yes. We started shooting this thing at 10 30 a.m., but the team was here from 7 45 a.m. Yes. So, unfortunately, all good things have to come to an end. <laughs> there may be a million other stories that you want. So, first and foremost, Judy is how old? 30? Um, 35, turning 36. 36 in, in a few days. Yes. We can't compress 30 36 years, even if we want, into one day. We can't. But a lot. there is so much that you have given mm -hmm. that we are okay to end here. Yeah. I like asking people mm -hmm. after 10 years mm -hmm. to come back to CTA. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. I would to live love life that. for 10 years. It's so funny because people, in 10 years, a lot happens. Oh, a lot. Oh, you get what I mean? A lot. A lot How old will Mumbus be in 10 years? She will be 23. Okay, by this time you already had her. Imagine. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Imagine. Yeah. She'll be 23. So, before we end, mm. I want to look you in the eye mm. and I want to tell you thank you. Thank you. Richard. Because mm. you have, your presence on this platform has transformed it. City can't be the same. After this. It can't. You almost, there's a, there's a, first and foremost, that doesn't negate anybody who's ever been on CTA. Mm -hmm. CTA is because of everybody who's ever given me a chance. From when I was holding the camera alone to now, we are two, like, it's just been amazing. Yeah. But what you have done in the last two shoots mm -hmm. is very new. It's very impactful. It's very different. Mm -hmm. It's something that this city, I'm being selfish. Ni, ni for me, Kwanza. Yeah. I feel like God has talked to me so much through you, especially today. Yeah. Like, I'm just like, wow, wow, wow. It has been so impactful. Mm. Thank you because you've come here and you've poured of your life. Yani ume imwaga. Mm. Thank you so, so much for that. Say ni 814, guys. Uni bibi, bimkuro. Me, I'm here telling you, but you're Okay, imagine. You're like, don't worry. Yeah, please tell him. This is somebody else's wife who I'm here at this time. So I want to end. Normally, I say by 6 o'clock, I'll do a hard stop, but you've decided to stay. So thank you so much for your life. Thank you so much for pouring out. If somebody watches this city, hands down, their life can't be the same. So I want to say thank you. Thank you for being a good steward to your mom. Mm. And one of the ways that I want to say thank you is to promise you we're mm. going to get to the two million. And when we get to that two million, a mm. do work stories and tell people how God is yeah. faithful. So before we go, I need to do something. This is, this is <laughs> me asking you guys. As you see, throughout this whole city, we started this thing as a soft life fund with 1,000 shillings. Mm. That 1,000 shillings now is over 700,000 shillings. Okay. As Kabisa? This is before this went live. Mm. And I'm sure by the time we're here, we're even finishing. Mm. But I want to ask you guys who've been watching to take out your phones, go on your computer, whatever, and just bless Judy's mom by blessing Judy. What I'm asking you guys to do is if you have watched this tea up until here, 
you have seen somebody who has given of their life. They've given of their life journey and you cannot argue that she has given. So me, I'm just asking you, whatever it is that you can give back as a way to tell her thank you. Judy is not even asking this for her. She's, she's, in fact, she's not even asking. It is me who is asking for her because I know if it gets to her, it will get to her mom. So again, I said, whatever it is that you have to give, give. What is the number, Judy? Mm -hmm. 0798. Mm, send money. 0798. 659. 659. 792. 792. Again, my internet. Anyway. Aha, there we go. This last one. I am sending a nice, good 4,000 shillings. What? Just as a way, actually not 4,000. Sending a nice, good check. <laughs> that is my small way of me saying oh thanks. Oh my God. Thank you. You're welcome. That is my way of me God saying. God bless you. That is my way of me saying. She has sent a whole 5,000 and, 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 and not just from me. Me, I don't come alone. I'm mm -hmm. like you. Mm -hmm. If you see me sending here <laughs> permission from yes. my, my, the, my better half. half. So, <laughs> babes, thank you so much for uh, being part of, for, for supporting your husband in doing this. It has gone in a way of, to help these guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to each and every single one of you who is watching this. You get? Yeah. And who has given to this, who has shared these videos, who has made this video trend, who've made this video have these views. You guys are just too awesome. Judy, I'm going to give it over to you to do a parting shot. I don't know, voice, he voice, me voice, you call how many hours are those yeah. just chapping stories? But I imagine I've enjoyed it. Because of chapping yeah. stories, man, hey? Parting shot. Ngalia <laughs> camera. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank each and every one of you. First, for watching, coming to share your stories with me via my DM, sharing on the comment section because they have you have shared your stories and for that one i do not take it for granted and i'm sure richie does not either mm. so thank you so much for engaging with this content content for taking your time to come and watch over now how many like 10 hours of content Imagine. by the time they get to the final episode it will be like 10 hours of content we do not take that for granted so thank you thank you thank you thank you number two to each and every one of you who has sent something for my mother receive your blessings she has been she has she prayed for you and she's still praying for you so please thank you and may god multiply it whatever you you give may god multiply it 10 times and over thank you thank you thank you thank you kumalizia now this is the real button short to richie <laughs> to richie thank you <laughs> richie thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you, mm. thank you. You don't know what you're doing with this channel. But yours is is there's something you told me to kiwa palenji. You said we are we are we are just vessels. Zenye mungu anatumia. Yako aki. I think we're in your vessel number one. And that's we gine to nafuata. Keep doing what you're doing. And may God bless you. And all the CTA people. We're still looking for a name. <laughs> to be a comment section. <laughs> still looking for a name. And Kumalizia Yote. If Judy Nyawera from Kiferigui Primary School is seated here telling this story as a testimony, not as a like I am going through the 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 said things now, as a testimony. Because, I mean, like, guys, if I am the one seated here, then believe me, believe me, and believe God that he has a plan 
for you as well because i've had some stories like mm. from the feedback from the conversations the dms that people have sent some are sharing things that happened in the past some are sharing their stories that are happening to them now but i would just want to encourage you by the way, trust god like kama ni mimi nimekiti hapa wakiferegui i mean God works wonders. That's all I can say, Richie. I don't even I feel like I have no words <laughs> to express to Unasikia vile na ruko kifereji to express my feelings and what I'm feeling and what it is that I would like to tell people. But just thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. You know. Thank you, Richie. Thank you, Amai. Thank you, Aiza. <laughs> and before we cut, if you're looking for production, guys, unaangalia the time. It is 8:23 mm-hmm. and they are still here. Yeah. I will tell you. Henry Wamai Isaac Nyakora. Look no father. Give them your coins, mm-hmm. give them your production jobs. Thank you guys. Aizo and Wamai, thank you so much. You don't even understand. I wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for you. Okay, Lia session to Nzima. Cut. Oh, thank you Richie. One.